Hey guys, Fear back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 26th of January, 2022, and we did some WoW secrets hunting. I will let you watch to figure out, like, what we unlocked and how far we got, but I felt like it was pretty productive. I really enjoyed myself. You can catch me live from 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, or you can go to twitch.tv forward slash fiyama forward slash schedule to see all my streams converted to your time zone and what we'll be doing that day in case there's like something specific you want to watch. I hope you enjoy the VOD and I will see you next time. Hey guys. I'm sorry I'm late. I um... Fuck man. Fuck man. <laughs> um, I am in so much pain, I can't walk properly. I uh, I did, I did exercise. Uh, for the last couple of days, like Monday and Tuesday, and uh, I, I like I knew I was gonna be I knew it was gonna be difficult, so I like turned it down and I didn't do it for as long and all this kind of stuff. Um, but yet, I, apparently, I still went hard because everything from my hips to my ankles just will not will not do anything. Like it just it's I am in fucking agony, F fucking agony. Um, I I can't I can't walk properly. <laughs> it takes me like seven times as long to get anywhere because I have to kind of like shuffle. It's just I'm I'm in pain. I'm in so much pain. Plus, it's warm as hell, and there's just so much stress. Not that any of this means anything to any of you, because like why the fuck should it? Like, bitch, be on time for your job. But like, I just I can't. I can't. Uh, but I'm here now, um, and I do sincerely apologize for being late, but I was here as soon as I could be. Um, so let's get going, shall we? <laughs> let's, um, let's start a battle. This one kicked our ass twice on Monday, so hopefully we can get enough units. Ooh. Hopefully we can get enough units to, like, get through it. Barbarians. That's the... Shit, where's the barbarian? This one? Yes, with the big axe. Awesome. Let's do that one, because I need to place three of them. I think it said I had a couple of, like, completed quests. I have a glitched unit kill. Working on the 25 kills. 10 units to level 30. That'll be... Yep, that'll be a while. Ah, uh, good. Alright. Cool. Follow the link, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop... Excuse me, your units to the battlefield. Please and thank you. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, right. Uh, well done to Zam on first, Yori on last, BC with second, Apathy with third, no. K with third, Apathy with 69th, too slow. Look, look, I'm just glad that there are people here when I go live. I know, granted, it's probably because I was 30 fucking minutes late, but, um, look. Even when I'm on time, there seem to be people waiting in chat, and I just, that blows me away. That is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I have to uh, turn my back for a second. It's just for fun, Fairy. It's nothing important, seriously. It's all good. It's all good. Well, it's okay. Yeah, look, I, I just, I just hurt. I'm just done. We're getting takeout tonight because I just, I cannot. No, I need carbs. Um. And so I had a conversation with Jas. I'm like, what if you could have anything for dinner, what would it be? And he was like, burgers. I'm like, fucking we're getting burgers. <laughs> so I am I'm shouting his dinner this evening because I can't I can't even. I just I fucking cannot. You know for those of you who are like even slightly stressful people. You may, you like, if you, I don't know if you've ever felt, but like, you get to that point. It's not quite, it's not a breakdown. It's not an explosion. It's not a, it's not an everything goes to shit kind of moment, but you're like this close. You're, like this close. And it's like, if one more thing fucking happens, I am going to break. Yep. I'm just, I'm, I'm at that precipice. If one more fucking thing 
does something that it is not supposed to do, I'm going to put a fist through the wall. That's not good because I can't afford to fix a hole in a wall. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I am not a violent person. Like I am, I am not a violent person. But when I get, like when I get so fucking stressed, um, that it almost it it, it it get like gets to that point where it's almost anger, when you're just so frustrated with and stressed, and it just it almost feels like anger, and it feels like it needs to get out of me. Like I feel like I need to get it out, and yelling does nothing. Yelling kind of helps for like a split second, but then the moment I close my mouth, it just bottles back up again. Um, and so I need to get it like out, <laughs> and there is no way to get it out except for like movement and it usually yeah anyway <clears throat> i have i have there there has been i think twice twice in my almost 32 years that i've actually broken something out of frustration twice i think i'm doing pretty well i'm pretty good at handling myself and not getting to that point but sometimes but sometimes uh i just realized the door's not closed give me a second I need to, I need to, this is actually, this is not going to take a second, this is going to take like five minutes, but I have to because otherwise it's going to drive me bonkers the whole time. Okay, good. Ow! I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. The best bit, the best bit about getting up is the part where you sit back down again and you just kind of go, Whoop! and we're good. <laughs> Oh shit, but before, you know how, you know how I like every so often I kind of lift myself up on my chair and like cross my legs under myself and then sort of settle back down? I can't do that. Like I, I was like that before, but it literally, it takes me like... <laughs> I'm damaged. I'm broken. And it's fine. Shall we get some secrets? Oh, fuck. Okay, we're good. <laughs> um, where are we? Notice there was no sounds at all. Yeah, um, I because the sound from WoW was going through my headset, I didn't realize that all the other sounds, like my desktop sounds, weren't going through my heads, like weren't going through that. So I just changed the default sound on my desktop and it was fine. Um, I just, I didn't realize because WoW is playing through here, so, but it's fine. It's fine. Just minor technical difficulties. It could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot mess. Hello, Nano. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the cheer axiom. Oh my goodness. I think I missed that because it wasn't playing through my headset, right? Where's... Oh. One moment, please. Oh, did anybody see on Monday night that Streamlabs crashed? Like, if you were watching any other streams, like, after I'd finished. Streamlabs totally fucking broke. Completely crashed. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to actually restart this. Um, after I, um... So, after I finished stream... Uh, I jumped into my camera only scene and disabled all the other, like all the overlays to film my like little intro for the, the YouTube VOD because I've been putting the, the VODs up on YouTube. When I turned them back on again, the alert box was this solid brick that said a 500 error means something in our code is broken. I'm like, what? And there was a little link that said, yeah, you know, still getting this error, click here. But of course I can't click here because it's a fucking OBS source. So I went to log in on the website and I logged in and got the exact same screen. And then I got on Twitter and saw that everyone else was having the same issue. And I'm like, oh, fucking thank Christ it happened literally 10 minutes after I turned off the stream. Um, so that was funny. But here we go. Here we go. Thank you very much, Axiom. For your cheer, I had to replay that because it didn't come through because I fucked with the sound. Yay! Thank you so much for your generous cheer. Uh, exercise hurts can confirm. Yeah, TLDR, do not exercise. No, but I have to. My body is so, like, I know I'm broken now, but it's the right kind of broken. Um, I am, I am not well. Right now, I am not well. Um, look, there's a whole lot of shit that's going on that I'm not really okay with talking about. Um, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Um, boundaries, yay! Uh, but, like, I'm, I'm really not well. Um, and so one of the things that has been suggested to me is that I actually get up and, and do movement and actually, um, not, not just, like, go for a gentle walk, like, actually sort of do some, some proper exercise to, to help my body do what it needs to do. Um, 
And so I'm taking that advice. And today I took my body's advice and took a rest day because uh, <laughs> I am fucked. Um, I've got a really old, like a workout program DVD type dealie and I stuck that on because it means I don't have to leave the house. Um, and I don't have to like do anything super fancy or whatever. It was just really basic and it had modifications for people who were not particularly fit. Uh, and it was like, it was like a hit style thing, kind of, but not like high intensity, just like, you know, do the whole thing. And it's like, it was like a minute on and 20 seconds off and then a minute on and then 20 seconds off. And they had a person like, it was one of those things where they have like the workout room and the, the person leading it, but then all the other people doing like, you know, their own thing as well. And she had, there's, there's one person who's doing a proper modification for people who are not fit and not strong in the slightest or who have issues with moving different parts of their body or whatever. And so I was doing what she was doing, but also instead of doing a minute on and 20 off, I did 40 seconds on and 40 seconds off just to sort of like really ease my body into it. And apparently and I was thinking to myself like, am I really, is this a massive cop out? Am I doing nothing and my body, nope. I was, it was not a massive cop out. My body still hates me. So at least I was actually exercising. So, you know, I feel, I feel like that's a, that's a good thing. So there was like a full body cardio thing. And that's when my, my legs really started hurting like after the day after that. And then yesterday was like upper body. And I'm like, oh, that should be fine. Cause my legs are, uh, my, the legs are the ones that are sore. My upper body is exactly fine. Like it's perfectly fine. So I did that, but of course there was some lower body stuff in it. And then when I woke up today, I couldn't walk. So I'm like, what's today supposed to be? Lower body, nope, <laughs> nope. I'm noping out of that one. Um, I feel like that is the appropriate decision to make here um, and just try to like, you know, I, I we, we coated my legs in deep heat to try to like ease the pain somewhat. And it did help for a little while. Um, it just, I feel like, I feel like someone who is very good at boxing has used my legs as a punching bag. Basically, they just really hurt, but I'm alive. And I am able to walk, it just takes a lot longer. So I'm, I'll fucking, I'll figure it out. Ah, uh, pretty new and low man. Yes, can do, can do. If I don't put a B on it, maybe it will work. We go, and I've got that we can remove here. Uh, tick. Uh, I can assure you none of us were thinking, bitch be on time for your job and more. Holy shit, I hope she's okay. Yeah, no, I know, but like, at the same time, I should also be on time for my job. You know, you know, I just, it's, it's, yeah, look. But thank you. I appreciate you hoping that I was okay. I feel I don't speak for everyone else here, but we can go do other things. But I don't want you to go do other things. I want you to watch stream. <laughs> oh, I once did Beat Saber for six hours straight. Oh no, Jack. Oh no. Pretty sure my shoulders transported to another plane of existence for like two days after that. Oh no. Oh no, I'm never on time. My heavy shiny days leave me wobbling. So I feel this. Yeah, I'm like, it's fine. I don't have to move around to do my makeup. I can just sit down do it all and then get back up again. What I forgot was that I hadn't made the bed yet. And that usually takes me about two minutes. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't. Uh, is, this pain, now, is this pain the type of exercise pain you want to feel? Is it get fucked? I'm not working out for a long time after this kind of pain. Um, usually it would be get fucked kind of pain. But I know, like I've I've done intense sessions before that have left me incredibly pain, like incredibly sore the next day, and it's that kind of pain. Like it's the right kind. I have not injured myself. I know I've not injured myself. This is just muscle strain. I know that. But also because I haven't done all I've done for God knows how long now for exercise is like gone for walks. I haven't done any like actual muscle shit for a long time so i know that this is just it's just muscle pain but for a bitch who hasn't used her muscles for very long uh, for, for a while so yeah i i it's the right kind of i haven't actually injured myself it's just it's the it's the embarrassing can you help me sit on the toilet kind of pain don't worry i have not asked just help me sit. that's embarrassing as fuck and i'm not gonna do that i will find a way to do it that does not involve other people but yeah, it's, it's just, it's that kind of pain. I'm all right. I'm not like, I haven't actually like injured myself. Uh, I'm here for happy fear streams whenever they start not killing us. I have to be on time for your streams. I appreciate that. 
Appreciate that. Sorry. Good afternoon. Sorry you're in pain second and third day after exercise. This is shite. Hey, I hope you recover soon. I do too, Dunno. I do too. I'm, I'm kind of expecting that tomorrow I'll be sore, but not so sore that I can't move anymore. And so I'll get back into the exercise, but it will be gentle. Like, again, it'll be, like, not not for a full minute. It'll be shorter time than that. And if they're saying to, like, use weights, then I'll do it without weights. And, you know, it's that kind of stuff. So, um, like, there was one Hi, yesterday. The the oh! What was Enyo? Thank you so much for the resub. 18 months, my god. Much appreciated. What secrets today? Uh, wow secrets. Stuff that's been found by the Secret Finding Discord, basically. It's, it's, um, but I'm using ATT to kind of track it. Um, so... Uh, one of, one of the exercises, for example, you, like, you lie on your back with your knees up, and then you have your, your arms in front of you, like, holding a weight or holding two weights, and then you drop them down behind your head, and like gently tap them on the floor and then bring them back up again to like to vertical. Of course you're lying, you're lying down. So the the exercise there is obviously lowering them with control, but then lifting them back up again is kind of like the lat pull down sort of thing, except no massive big stupid machinery required. Um, and so like the the whole thing was like doing it with you do it with your heavyweights, or to step it down, you do it with your lightweights, or to step it down again, you take one lightweight and hold either side of the dumbbell, which is what I was doing. So I'm gonna go real easy tomorrow if I can and just not use a weight at all. Just kind of like like hold my hands together or something like that. So there's no weight at all. It's just body weight exercises. And I think that, cause it is still lower body and I do still need to do it. Um, so yeah, it'll just, I'll take it super easy. Um, because like there is a benefit to working out your muscles while they're sore as well. Like there, there is a benefit as long as you are very gentle with them and you know your limits, which I do like, I've been doing like this is stuff with the pole gym and stuff for that long that I kind of got used to understanding when my body was done. Um, and so like I can kind of feel that. And today my body felt done, so I didn't. <laughs> um, hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Chaos. You can afford to be late though, you're self-employed after all. Plus it's not like we'll go, oh, she's late, I'm leaving and never coming back. I mean, you'd be surprised there's am. And I mean, you might not be, but what about sponsors? Finally got the 10 to 30 quest done. Fantastic. Now they what? 15 to 30. Yeah. Yeah. I Look, when I was, before they introduced those quests, I was just leveling everything equally. So I'm kind of lucky in that most of my units are like 27, 28 already. It just, oh, good Lord. Good Lord. I haven't even gotten 10 to 10. Neither have I. I've only got like five to, to 30. But um, like at the same time, I can only place one unit every half hour. So it's a little... Slower for me as well, I think. But yeah, it's okay. Uh, Ian, if the teacher doesn't show up, we don't have to take the test, right? Yes, correct. But however, I am here and you're still here, so I mean, now you have to take the pop quiz. I'm sorry to say, it's just, it's the rules. I have to. I'm kidding, there is no pop quiz. Um, hey, Cass. Did you see when you here in Discord? I did, I reacted to it. I'm pretty sure I reacted to it. You gotta check those reacts. channel. Yeah, I reacted to it. Um, Sphere can even. So with a good. The, the ring on the edge of the shop. Do you mean teetering maybe? Um, uh, they beat tonight last night for the same sort of reason, followed by a full family Mario Kart session. Love that. When she bowed onto throw now. <laughs> no, no, I am, I do not, I'm not a fan of boxing. Not a fan of boxing. Um, good old mop music. Yeah, it's what I've got in my garrison because I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, afternoon jazz. <laughs> Poor fear indeed. Um, is fear okay? Pandara and Kite Horde version. I'm guessing Koala that that is a guess for mount makeup. No. Uh, all the secrets. Yeah, it was like, it's like, you know, we're hunting wabbits. Except it's we're hunting secrets. I thought it was cute, but I'm, you know, well. <laughs> M-I-I-T, like medium intense? Yep, yeah. medium intensity. Yeah, love it. Hit is the worst. This one, like a lot of the, a lot of the actual, like, exercises are pretty good. Like, they're, they're not super, like, there's no burpees, for example. There is like a plank or like push-ups, but there's no, no, at least I haven't found burpees yet. 
Um, because shit, like, I just can't do burpees. Like, my, my body can f not physically cope with burpees. Maybe one day it will, like, if I become, like, super ultra fit and stuff. But with my knee permanently damaged the way it is, I just... I, like, even, even stepping up to between my hands is uncomfortable some days. So it's, um, yeah, like... Burpees are not, um... Look. <laughs> look. Uh, I slice fucking people's lives up in the most glorious ways. But it's okay to skip leg day. I'm not gonna skip it though, I'm just delaying it. Um, like I don't have this whole like, Wednesday will be leg day. Uh, it's just like, it's it's got a seven day program. And if I have to, if I have to not do it on a day because I'm like, like either fucked up or super busy or something else is happening, whatever, I'll just push it out by a day and then continue from where I left off so I don't actually skip anything. I think that's kind of, um, what works best for me because you know with my body misbehaving the way that it does sometimes I have to miss a day it just sometimes I just do um, But look we'll, we'll do the best we can um, It means I have to lower myself onto it as a corrective exercise specialist if your muscles are locked up tomorrow go for a walk get the blood flowing a bit for sure um, I am a little with with Omicron being the way it is and being with an autoimmune condition and stuff, I don't feel super comfortable going outside. It's been a couple of weeks since I went outside and then yesterday uh, I donned my mask and went with Jas to Aldi uh, to get apple crumble slash apple pie because I was just, I was right at that borderline of just exploding. Uh, and even that was a huge anxiety thing. Like I just, it was not, it was not a good feeling. So I'm a little nervous about going for walks. There is a gym... Um, on the top floor of the apartment building, but it's obviously shared with the entire building and so there are still other people there um, So yeah, it's um, I I will absolutely find something like low Whatever, maybe I'll do some yoga or something like that um, Something to, to stretch out the muscles and something to get the blood flowing that doesn't involve any contact with other humans Basically, I've got a I've got a pre-booked thing that I cannot cancel. I have to leave the house for on Saturday, uh, and I'm very good with not leaving the house before or after that. <laughs> um, with some stuff. Yes, I didn't study. Have to wing it on the test. Teetering is the word I meant. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, I chat. Hey, Kim, is that a pink or a red on your face? It's like it's a red. But it's, um, how's that? Is that better? It's, it's red, but it is definitely, it's not an orange red. Uh, and it's not a, it's not a blue red. Uh, kind of a blue red, but blue reds definitely can come across a bit pink sometimes. Can I also just point out that this look is very benthir and is making me want to make a Necrolord and a Kyrian and a Night Fae look. Look, I, I just really love these colors. These are my colors, but that's fine. Um, uh, take care. Popped in after Aussie Deuce yesterday after cleaning out the caravan. I'm staying in. Fantastic. Back burpee is like, no. Yeah, burpees suck. I mean, I understand that they're like a full body workout and good cardio and blah, 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 blah. But there are just, there are so many fail points. If you have like bad this or weak that or, or blah, blah, blah. There's just so many different issues you can have with your body that just completely fuck burpees up like there's just there's too many ways for them to go wrong too many ways uh walk circles in the apartment i walk circles in the loft in my house the free space i have in my lounge room is very very small um i would literally be kind of like just rotating on the spot pretty much but i can definitely find something to do still say beat saber, saber is the best exercise ever oh i i agree beat saber is fantastic exercise Unfortunately, it requires you to be able to afford a VR headset, which I can't. Um, humans, ew. Blood flank charger, no. Obsidian grave wing, no. Do it. Venthyr, hmm, will you be sucking out blood? No. Walking circles is very boring unless you close your eyes and try not to bump into everything. <laughs> yes, except, or you, you, you seem to forget that I have a motherfucking pole in the middle of my lounge room for pole dancing. Ah, uh, giving me heavy Najita blood serpent vibes makeup. It is not Najatar Blood Serpent. It is not the Predatory Blood Gazer. All right, um, where's Una? Did I summon her? I feel like I did, but she's not here. There she is. I have to wait for her to say something. Grove Defiler, no. Do you own it? Does it fly? Yes, no. It is a ground mount. Ugh. 
Zygor. Yep, Zygor even has a guide for the Una scenario, just heads up. So that's what we're, yep. We're starting with that because apparently you need to do Una, like the scenario, before you can get Bol. So I'm, that's what I'm, yep. Ford, Warfront, Krula, Scrooby Scale, no. Ah shit, that bear-like thing, what's it called? <laughs> Dreadsteed, no. <laughs> that bear-like thing. <laughs> oh, Jack. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hi. I don't even have Una yet. Oh no. There are, like, you can definitely go fetch Una. Um, you can grab the bits and pieces that you need to sign, because it's, uh, Una's a drop, I think it's like a 1 in 10, or a 1 in 7 or something drop from a rare in Argus. Um, you need to collect a few bits to make an item to summon it the first time, but from then on you can summon it yourself freely, or someone else who is able to do it can summon it for you and you can still get the drop even without, like, being able to summon it yourself. But it is a once daily thing. Uh, did you get the new six month mount? Yeah, yep, I did, yes. Uh, Blanchy, no, should I be queuing for a dungeon at 6.55 in the morning? Absolutely fucking not. Am I doing it? Yes. Uh, go Scarlet. <laughs> go Scarlet. Uh, Dark Mole, no. Black War Raptor, no. Bristling Hellborn, no. I am surprised at you guys, come on. I am surprised, I thought this would be Straight off the- oh, there we go. All right, mama, mama, why is it so dark? It's scary here. Uh, okay. Once this happens, target Una and use these emotes in this, uh, this order. Emote slash whistle. Hello? Who's there? I heard you. Hi, the Who are someone. you? Can you help me? Oh god, this is terrifying. Dak! With the resub six months in a row, 13 total. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you're having a lovely day. It's so dark, I can't see a thing. Slash roar. Ack! A monster! Help! Help! You may need to resummon Una if she disappeared, which she did. And then slash cry. Are you sad too? Are you lost like me? At least we're together now. We just don't know where we are. But you're my friend, and I know it's gonna be okay. Oh, Una. Oh, honey. I wish I could see better. It's always so dark here. Okay. Teleport to Shashrath City. Let's go. This one. Okay. Um, Bruce Hillboard, this feels so familiar. I'm so mad. You are going to fucking re if you don't get it, Shiba, when you realize what it is. The Malbog Mount. Uh, what is that one? Oh, the Crimson Shard Hide? No. Oh my god, I remembered something. I remembered where a mount drops, you guys. Fucking go me. Horde wolf. Sorry, Scarlet, there are so many different horde wolves that you'll need to be more specific than that. Um, Armani Warbear. Uh, it's not, uh, but I love the fact that you've misspelled Armani, so it's like the brand of clothing. So it's like, a, 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 now all I can imagine is like this Warbear in like an ex exceptionally well-tailored suit. Um, it's great. It's great. Uh, there's no R in our money. Just, yeah. But I mean, like, I'm not, this is not me judging you. This is me. This is me giggling at what my brain is giving me. Uh, I hope you can appreciate it as well. Black Wolf, no. Breeze Rider Stallion, no. Skull Ripper, no. Uh, Lithium Prowler, no. Uh, Love Rocket, which is now known as the Heartbreaker, no. Um, amazing Fear, you go, girl. <laughs> Swift Rizashi Raptor, no. Are you doing the Una... Secret quest line. It's an awesome one. It is. Um, her name is spelt with two U's. Uh, our order, we will get an alert when our order is on the way, Jess. It will be here between 6 and 6.30. Yay. Uh, okay. Bring Una to Shatrath. What's that? A light in the darkness? It's so bright. It's too bright. Too bright. Ow. I mean, girl, same. <laughs> I mean, girl, same. Oh, she's gone. Uh, click to continue. Thunder bluff. I imagine this quest chain is so much easier when you are a mage. I fucking love that. Like, um, uh, Children's Week. So fucking just port, 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 
support. It just, it makes everything so much easier. So much fucking easier. Ah, uh, Blood Flame Widow, no. Is it the Red Turtle? No. Yak? Which yak? <laughs> Wait, there are too many yaks. Fiery War Horse, no. Good morning, Boot. I hope you're having a lovely day. Midnight. Yes. Dory gets it. It's midnight. You, come on. Guys. And in before. I could have sworn you've done midnight before. I haven't. I checked. Midnight. That's why I've got this silver for all of the armor plating and the black on the outside and then the red. Oh, the yak. <laughs> oh, fuck. What you were telling me is to do these quests on a mage. Yes. It doesn't matter which tune it drops on, Una. Like, when you're farming for the pet, it does not matter. Um, because obviously it's usable account-wide. But I would definitely advise to do this shit on a mage. I don't know if you have to do Baal on the same character you did Una, though. I don't know. Um, where is my spreadsheet? Dory, can I have a number from you? Between 1 and 100, please. Una being relatable. I know, right? I know. What's Baal? Uh, demonic goat. Pet. Literally. Pet journal. Baal. Oh, is it actually not spelled like that? Oh, it's ba it's got fuck. I put the apostrophe in the wrong place. But yeah, he's he's a little um, demonic goat. He's actually like got weird symbols and stuff on his face as you would expect from something demonic uh, and all over him. And like, yeah, he's fucking adorable. Um, so yeah, but to get him, I'm pretty sure you need to uh, upgrade Una. Cause you get Una, Una's a drop and it's, it, she's she's like a one in 10 or a one in seven. She's a pretty common drop from a rare in Argus. But in order to get the rare to spawn, you have to make an item that summons that that creature and then kill it and then hope for it that it drops Una. Um, but once you've done that whole thing to, compl to get the thing to summon it, you don't have to do it again. Like once that item has been used, you can permanently summon the, the rare. Um, however, you don't have to put the item together to get the, uh, the get the rare to summon. You can just go with somebody and then they can summon it and then you can kill it and you still have a chance to get Una. But that's a pain in the ass and actually putting the item together is pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of time. So I would definitely recommend doing it that way if you're wanting to hunt the secrets. 25. Fantastic. Uh, you, my dear, have won a copy of Turok. Which is like, I have such fond memories of Turok. And I know that's such a strange game to have fond memories of, but it was the first game that I played that wasn't like Mario or Yoshi Story or something like it was the first kind of s even semi-violent game that I played. Um, shortly after we started playing Turok, we got a copy of GoldenEye. Um, this was on Nintendo 64. <laughs> yep. Um, so, but it was the first game that I played that wasn't like cartoony and all that kind of stuff. So I've got really fond memories of Turok um, hunting or like, like helping my brother play like he, he'd have the controller and he'd be the one killing the dinosaurs and I'd be like no watch out and look now there's the thing of that oh you missed the collectible up on the ledge like all that kind of shit it just it was really yeah a lot of fond memories um cool so we lost again I wonder if this is one of those battles that's just broken um you remember a few events ago there was one that was just totally broken that you just couldn't win it was essentially bugged but we will see. Oh, and place two healers. Okay, I'm gonna pop a healer in here then and see if we can get more people in this little pack and just keep everyone alive, maybe. We'll, we'll see how we go. Um. Uh, also, do the mount special for the target mount. It's insane. I feel like Liz is going further into the crazy territory with specials. Uh, and then you get little Argie, I think his name is, which is like another cute goat. Ah, Argie's not on the list of... I've already got Argie. That's a totally separate one, yeah? But yeah, he is, he is very cute. Was that, is that a, like, 
I don't even remember how I got Argy. Must maybe it was another secret that I've already done and so it's not on the list. Who fucking knows? Uh, and then so what I'm hearing is the next character I need to level should be a mage. Oh fucking oath! Yeah, like I I honestly feel that everyone should have a mage, even if it's just for like those little things that require you to jump around a whole lot. It just makes so much like. <laughs> either either a mage or a pocket mage. But if you have a mage and your friend has a mage, then you can be the mage for all your friend's non-mage tunes. And then your friend can be the mage for all your ma Like, you know what I mean? You can like pair up. Like Jas is my tank and he protects me from death and I give him ports. <laughs> this is how, this is, this is how it functions. Um, Turok, yeah, it's a dinosaur game from the nineties. Fuck yeah, it is. Turok N64 was fire, agreed, agreed. Almost a dino shooter, yes. Yes. Ahoy Z! Being the annoying little sister backseating your brother. Oh, I'm I'm older. No, no. I'm the eldest. I'm the fucking eldest. I am not an annoying little No, I am the bossy older sister. Or oh, sorry. I am the the older sister with leadership qualities. <laughs> no, my brother is younger than me. I was two and a half when he was born. Uh, I wonder what expansion I might level in on my druid. Do you have any that you still need? Uh, what's it called for? Lawmaster. Ah, fuck. I pushed the wrong button because I'm so used to uh, being on my alts. I'm going to set this as a, I'm going to set Una as a favorite for now because I feel like I'm going to need that. It's gotten a little brighter. I can see, sort of. Oh, hi, who are you? I'm Una, wanna be friends? Maybe together we can get out of this place. I wish Nu were here, he'd know what to do. No. And my heartstrings gonna be shredded to pieces as per usual. I feel like that's the end of the dialogue. Yeah, okay. Uh, so mount special. Okay, good. I can cancel it by moving. There's there's one issue I have with mount specials that are like huge and elaborate and awesome, and that's like they just take too fucking long. <laughs> like, I mean, we've got ones where the mount special is like the horse goes up on its hind legs and neighs. Great, but like it, it, you know, it's like having a sound effect that lasts three and a half minutes and you're like, cool, when does this end? I want to get back to creating content, please. But it's very cool, very fancy. Very fancy. Uh, Argy is in super Oh, he's a store pet! Right, okay, that's probably why I completely forgot where it came from. Brilliant. I have it though. Wonderful. I think. Because usually it says store pet, it just says um, expansion BFA. Uh, you know, there's a way we can check. There is a way that we can check this. Yeah, there you go, Argy. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's a store pet. He's very cute. You're, you are right on that one as well. Very cute. Uh, okay. Light forged a beacon. I do like how natural the wings feel on the mount though. Um, Cause like there are some where it just kind of, it feels like an afterthought. You know, it's like, yeah, we've created this mount. Oh fuck, we need to make it fly, shit. How does it fly? So like, mm, you know, but I feel like this one actually, like the wings don't feel like an afterthought. They don't feel like they're just tacked on, but at the same time they can be hidden and it still makes sense. Like they can just disappear when he's on the ground and it still makes sense. Like I really like that about the design. Uh, Shadow Guard Incursion, Eridath. Let's go. Mmm, so such a innovation. I won last time. Oh, fantastic, Dory. I'm so glad that you're still loving it. That's great news. Flicker is, was, store pet. Currently is. Yes. This is the way. Can confirm have many dark iron mages just to jump from here to there real fast. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Use a gliding ability to jump across the gap. Uh-oh. That's fine. I have, um... You will need two gliders to get to the next part of this guide. Can't I just- Or the Emerald Winds toy, it says. Can't I just like slow fall, run, jump, like surely? Oh no, it's too high up, okay. That's super annoying. All right, 
Emerald wins. Let's hop off this just in case it fucks me over. Oh, it's just this gap. Okay, well, let's... I can do this a little bit, and then we can deal with the rest of it afterwards. And then we gotta go that way. Um, yeah, okay, so... Slow fall is gonna take me too low, I think, because it, it has a fairly downward trajectory, but I can definitely do the Emerald Winds toy. You're in the wrong zone. Well, why does it say, or the Emerald Winds toy then? Let's give it a shot, and if I don't make it, I'll just go buy two goblin gliders. I don't, I don't have goblin gliders because, yeah, way too low. That's okay. Um, because I have slowfall. I don't need goblin gliders usually. Um, all right. So in that case, can we just like take a second though? Look at that skybox. Oh my lord! Just before we die, a horrible, horrible death. Isn't that beautiful? How the fuck do I get my corpse? My brethren. Yes, that's what your mum told me. Oh no, mum told me I was bossy all the time. But it's just I really I find it really interesting that I've never heard a male child be called bossy. So you know, don't be the change you want to see in the world. The void will have its due. I do outland. Yes, finally hit my mini goal of getting two fifty mounts. Fantastic, Koala! Congratulations. Well done. Why can't we just go this way? Is there a reason to, is it just because of the, oh yeah, the, the, how it goes much further down. Okay. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, in that case. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Apparently I need two, so I'm gonna get four just in oh. Let's get five. Just in case. If you find anything exotic, bring, bring it, to it to me. Um I'm convinced everyone needs a druid, a mage, and a warlock. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd, I'd go with that. Off and away. Go with that. Uh, I agree with Druid Mage, what is lock for? Maybe Demon Hunter, depends on what content you're doing. Uh, when those my new favorite mount, not only my tiger baby, but I'm also a water sign, win win for me. I'm um, a Pisces, Life Final Fantasy, flying mounts, everything flies. How does it fly? Details, too many questions. Yeah. Yeah, look. Um, self res, be res, portal, cookies, best DPS survivability next to Hunter, good CC, summoning, teleport, save. Uh, is there a quest story you love to play through? I love the Runa story quest line in Azuna. Um, I mean, honestly, most of them. I don't think there's a, like, I especially love the storylines that make me feel, like, really, like, punch me in the emotions kind of feel. Um, so, like, most recently, think Ardenwild. Um, the, the whole, like, storyline there with Ysera and stuff like that. Um, so anything that makes me feel like that is, is, yeah. I, and addition, additional, uh, to that is things that make me laugh out loud. Um, so, like, stuff with Theata, even in Reverend Dreth, was just beautiful. Where the fuck am I even going? I don't know. It's a very good question. Um... Because Theotard just... Oh, he's so good. He's just so good. Um, like, he knows he knows his situation, and he's just he's just handling it like a boss. He's just... He's doing what he has to do. Um, give him an extra jump. It's actually playing so I can usually play. If you miss it, you'll fall and die. Oh, I know. I know. That's what happens when you jump off the edge of worlds. Like, I'm... Come on now. How long have I been playing WoW for? <laughs> It's feral. I fixed it so I would blink help you. No, I'm an engineer, so I just gotta wait three minutes. Uh, maybe report the step and cycle so they can fix it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, actually, I might grab a snippy snip while I'm 
here. Just so I know which guide, which step, all that kind of stuff, so I don't have to do it like right the fuck now. Brilliant. Alright. Mm. Call my five year old son bossy if it helps. Oh, they've been called bossy, not high enough. Their male children will be called weak or subservient even if they aren't so bossy. And they shouldn't be. Neither of those things should be a thing that are happening. Um. Extra collecting. Love theater. Me too, Scarlet. Me too. Ah, uh, user points through the country and the emotional glues. My friends that hurt me so much. I used to sit much in this little dialogue when I do it. I believe that whoever designed theater used to play Vampire the Masquerade as a Malkavian. Ah, uh, that makes zero sense to me, but it's okay. Like, I, I don't need to have it explained to me. I'm sure that you're accurate. Um, I do like that Zygra has the option around the steps to report issues or suggestions. Yeah, I, I know, but like, every time I've actually gone and posted on the forums, I get a response within 24 hours and usually the response is done. So like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> posting it on the forums just, um, feels like so much more will get done that way. Um, Okay, that's not comfortable at all. I don't like this, because if I jump off, then I'll slow fall over. There we go. Alrighty. Cannot use on the ground. Brilliant. So I'm gonna... There we go. Fuck off, Madeira. Oh, that's so close. I don't like that at all. Um, here you want to go to the next highest point, then glide to the next floating island. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. What floating island? Oh, you have done that. Okay, that's fine. Just then go into the building. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Now go to new a small doll lying on the floor. Oh, hang on. No, I didn't. I need to summon Una to do this bit. No, no! I was scared I'd never see you again. How did you get here? Oh, good. Double up boxes. No, is here to help us, friend. I knew you'd find us new. Uh, so very close to not making it. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Hold on to him so he doesn't get lost again. I'm gonna leave this for a while. Leave. What are you up to, Meaty? What were you doing? Ah, uh, cool. All right, that's done. Um. Oh. Okay. Um. So I think Darkshaw. Is there a port to Darkshaw currently open? From no, there won't be because there's no world quests up. So I think Orgrimmar's the fast. No, what's this, Hygel? We can do Hygel. Let's go Hygel. That'll be fastest. I secret my coordination isn't up to it. Uh, I mean, look, I did just jump off and then leave it. I was only swinging. I wasn't moving my camera around in terms of aiming my character. It was just swinging the camera around to see where she was going, like the actual draw, like left click rather than right click. Um, so it didn't actually involve more coordination than it looked. It was just really tight. Um, but I think if you get the aiming right, like, and then just don't fucking touch it, you should be fine. Alright! Ah, uh, I thought Duckshaw was up for Horde. Duckshaw is up for Horde. Lines are saying Duckshaw according to where I had, so it should be up. Ah, well there weren't any world quests on the map, but maybe it was just because I was in a different area. No, I still no- Maybe I'm in a different time. I think I'm in a different time. That's okay. It's it's close enough. I'll be fine. I'll just put her on auto runner and she'll be right. Um, we would just make it. I'm assuming that Apathy is talking about the glider for that last step, um, and that you'll you'll just make it. But yeah, um, obviously, you know, if you're not feeling comfortable today, then that's entirely your call. But um, yeah, it's not like I didn't. That wasn't tweaking. That was just me swinging the camera around because I was nervous.
<clears throat> You'd have to fly to the docks anyway, yeah. I'll be fine. Okay. Um, right, so. I am too sniffly. It always scares me when like the whole like the whole screen is just like purple as an example. It's like what? <laughs> what am I doing? Where am I? Am I in the right place? Oh shit. Let's do this. Am I somewhere I shouldn't be? When am I going to hit the wall and it's going to dismount me and I'm going to fall through the world and die? Yeah, that's about right. I do that frequently. I'm very, very skilled at that. I'm kidding. I don't do that frequently. Uh, did the world crack? Yes, often. Often. This is fun. I'm traveling. Yeah, there you go. Another hydrate. You have traveled back through time to Darkshore before the shores erupted in battle. Speak with Zidormi again to return to the present. That would be why I couldn't see any of the old quests. Oh, well. Hydrates, Zam. Is that what you reckon? I know the fatigue. However, will I survive? All right, I need to plug my phone into charge. Um, there's going to be a connection noise. This is me, not you. That was me, not you. <clears throat> it's control, isn't it? Yeah. Talk to Exeter. It's really not very nice of you, just just saying. Up the other way. Fuck. Okay, this is fine. I just need to get out of combat. Um, so that the arrow will come up properly. But I think I'm going in the right direction because the number's going down, so it's got to be right, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't this me to go through the exit art? Nope. Wrong. Not happening. Stay the absolute hell away from them. Let's still get out there. Yeah, I just rage quick Kara at the chess event. Not the night for thinking. Fair. Fair. <clears throat> 
chess isn't fun to solo. See, everyone keeps saying this, but I've never had an issue. I don't... I don't understand what's going wrong for people because I literally, I just, I hop into one of them and I just use the ability every time it comes off cooldown. Eventually I die and then I jump into the next one and I use it, the ability every time it comes off cooldown until I die and it, it just, I've, I've never had an issue with it. So I don't understand, I don't understand why, like what's going on for other people because I've just, I've never seen it. I've never seen it like break. I know he cheats, but that's part of the, that's part of the fight. Um, maybe it's because I don't move any of the pieces. Like I literally, I legit just have them stay still. I just have them stay still and kill everything. Any anything that comes anywhere near me. Maybe that's why. I do several times for six of the interactions. Click on one. And there's not an option to get in them. Yeah, because there is a timer that you have to wait out before you can jump into the next one. I always make that same mistake, but there's you have you have a debuff and you have to wait for that to run out before you can get into the next one. Ah, uh, so this isn't fun. It's not hard, but it's not fun. Move the king out front, jump in a priest behind him and wait. Strategy cotton, let's see how it pans out. Like, I'm not... Please, please don't think that I'm, like, thinking that people are just bitching about nothing or anything like that like there are so many people who talk about how broken chess is that I assume that there's definitely something going on with it but I've just I've never seen I've had zero issues with it like I've never the only time I've ever had chess go badly was back when it was current content and we were trying to kill it like that didn't go so well but um yeah, whenever it's not been current, like, it's, yeah, it's been, maybe I'm just lucky or something. I don't know. I used to have a wand like that. Lost it a long time ago. I don't understand what mud palm. It shoots stars. Bad guys really hate that. <clears throat> I don't understand common, so I don't get this bit. I think that's it. I think it's done. She's not doing anything else, so I'm going to click to continue. Uh, okay, War Spear. Uh, it's been a while for me. I've never tried leaving, not moving them around. Leaving them on them. But yeah, I, I don't ever leave the units. I never move them. I just stand still, wait for shit to come to me, and then kill them. until And, and if I die, it puts me back to the little door at the start. And I go down, wait for my debuff to go away, and then jump into another one. I've, I don't move them, and I don't leave them. Like, leave the units. So maybe that's the trick. Um, but I, I don't do that, and I've never had any issues. Uh, I've seriously followed every different strategy I've found on where I had. It seems very random as to succeed or not. Okay, yeah, I've never... I've never lost a fight. With chess. I don't, I don't like do any tricks to make it go faster. Like I know everyone's always looking for strategies. Like what's the fastest way to kill such and such or whatever. I don't. Like I just just do the fight. I just hop in to a pe like to a peon right in front of the, the king, and I wait for shit to come to me, and then I slash every time on cooldown, and then when I die, I wait for the debuff to tick out, and then jump into the other peon in front of him, and then same thing and then yeah I just yeah it's never been an issue when I try to play Courage Chess I do move the pieces mostly to avoid the Medea flame nah I don't bother trying to avoid it because it's gonna fucking kill you anyway um like there's just no point I'm just looking not to fail yeah and that's that's the thing like I I've never I've never failed it like it's never I've never lost I think maybe once I've lost but I think it was when I was doing it on stream and I was paying too much attention to chat and so I was missing when it was coming off cooldown. Um, and so I was just sitting here and I'm like, oh shit, right, bonk, pressing a button. And so I was dying without putting as much damage out or whatever. Um, but apart from that, I don't think I've ever lost one. Um, again, I'm, I'm not trying to say that anyone else's experience is wrong at all. 
like you know you can only you've only got the experiences you've got and the same goes for me if I've not lost about if I've not lost the fight then um yeah but hopefully I don't know maybe maybe hopefully what I do can help others I don't know I hope so because there's nothing worse than not being able to do something that's literally 15 years old like that's just a really shitty feeling um Did this spring come and had nothing to do with the quest line? That bit of quest, just bad timing. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> I thought he was talking to Una, because I mean Una, Una's um Drenai, right? So, well, she looks Drenai, I think. So I mean, it'd make sense if he was talking to her. I never did it when it was current content. Have to rely on others. Yeah, of course. It, look, when it was current content, it was an absolute motherfucking bitch. Like it was a hell of a fight, a hell of a fight. Um, but it was fun. Like, it was a really different kind of... We don't really get those kind of experiences anymore. I think, like, the, the first boss in Ulduwa and stuff like that, where you do it all entirely through vehicles and shit, we don't really get fights like that anymore because I think they, they just break too easily. Um, there are bugs that happen far too, too easily, and so they just don't really try it anymore. But it's so much fun. It really is. A crown! So pretty! You can't fight the dark without a crown, friend. It's the rules. Sure. I feel a lot better now. Good, I'm glad, Una. Yeah, she is brilliant. I can identify the races of World of Warcraft after 15 years. When is Papa coming home? I think that's unrelated as well. Uh, oh, oh, once the dialogue ends, stay for a bit until Una gets consumed by the darkness. Uh oh. She's got a crown and a sparkle wand. I'm gonna wait for her to get consumed by the darkness. I do not remember that one. Nature props to secret finders, like seriously. Yup. Yup, scouring through code and looking for doodads that can be interacted with and shit. This is why I cannot be a part of it. I cannot, because I know that I'd get sucked in and everything else would just not happen ever. Oh, it's dark again. Where did you go? Don't leave me. I did it intentionally. No, let me go. Help, friend, help. Okay, she gone. So, click to continue. Once the previous step is completed, you will no longer be able to summon Una. You will now need to kill yourself. What is the easiest way to do that, my friends? <laughs> All right. Spirit healer, talk to spirit healer, ask her. I'm looking for a little girl named Una. Have you seen her? I have heard the cries of the child you speak of. I shall mark you that you may pass into this realm and seek her out. She resides in a place where the barrier between the realms of life and death are thin and spill over into your world. Be warned, you have no power in this place. Its denizens cannot be harmed by mortals. Try as you might, you may not be able to aid your friend. 
Uh, once you've asked through her, you may go resurrect yourself. All right, we're gonna do that while I do that. <clears throat> Easiest way to kill yourself. Follow my raid litter. Oh, Jack, I am so sorry to hear that. Oh dear. Yeah, good old gravity. Can always trust it. It's endlessly reliable. Uh, like, how do they figure this out? Um, so a lot of it is trolling through code to look for things that don't look quite right. Um, so, like, you know, an interaction between Una and Doodad XYZ. Like, wait, hang on, what, hang on. So, and then they go into the game and check that kind of stuff out and see what happens. And a lot of the time they'll get pieces and it's like, yeah, we got this, but they're in the wrong order and stuff. And so people will try different orders. Um, if there are, like, clickable things and there are 50 of them, then they will try 50 to the power of whatever, like 50 exclamation mark, all the different combinations to see which, and then, you know, if they find like, oh, it, it did something, and then I clicked this one and it did something, and then I clicked a third one and it didn't. It's like, okay, well, these two are in the right order, but we need the third one. Um, little weird things like that. Like, it takes time. And a lot of the time, even when, like, look at the Slime Serpent, for example, um, they spent months trying to figure that shit out. Months and months and months. And then someone accidentally got it. Accidentally. Accidentally. And all the secret finders just kind of went... <laughs> because it, it looked... It had been solved. That's fantastic. It was just accidental. Um, right. Okay. Congratulations to Z, Meaty, and Zam on all your bonus shit. And thank you so much to everyone who placed your units. We finally defeated the bullshit difficult map. Yay. Yay. Um, that wouldn't work in Final Fantasy. You can't kill yourself by falling from a great height. Well, lucky we're not playing Final Fantasy then. <laughs> Dude walks off more ledges than Indiana Jones. Oh, Jack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Barbarian place. There we go. Barbarian has been placed. Shadowlands before Shadowlands came out. Yeah, pretty much. Except no mortals can, uh, can harm them there. Alright, there we go. Um, you may go resurrect yourself, which I have done. Um, get a burger is preparing our order. Yay! Love burgers. Um, okay. Click shadow tear. Tell it touch the tear. I'm not sure I want to do that. Teleport to Dalaran. Which Dalaran? Not Dalaran North. No, because that's Dalaran Broken Isles. So I'm guessing because of the picture. Actually, you know what? I realized this the other day. You can actually fucking click it and it does it for you. You don't have to go hunting for it. Because I'm an up It took me how many years to figure it out that Zygor does it for you. <laughs> oh, ma. Fucking brain. Seriously. Enters as a DK. Fuck you, Lady Law says. Eat a dick. Yeah, that's combat, but not outside of combat. Um. Oh, you can if there's a mob there. Uh, table flip. Yep, yeah, pretty much. I really love that Blizzard's putting more secrets into the game. It's fun to watch them get figured out. I bet it's just as fun to watch from their point of view. I reckon it's hella fun to probably code them as well. What do you, like, I can only imagine the temptation to put like a line, you know, you know how there are lines in code that aren't actually code, but it's like a note for the programmer or for whatever to like, this is why this is here. Like don't touch this line or, or so that kind of shit. The temptation to drop little like, oh look, it's a secret lines in in code like oh oh man or like coding some coding a whole block in binary and the first line of it spells out in binary it's a secret like figuring out that kind of shit would be my jam like i'd love to oh it'd be so much fun uh, it is awesome that secrets are mined and shared. Luck comes with work, indeed. And the fact that it's a massive chunk, like there's a big ass fucking community that works together to find out these secrets. There's no like individual pride in, no, I won't let you see my work. I'm gonna figure this out by myself. They, like everyone shares the work together and, and figures it out together. It's beautiful. Um, uh, the comments, comments, yeah, okay. Uh, I like that Cycle uses whatever hearthstones you have available. It could be standard or event toy, etc. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, and like, but you can you can turn those off as well. Like, there's even teleport items. So if you have the necklace that ports you to to Black Temple from way back, you can it'll use that as well. Like, it's just so good. It's super cool. I love that it uses all the pet ports and all that kind of shit too. 
Uh, it works, but I don't know why no one changed this. Yeah, that kind of, yeah, exactly. Fuck that level designer that made the room with all the clickable pebbles in Lucid Nightmare. <laughs> oh, you bet your ass they had fun doing it though, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I forgot that it takes you off your mount there. Because it's chromey for, for the chromey time thing. The visions, whatever. Oh, dear. But yeah, that kind of shit's like... I, I would love to get involved in actually solving it, but I know what I know what I'm like, and I know that it would consume my life, and there's not enough of my life left to consume, and so it would take over other parts of my life as well, and everything else around me would just fall to shit. Um, so it's better for my own sanity and for my own everything else in life that I don't. Interesting. Um, that I don't get involved in that stuff. But once it's been figured out, following the quest chains like this are great fun. Great fun. Uh, I've done all the things for Lucid except the last puzzle. Oh, but it's so much fun, Dory. It's so much fun. Click the shadow tear. Tell it to touch the tear. Tear. A green dragon's tear cast in shadow by unknown forces. I'm now in a scenario. <clears throat> Alrighty, this will bring you into a dark place scenario. Enter a dark place scenario. Once in, run towards Una. She will be about 100 yards right in front of you. Once you reach her, use the emote cheer while targeting her. <laughs> Friend, is that you? I won't give up, friend. I promise. I'm just so cold and it's very dark here. I don't know what to do. I think that's it. You need to drop a cooking fire right next to her. This will trigger the final stage of the event. Uh... There it is. There you are, that's much better. They're gonna be here soon, friend. Ominous. I keep running and running, but they always find me. But now you're here. Together we can fight them, I think. Once the final stage starts, you'll need to scare away the soul eaters. Promise you won't leave me, friend, even when it gets dark. That show up around the room. To do this, you will need to run on top of the soul eaters to make them run away for a short duration. You cannot let any soul eaters reach Una. To end the event, you must emote hug while targeting Una when she emotes the following. Una wraps her arms around herself and begins to cry. Um, Una says, they're here. Una yells, go away. We're not afraid of you. I feel like I don't want to run all the way over there, but at the same time, I kind of do. What happens if I- so when I run on them... Oh god, they're creepy. I don't like them at all. <laughs> Must be an internal cooldown of how often you can scare them away. I feel like there's no point running all the way out to the ones that are further away. Yes, Una! Use that wand.
I know you're scared, honey. I'm here. It's just a few of them. Can't do it. I just want to go home. Yes! Uh, so she said, friend, are you still there? I'm scared. I, I can't do it. I just want to go home. Una wraps her arms around herself and, you, and begins to cry. You hug Una. Friend, you're here. You didn't leave me. Mama told me the light would always find me. That's you, friend. You're my light. And as long as my light is with me, there's no way the darkness can win. My light is super strong. I'm not going to be afraid anymore. Darkness is gone. I can see. Oh, friend, we did it. We beat them. What? What's happening? The light. It's telling me to follow it. Mama, Papa, they're waiting for me. Wait a sec. There's so much I never got to do. So many places I never got to see. Is it okay if I stay with my friend for just a little while longer? Friend, the light says I can stay. Woohoo! Tell Mama and Papa I miss them and, and I'll see them soon. Okay, friend, let's get out of here. We have so many places to go. Una hugs you. Uh, once you emote hug on Una, she'll do some more dialogue, then defeat all the soul eaters. Uh, she will then do some more dialogue and will eventually teleport you back to Dragonblight. You have now completed a dark place scenario. That is super fucking cute. I just... You know, something hits just right when kids win. You know, it just... Yeah. Ah, the puzzle is fine if it's soluble. It took like one and a half hours after resetting because the first one was broken. I would recommend doing it on a mage or demon hunter if you can. This is what the void wants. Oh, the hype. The dialogue, if you fail, is so heart-wrenching. Oof. Uh, I think I got the broken one first time. I tracked it and it did not make sense. I haven't been back to try again yet. Ah, uh, this quest line hits you. It does. It does. Um, the trick with the maze for Lucid Nightmare is, like, definitely track it. And if there is a door that is available that takes you back into a room where there should not have been a door, don't take it. It breaks it. Um, I know that there are other things that can happen as well, but that was the really big one. Um, I had people on my Twitter and all this kind of stuff talking about how it took them seven hours, up to 14 hours to solve the maze. And I was so excited. I set aside a whole fucking stream and I'm like, yes, this is going to take us forever and it's going to be so much fun. I'm going to really enjoy myself because I fucking love puzzles. This is why I stay away from the secret hunting because I love puzzles and they, they, they take over my life. It took me 45 minutes. I was so disappointed at how easy it was. Um... It just, I was like, ugh. I was expecting something fucking hard and the maze took me 45 minutes. I was just so sad. <laughs> but I guess that, you know, that's just, maybe just me. All right, ball. Uh, in order to collect ball, you will also need to collect Una pet. Once you've completed Una, you will need to complete Una's quest line. Once you've completed Una's quest line, you will need to take Una on a world tour. Refer to the Una world tour guide to accomplish this. Fucking Jesus. Okay, it's fine. Heading over to Vale. Why do I keep- I need to learn to click the goddamn guide button. Um, Puzzle, yes, indeed. How did you track it? Um, There was an add-on. Because I thought about doing it with pen and paper like a lot of people were doing, but by the time I got around to doing it, there was a person who had developed an add-on for it. I don't know if it's still under development because it's a really old puzzle. Um, but I did the, the add-on so that people could see on stream what, where I was at, uh, with the maze. This cannot be the Black Empire itself. Um, is just easy. Well, not for everyone. Everyone's brains work differently and some people don't do puzzles as, as easily as I might do them. Um, but yeah, having it tracked is, it makes it like super easy mode. 
Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but there was it like I'm pretty sure it referenced Lucid Nightmare in the in the name of it, or at least in the description. But it was like yeah, maze tracking something something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what was the add-on called? I literally could not tell you. It was a, it was five years ago, and it was a very highly specific add-on for that. It only did that one task, and so I installed it. I did the thing, and then I got rid of it. I couldn't tell you. It was five fucking years ago. <laughs> I'm sure that if you do some searching, you will be able to find it. I'm sure. Unless it's been taken off curse or whatever. But if it has, I'm sure there'll be 70 million different replacements for it. Uh, Alright. Here we go. Come on, Una. walk around if it doesn't trigger ah uh, there's an endless halls helper on github if you want the easy way Go. Come on, Una. Why are you no? called lucid nightmare helper on wow up there you go yeah honestly like the easiest way to find this shit is to just type in what you need help with and shit will pop up like literally it's just that easy um Trying to see if there's I'm I'm jumping on where I had to see if there's a um a better coordinate. <laughs> nope, it's literally here. Where'd she go? Did I trigger it and then run away? Am I an idiot? Possibly, yeah. That might be a thing. That's really annoying. Um, alright, I'm gonna have to... Where's my notepad? Uh, world... Tour. 
that's step one. Make it clear that it needs to be old veil, not old gods veil. Because that's... I mean, I know that there are a lot of parts of WoW now that you need to be in, like, the right phase and shit like that because just everything, it keeps happening and that's fine. But it means that you need to make this shit clear sometimes. Oh, uh, I can't remember this happening, can't remember the fix. Yeah, I imagine that it's, I just need to go, god damn. I just need to, um, I can't even turn the alerts for those ones off. Like, fuck, I can't remove them from the list, that's super annoying. Uh, I imagine it's just because I'm in the wrong veil. Light be with you. Because this was a thing from a while back. Light bless you. And so it doesn't recognize it, thinks I'm in the wrong zone. And that's fine. I just, like, if you're in a fucking guide, you might need to know. Ah, uh, big forum from May 2020 was about being bugged for in the most alliance. When you pay for a guide, it should tell you. Correct. I agree. I agree. Hey, Dunks. In both timelines. That's problematic. Because there's a whole lot of different secrets that rely on Una's world tour to be able to do. Drop down here and make sure she's summoned. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that's the biggest wall I've ever seen. What do you suppose they wanted to keep out? Bugs. Is it bugs? I bet it's bugs. Yuck, I hate bugs. Ew. Same, Una. Fucking Jesus. All right, she's following me around now. So, next one. Dalaran. Mm, she doesn't know how true she is. <laughs> yup. Especially the size of those bugs. This is to fully upgrade her, correct? Yep. I've done the I've done the um the scenario. So I'm doing the world tour now. Excuse me. Okay, Surama. I'll next to yep. At least according to my checklist from A22. Ooh, pistachios were on sale this week, so I'm happy. Fantastic. Wonderful. expensive they are. They are, but they're really quite good for you as well. Obviously, unless you have like a nut allergy or something. In which case, don't do that. I think I need to put her on my bars just for today. <laughs> wow, that's going to be the prettiest house ever. Do you know who lives here? I bet it's a princess. Do you want to play princesses with me? Yes, obviously. Obviously. 
Are we done? I think we're done. Hell yeah, I do, right? Hell yeah! So glad free insults from Torghast now counts towards weekly. Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Crisis landing. Whoa, a flying city. Are you serious? How does it do that? Ugh, fucking dadgar. Do you live here? I mean, I did for a while. Come to think of it, do you live anywhere? <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Oh, fuck. Other Dalaran. Go asking all the right questions. Well, this is this is the thing, right? Her dialogue was written. Let me confer with my <laughs> sources. Her dialogue was written no. by a developer, or a, a quest lead, or something like that, right? And you fucking know that this is shit. They're like, yeah, look, our heroes aren't particularly good at a whole bunch of stuff. Like, causes an existential crisis to our players. Ah, uh, we were all homeless. That was my first reaction as well. Whoa, flying city. I live next to the Night Fae Adventure Table! Yeah, I live in my garrison and or in the Venthyr place. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I said the delivery was estimated to arrive at 6.10 and now it says 6.20. That makes me sad. Yeah. It just, it just changed. It said 6.10 to, until about 20 seconds ago and then it updated to 6.20. And I was like, grumble. That's all right. We did book it for 6 to 6.30, so that's reasonable. This inner grand is my hunter's spiritual home. Fair. Of course we're taking it to Wormrest Temple. Of course we are. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, what are those flying things? They're so pretty. That's a big tower. It's like a giant birdhouse. But for lizard birds. Can I have one for a pet? <laughs> oh, fuck. I used to up here when I was on the land side, logging camp in Elwyn, just outside of Red Ridge. It was my character's home. Place is special to me. Giant birdhouse, but for lizard birds. Lizard birds. AKA dragons. <laughs> this is adorable. Priest lived in the tavern our guild was named after. There you go. Very convenient. Oh, she's not up again. Friend, look! We're under a giant tree! Oh, I wonder how many birds live in that tree. Must be so many. 
like 10 birds. I'm not gonna do that. She's in 10 birds. She's coying. Fuck. Alright. Cool. Ah, oh, dear. I think it was the tavern Old Town Storm and love we had the pubs here IRL too. <laughs> Can't fall to my death. Nightfair gives me a slow fall. <laughs> Can you like turn it off? Drowning takes like literally minutes now because we get like three minutes of water breathing. I mean, you could also just like run into the, um, into the Exeter. I mean, it's a while away, but it's doable. So I do, it doesn't deal enough damage. Ah, uh, okay. I wonder if Shah's up. Shah is not up. Shah is dead. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have some journey with her. She is late. And her old time while porting. and we strand. Did you just res me? <laughs> Congratulations to Der, Voodoo, Dunno, and Kay on all your bonus shit. Who got skins? Tell me if you got a skin. I would love to know what skin you got. Do the thing. Bonus shit. You got a skin from last stream? Ah, oh, fantastic, Kay. Congratulations. I'm going to place a healer. There we go. Heal it down. And we're on top of a mountain. I can see everything from here. Don't fall off, friend. I'll be okay if I fall, but you'd go splat! So be careful, okay? That's it. Teleport to Swamp of Sorrows. No skins, plenty of tokens though. Ah, fantastic. Wonderful news. Just say W. I'm so confused. <laughs> Oh, we've got, what, two minutes or so of flight? Where are we headed? Ooh, no, no. Yeah. Black rock. But, like, inside with the lava and shit. I've been spending a little time there. Um, I'm not sure. I think I told you guys on, on Monday, over the weekend, uh, I tried rotating through, not over the week, was it over the week? No, it must have been during Monday on the, oh look, I don't even remember. Uh, there was some point just recently where I started rotating through a bunch of tunes to try to get one drop for, for fear 
from Blackrock. Um, or Blackwing Lair. Not Blackrock. Um, uh, yeah, the original raid. Because she only needed one more drop, and it was a cloak from one of the dragons. So I thought, fuck it, cloaks can drop literally, like, any character can learn a cloak transmog. Any tune. So why am I doing it on Fia when she needs nothing else, when I could be doing it on other characters who do need other things? You know, multiple birds, one stone, one run. And there were three characters in a row, I think it was three, either two or three, in a row that did not get a single piece of new transmog from the entire run. Not one. And these are characters that have like 50% completion for the raid. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? But finally the cloak dropped on my priest. Um, so I stopped there. I'm going to be hearing this possible Monday. Yeah, I think it was Sunday after finishing all the 50s. I think I might have been doing it on Sunday, yeah. Because I think um, Jas was getting stuck into uh, Monster Hunter. And so neither of us went to bed at a particularly appropriate time. Um, what are you after over here? Uh, I'm doing Una's World Tour. To unlock the ability to do a bunch of the other secrets. Where are we? Why is it so smoky? Look down there, it's all glowing! Uh, Jas, it just updated to 6.30. Uh, but it's moving like water. It's a glowing lake? That's really silly, friend. <laughs> oh god, she's adorable. Um... I'm having RNG like that this week. So annoying. Unlock what? Secrets, Grim. Like stuff that the secret finding Discord has worked together to uncover in game. Yeah. Alrighty. Portal to Volma. Go! Morning, afternoon. Oh, had that happened to me with Mythic Knight? Hold on, my hunter, not a single piece of mail gear did end up with the full paladin set dropping. It's like, fuck, and then you run on the paladin and you get the full hunter set drop, right? That's how that works. Fucking, yep. Yep. That's okay. That's okay. I would love to get to the point where, like, I've got an entire... You know, like how, um, fuck, Kuhn. How Kuhn completed all the BC dungeons and raids 100% across all 12 of his tunes. Like, I think that'd feel just so fucking special. Um, but I couldn't do BC first. I feel like I'd have to start with Classic. And Classic Ooh. is rife with zone drops. And, oh, it would just, it would take me fucking forever. Fucking forever. Secrets! Yep. I think you're starting a mage or just realm hopping my other mage. Ah, that could be fun. Uh, because my old guild kicked me because I joined a friend on a different realm. Okay. I mean, a good, a good, as good a reason as any. Right, okay. Uh, our order is being collected, Jess. Which is good because I'm starting to get fucking hungry. I tell you what. Uh, that's okay. And here we go.
It's so beautiful. My people are here. They survived. They didn't all die on Argus? Thank you so much for showing me this, friend. You've shown me so many neat things. You really are the best friend ever. I know someday I'll have to go back to Mama and Papa. But not yet. Una hugs you. There we go. That's it. Una World Tour complete. Um. Okay, that means we can start on Baal. Uh, once you've completed Una's quest line, you will need to take on Una on a world tour. Done. All right, you'll need a goblin glider in order to reach the note. Good, because I got one. Uh, okay, teleporting to Jazara Law. Click conspicuous note. It's on the side of the golden symbol. Purple smoke will rise from the scroll once you have read it. Uh, this quest is surprisingly feelsy for WoW. All the ones involving kids are. Um, like all the if you've ever done Children's Week and actually paid attention to what the kids are saying in each area. Um, and like reading the, the storylines and stuff, they they are like so many WoW quest lines are feelsy. It's just that people don't usually like actually read them, and there's not as many uh, you know cinematic cutscenes and all that kind of stuff. But um, well, not even cinematic cutscenes, but like in-game cutscenes and shit. There aren't as many as, for example, Final Fantasy. But if you pay attention, like a fuck ton of the WoW storylines are actually emotional. That one thing WoW does right is getting you in the heartstrings when you pay attention to quests. Absolutely. And that's that's the unfortunate thing is that a lot of people, because they've been playing it for so long, they just don't pay attention anymore. They just want to get to the, the good stuff, you know, let me let me kill shit. Um, but no, it's uh yeah. Yeah. Some earth elementals. Go away, Magni. Don't care. Not here for world quests. Not exactly a storyline for the red horse you get in Rivendreth. Huh? What do you mean, Grim? I mean, there is a storyline there, it's just not a, a whole last question. Um, water is on the move. Uh, Blanche, if you follow from Vanilla and such, is actually a family source from Westfall. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of Easter egg stuff in, um, Shadowlands. Like, a fuckload of Easter eggs in, in Shadowlands. Um... Uh, you, but, but Blanche has followed us through a ton of shit. Like when you went and did um, Escape from Dernhold Keep with Thrall and Teretha and stuff, you go and find young Blanche in in a like he goes and finds young Blanche in in the stables, and then you have old Blanche in Westfall, and then you have obviously dead Blanche, which we, you know, um, and all that kind of like it's a yeah, it's it's a whole continuation. But people don't often notice that kind of shit. Um, I mean, Blanche was a like most people noticed Blanche. But in terms of the, uh, I don't need goblin gliders, I have flight. <laughs> Begin at the beginning. The purple smoke will rise from it once it's been read. Oh yeah, there you go, just briefly. Begin at the beginning. Cool. Uh, Alright. Um, but... Yeah, the the smaller things, the stuff that isn't explicitly stated, the stuff that's in quest lines instead, like in actual quest text. Not many people read the quest text, um, but that's where you find a lot of feelsy stuff that people usually discount because they don't know it, don't know it exists. Um, I had fun yesterday with the yet quest line and couldn't like some of it. Had not done it for a while. I said, "Oh, Blanchy, yeah. Oh, Blanchy, young Blanchy, all oh, the Blanchies, woo! All oh, the Blanchies." Read the description of an ordinary pebble. It's a tiny rock sitting on a table to the left of a purple orb. You won't be able to interact with it again once you've read it. Uh, I think I don't read the quest text from much of the game because the big blocks of text just call my brain to check out. That's why add-ons like emotional storytelling 
are great for me. Then fantastic. Yeah, there's uh I'm glad that there are tools out there for people. Uh, is there a way to change traits when you're not at the forge? Um, what? Are you talking about conduits when you're at the, like, in your auto, or like your thingamajig? No, you, you can't change conduits. Sorry, I wasn't sure what you meant by traits, and I think, is it called the Soul Forge? Is that why it's... Yeah, all conduit related things require being at the forge, yeah. So you can, like, if you change specs and your other spec has different conduits, then when you change specs your conduits will change with you, but you have one set per spec and you can only change them, like, you can only change them for that spec at the forge, yeah. No, that's okay. I just, I wanted to make sure I was giving you the right information because I, I just was very confused for a second there and, you know, I hate to give people the wrong info. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, as everyone else is saying as well, yeah, then it's, um, it's all at the forge. Oh, it's the one that's different coloured, of course it is. Um, let's read it. An ordinary pebble, unremarkable in every way. Except I can't click it again, so let's continue. Uh, once you do, a path will be hidden under the rubbish on the ground. Click ordinary pebble inside the cave. You'll be able to interact with it again once you've clicked it. Okay. You may change trees, but not the skills themselves. Oh, there you go. I didn't know that bit. So you can flip between your different soul binds when you're anywhere out in the world. But in order to change that soul bind's actual path and conduits, you have to be at the forge. That makes sense. Makes sense. Um, arriving now, Jas, is what it says. Um, do you want to wait? I did I did do the, the instructions to buzz the apartment and stuff. Um, so they hopefully should buzz, but it also looks like they're in an actual car, so I'm unsure if they'll be able to find a park. Well, it looks like they might have, because they've stopped moving. <laughs> Pardon? Yeah, I just said literally all of that on stream. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna head down here and I'm gonna set sail for Tiragard Sound uh, and then I'm gonna go help Jas with the arrival of dinner and I will return with the messiest burger you've ever seen and I'm gonna be so happy about it. So if a class shared a tree, will the conduits change or will they stay for first said spec? Okay, I don't think that any of that makes sense to me, uh, so let me explain it. Um, so I'm, I'm a mage. I have frost, fire, and arcane. I have a tree set for fire. I can also set a different tree for arcane and a different, different tree for frost. If I switch out in the world from fire to arcane, my tree will switch from my fire tree to my arcane tree. Within that arcane tree, I have three different soul binds and I can set each of those soul binds has a different, I, I can set a different tree for each of those three. And then I can change those, like I can change to a different person, like I can activate the different, and they've got different trees, as you can see, I can change to Naja out in the world within fire or within arcane, but I can't change the conduits. Must visit, sort of, it literally says, visit the Forger Bonds. Like it should tell you literally in game, no, you can't do that. What is it? Like it's pretty, Get yeah. moving. Anyway, um, I'm going to return shortly. I'm gonna help Jas with the dinners. Run away, little girl! Run away!
come back. This is this is like loaded fries. It's got brisket and barbecue and mustard and I think some mayo and cheese. And then I have a brisket and bacon and cheese burger. Um, which is going to make it's a lot cleaner than it usually is. I'm a little concerned. Oh no, the brisket's great. <laughs> they just actually sliced it and managed to keep keep it together um, while it was uh, Fucking I. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, run away, but like slowly and carefully. Yep. Yep. Mm. Literally just about said, Welcome back out loud. Oh my god. Oh my god, that'd be great. Viewers react to streams. I need it. It's so fucking good. Then <laughs> shuffle away. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Yes. Shuffle away, indeed. All right. I'm imagining that I don't need to like do this within a time limit or something. I feel like the guide would have told me that at the start if it was the case. My scouts report a dire foe nearby. Kill whatever it is before it can become a real danger. Same what you were saying, but yeah, what I mean is if Frost and Fire shared a soul bind, I'd have to go to the forge to change specific conduits. Yes. Yes, correct. <clears throat> at least I'm pretty sure. I mean, like, yeah, you'd have to go and change them. You'd have to go back to the forge to change them in the first place. I don't change soul binds very I don't I don't change specs, sorry. I don't change specs very often. So someone else might have to answer that for me. Or oh, for you rather. Can you set up, for example, frost naja and fire naja and arcane naja to have different conduits in each spec? And then when you switch between them, the conduit switch, even though like it's still naja, can you get the conduits to change? <clears throat> Because I do not switch specs. I don't. I don't raid or or do very often mythic plus and stuff like that. So I um yeah I just oh okay path will be hidden under the rubbish on the ground, rubbish on the ground. I'm looking for rubbish on the ground. Fuck. Can't even invis. God damn it. Uh, nope, that sucks. Uh, computer and chat says no. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not that big a deal. I'm pretty sure that most people at this point have their Hearthstone set to their place. And on top of that, like, conduits are really going to matter that much if you're doing, like, 30 keys and stuff like that. Like, they're really not that much of a difference. Like, they're not that important unless you're doing extremely high-end content. And if you are, then the people that you're playing with are going to understand. Firstly, you can't switch specs midway in a dungeon. They're going to, you know, give you the time to go back to your fucking place and, and fix your shit. Like, it's not, um... Everyone in that group is going to want to do their best. Everyone's probably going to be going and switching conduits. Once you do, a path will be hidden under the rubbish on the ground. Click ordinary pebble inside the cave. You won't be able to interact with it again once you've clicked it. This, I feel like this is the wrong... I 
feel like this waypoint isn't right. There just, there just isn't rubbish on the ground. timeline. Well, I'm in Baralos. So, so I don't think there's a separate timeline for Baralos. Barrellis, there's a secret cave hidden behind some nets at 4940. Yep, so it doesn't actually give you the entrance point. It only gives you the end point. run through the nets to get to the secret cave. Oh. Okay. That's a lot easier than I thought. Yeah. Perfect. And then we run through to find the pebble. Um, good day for you. I hope the secret hunting is going well. Indeed it is. I haven't been paying attention to the right timeline. Got it. Yeah, kind of wasn't there elsewhere in the game. Yeah, totally fine. Totally fine. Ordinary pebble. Oh. Ah, uh, the text the pebbles no longer contain any text confirming you clicked on them, so click them more than once and use the macro provider bit of guide to thing maybe. But I can't click it again. So it's fine. I know I've clicked it. Okay. Good. Mmm. Bugger, 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 So good. Hey Jas, I know your burger's probably gone by now, but how was it? Pity. Um, look, my brisket is not as moist as it has been in the past. Like, there have been times where this burger has been essentially a pulled pork or, or pulled beef burger because it's just been a mess and really sloppy. This time it's an actual clean slice. 
but it's still really tasty. What do you buy Burger King? Absolutely not Burger King. Mm. That is a terrifying emote, dude. What the fuck? Coming to Nagia. That's on Mondays. We are secret hunting today. A little bit different. More time consuming, but guaranteed reward at the end. Congratulations to Dunno, Spam, Dupe, Neke, Z, and Durin on your bonus shit. I forgot there are caramelized onions on this. And oh god, it's so good. <clears throat> for a charity event. Oh dear. I'm kind of glad that um, Maccas didn't bonk them. <laughs> what kind of secrets? Wow, secrets. You know, like the um, like the secret finding Discord, the kind that they find. That sort of secret. Should have a goblin glider or something similar available before starting this step. Keep jumping and moving forward until you make your way up. Or I could just fly. I think this guide was written before flying was the thing. Because <clears throat> that first step also wanted me to have a goblin glider. It's a tiny rock next to a vine inside the cave. You won't be able to interact with it again once you've clicked it. Jump up the wedge, continue up the wedge, find an ordinary pebble. Inside the cave. Okay, so the cave is definitely down here somewhere. <clears throat> Continue climbing up the wedge. Ah, use your goblin glider kit once you hit this spot. Okay. Enter the cave. It looks amazing. It is fucking amazing, Cass. It is. As well as the um, loaded fries that I've mostly demolished, but they were covered in barbecue sauce, mayo, mustard, melted cheese, and like a spicy salt stuff. I don't know. Really fucking tasty, though. Really good. Oh, we're going to Drusper. <clears throat> 
done a couple of those. I love the puzzles. Me too. Me too. And that's why I, we made it a community challenge last month. Um, if people wanted me to spend a stream doing the puzzles, they had to contribute their channel points, their embers. Um, and so they did. <laughs> and this is the result of that. I'm going to go through and get as many of them as I can. Want to be doing well today? Yeah, look, I'm in a lot of pain, but it's of my own doing, so I'm doing all right. It's uh, like, yeah, post-exercise pain. Dinner has inspired us to get get it for dinner as well. It's so good. So fucking good. Learning how to use our new air fryer. Fuck yes. Air fryers are great. I mean, to be honest, I use it just for basic bitch shit. Basic bitch shit. Like I, you know, do veggies or chips or nugs or whatever. Like I've, I've yet to do any of like the really fancy, I... like, oh my God, you can do that in an air fryer kind of recipes. But um, the course. I'm fairly lazy when it comes to that shit anyway. <clears throat> did we hit all the community channels last month? I do believe you did, yes. And I think two of them, maybe three of them were hit like Friday instead of Sunday. <laughs> and um, there's no community challenges this month because fucked up February. And then, <clears throat> in addition to fucked up February, because my next surgeon's appointment is the 10th of Feb, um, there is a very good chance that he'll want to book my surgery for March. So I'm probably not gonna have any, I'm definitely not gonna have any community challenges until I know when my surgery is, or until, the, until my surgeon's appointment. Because then if we do book it in for March, I can kind of look at my schedule and say, okay, how many community challenges am I going to be able to fit in for March? So I might be able to do one like the last two weeks of February or something like that, but I'm, I'm honestly not too sure. Which inside of the cave, remove the of it again once you click it. Okay, so... Cave? Cave! Should I have limited cupboard space? Really should throw out the cardboard box I have in one of my cupboards. Yeah, look, it would definitely be helpful. It's in the eye of the effigy inside the cave. Ordinary pebble opened. Yeah, I did a really big clean out of one of my cupboards. Because everything was just shoved in there to the point that I didn't use half of my appliances because I couldn't get them out with shit trying to fall on top of me. <clears throat> Since cleaning it out though, oh my god, I actually use pretty much everything I've got, which is really nice. If I had an air fry, I'd be like, bam, sandwich, bam, banana, air fried orange, anyone. Oh, I imagine that an air fried orange would be really fucking dangerous. Just because. I just spat. Just because um, the juice would get super heated and it'd like steam, but it'd have nowhere to go. So as soon as you tried to break the seal of the skin on the orange, it'd fucking explode and scald anyone in the near vicinity. Or it'd explode while within the air fryer and fuck up your air fryer. So maybe not an orange. Maybe slices of orange would be okay, but not like a whole ass orange. You gotta break the seal first. <clears throat> Crumbed fish tonight? Ooh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Some earth elementals have been infused with azurite and are going crazy. Put them down and absorb their azurite. Mmm, the wounds. Yeah. This is why I don't have nice things here. Yeah, look. Look.
My scouts report the Blood Thrones are gathering their forces nearby. Show them the folly of opposing the Zandalari. So, both the guide on Wowhead and the Zygor tells me that I need to avoid aggro and clatterback because it'll one-shot me, but he's also a level 50 elite. So I feel like that's not a problem. I can just kill it. <clears throat> we did not expect the Alliance to push into Bordeaux. Still hurts if I remember correctly. Okay. Well, I do also have invis, so that should be fine. Ah, it's on cooldown, dude. Okay, so we're going from the flight master, which is the fucking portal scroll thing. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 Tree down that tree there's a small cave. I can see Clatterback. Baby, do da 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 da. Can't fucking see shit. Oh, down the tree. I get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, hang on. No, because then it's. I don't even need to interact with- wait. I'm really confused. Hidden among the rocks near the clatterback is the pebble. Oh, there it is. I see. Okay. <clears throat> fucking caves are the worst with fucking softboxes at you. It's really goddamn hard to see shit when everything on the screen is dark. Like, really hard to see shit. Um, but that's okay. We got it. <clears throat> yeah, probably. It's just like lean. I have to lean in and kind of block out the lights to be able to actually see what the fuck I'm doing. Horror games are the worst because, like, <clears throat> you can't see shit, and then you start hearing people screaming, but you still can't see shit. It's like... <sighs> it's been 20 minutes running against a wall because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Can't see anything. <clears throat> Off to Storm Song. Cart next to the water. Look 
located on an island near the shrine of the storm in Stormsong Valley. Easiest cave entrance is located at 55, sorry, 6511, under the canopy of some trees. And there's our wheelbarrow. Buzz. Got it. Alright. It will be on a ship deep underwater. You will take fatigue damage and eventually die when trying to reach this stone. You need an item that will increase your swim speed in order to reach this in time. As soon as you see the fatigue bar, use whatever swim speed item you have to reach the boat. A skull decoration with five notches underneath it. Ordinary pebble will be the second from the left. Right. Let's see what I've got. Um, I reckon I've got the the fishing pole should help, right? <clears throat> and which lower do you bargain with? Where is it? Undercurrent, uh, fishing skill. Or did they deactivate all this one's stuff as well? Shift. I yeah, I know. I didn't finish it. Allies well. Ah, uh, okay. So no. <laughs> Whoops. Fuck. <laughs> Oops. I seem to increase or more than that. Um, I... I'm kind of... Because it's underwater on a ship, it might dismount you once you, you get in there. That's something. what I'm worried about. Zandala forever. <clears throat> Who wants a, might want supplies that increase your swim speed, like Feast of the Fishes, Dark Water Potion, a Warlock's Unending Breath, and even the powers of the Underlight Angler to help you get there. Sunken Ship is located at Blah, after you leave the Nesbitt Zone map. Pebble is located within a Skull Vitral at the back of the Sunken Ship. Yeah, it looks like it's inside the ship, so it's probably going to dismount you. <clears throat> That's okay, let's have a look at... I can't believe I didn't upgrade the fucking Underlight Angler properly. That's really embarrassing. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. No dark water potions. Oh! Yeah, no, absolutely not. Fuck. But see, this says you might want. Um, whereas Zygor says you need. So I'm a little, um, exotic, bring it to me. I don't know, some expensive shit, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, no, no. Ah, that's a lot of fatigue. I don't know what I give you unending breath if you want. Does unending breath give you speed as well? Ah, oh, increases swim speed. It does too. Um, 20 minutes over 10 minutes. That might be really helpful. How long was it going to take me to get 
there, does it reckon? Yeah, that'll be plenty of time. All right, cool. Um, would you? Would it be possible for you to meet me at Zara Law? Do you have a fell slate anchor? No. What is that? <clears throat> you can get there. Awesome. There is a portal here from Orgrimmar if that makes it easier. Most characters have a way to at least get to Org. Just to be safe, you know? Just to be safe. I'm at the bottom of the ocean past! That's really funny. <clears throat> have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Okay. That's reasonably priced. I'll if grab one of those. Anything exotic, bring it to me. Might be useful to have. That's really funny. Ah! Hello! You're in warm. Oh no, you're no man. Hello. Thank mm. you, Shiba. Off I go on my pebble hunt. Much appreciated, Shiba. Mm, thank you. Thank you for the well wishes. I don't know if it'll be useful, but it can't hurt. I mean, it probably could hurt. It probably could, but... That's right, I'll figure it out. A wild Shiba in did deed appear. Hmm, worth a shot, absolutely. You have the right title. For this hunt, always do. I have the right title for all the hunts. Some earth elementals <clears throat> have been infused with Azerite Shut up, Magni. <clears throat> We're done. So, the one I'm currently heading towards is Pebble 6 out of 12. Yep. You're yeah, looking for pebbles, this is the thing that instantly plays you on the ocean floor. I can't remember where you buy it. Oh, that's okay. The wounds fear. Nah, I've dealt with enough wounds. We're good. I feel like they're going to get increasingly harder. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly, I feel like dropping one in at like eight or ten. That's just ridiculously easy to throw people off looking for something hella hard would be great. See, the, the thing was, the hard part of this was finding all the pebbles and then putting them in the right order. So they're not necessarily going to get harder as they go along. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the first step in all this would have been finding interactable doodads called Ordinary Pebble and realizing there were 12 of them and going out into the world and finding them and all this kind of... Do you know what I mean? Like, that's... <clears throat> All right, so we've hit fatigue. There's the ship. Whoa. I cancel that effect.
How do I get in? Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Oh, this is on the outside. Got it! <laughs> I'm not gonna get back in time. That's okay. Fucking got it. <laughs> oh, okay. Another butt clencher? Yeah, just a touch. Ooh. Why, I did not oh, excuse expect me. to be seeing you here so soon. Ah, uh, okay. Fording time. Thank you for the grats. That anchor helped you, dude. It you definitely You are did. not ah! prepared. Cricket, my love, how are you? Welcome back. Hello, sign. Hey, Akoas. Hey, Matt Poker. Fuck doing that with just swim speed. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Hello, Lord. Hey, Avish. Welcome, Raiders, indeed. Hey, Zoe. Thank you for the uh, uh, attempted. <laughs> hey Gaga. Get cricky with it indeed, Shock. Hello, thank you for the casting man, Shiva. Much appreciated. Hello, Fly. Hello, Diamonds. Hey Jesse. <laughs> Too close together. <laughs> it's one of the toughest pebbles. I'm glad it's done. That that feels good. It's done. And I have 6% durability, so I'm gonna repair my shit. Ah, uh, hello, Cricket! Hello, welcome on in. Indeed, hey, Mikey. Indeed. Greetings, sir. Ooh, there we go. Alrighty. Oh, and now we're off to Tear Guard Sound. If, hello, hello, welcome on in, everybody. If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. I am semi full of burger. And uh, today we are doing uh, some secret finding. So, World of Warcraft has uh, secrets. Uh, where like there's there's a toy or a pet or something to collect and we know that it exists but we don't know how to get it and there's a team of people uh, like players just like just like me but um much 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 better than me um who uh, are in a group called the secret finding discord <clears throat> and they basically go trawling through game code and the game itself looking for things that are a little bit weird that don't quite fit or that we can't figure out what they're used for. And they put these these Hi. teeny tiny pu pieces of puzzles You're together moving. to figure out how to unlock these secrets. For example, this one, Baal. He's a little demonic goat pet and he's adorable. And um, in order to get him, you had to unlock a different secret, take her through a quest chain, which was also a secret, and then another quest chain, which was another secret, um, to upgrade her. Then... You had to find this scroll and click it. And then you had to find 12 ordinary pebble interactable little things across the world. 12 of them. And you had to activate them in the correct order. The yeah. And they figured all this out with no, no, it's not an actual quest. So there's no guide on how to do it. There's no, no in-game clues or hints. They did it all by trawling through the game code and putting pieces together. And now I'm doing it by following a guide <laughs> because I'm not that good. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today is is um, doing some secrets because it's fun and I like pets and stuff. Oh, I love the hair color. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. It's a little bit faded at this point, but um, it's uh, I do like it. It's um, Manic Panic is the brand and the shade's called Vampire Red. I like it a lot. Um, can we still say that in 2022? Look, some people do. I'm uh, uh, a little kind of... Personally, I don't celebrate Australia Day um, because I work with a lot of First Nations people and so my, my common terminology for it is Invasion Day. I know that's very contentious and there's a lot of people who have feelings about it and that's okay. It's all right to have feelings, totally fine. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, is what it is. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to smack people down or tell them they're not allowed to have a nice day off work or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, yeah. 
My cool secrets are like, yes, love all the secrets unlocking. Oh, it's so much fun. So much fun. Good luck. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. Once you get Baal, you're doing the waste of time. I never got that far. Um, look, I should. It is the connection. Like it's the next one along. So I feel like I should do it next. Um, but I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Okay. Oh, fuck, I pushed the wrong button again. Okay, so we gotta run down some stairs. There's a couple of people playing something down here. So here we go. There's some stairs. We get down. Ooh. Ah, so these are the these are Pradmore cadets playing D and D. Should we interrupt their game? Yes. Oh Jesus! Why are they not taking? Oh right, because it's BFA. Huh. Excuse me. I've been scattered, boys. Me. Just mush. We go. Battle. Give it a sec. We'll do that in a second. These guys are gonna respawn, so um, I'm gonna. Uh, Pebble is located behind some barrels. Behind these barrels? No. Behind these barrels. Yes, according to the arrow. But like... Oh, there we go. You see it? You see a little just here. Gotcha. Hmm. Oh, I don't have to fucking port now. Interesting. I'm gonna hang out here and we're gonna do that battle. Um, so I'll, yeah, I'll probably head straight into the waste of time after this one because I know I'm supposed to. So, <laughs> so any day off work, indeed. My black fella definitely do not celebrate. Here you go. Hello, Gator. It's a massive DM screen, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Mm. Fucking love loaded fries. Best fries loaded fries. I don't celebrate it, also never celebrated it. It was always just a day off. Mm. When I was younger, it was, you know, everyone in Australia flag board shorts and singlets and flip flops and temporary tattoos on your face and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then when I was like. Probably like when I was in uni, I was just surrounded by people who it wasn't so like so when when I when I celebrated it um, when I was younger, it would be a bunch of like at first it was family barbecue type thing. So a bunch of families got together and, and had a barbecue. It was great fun because they all had kids. And then when I was a bit older, it would be hanging out with all my friends from school. And then when I got to uni, it kind of just was like everyone getting absolutely fucking shit faced. And I've never been a person to get shit faced. No judgment, like your relationship with alcohol is your relationship with alcohol and it's none of my fucking business. And that's totally like, you know, whatever. But I personally, um, being around plastered shit faced people when you are not plastered and or shit faced yourself is just so fucking exhausting and annoying and just ugh. So I just didn't like, eh, just a day with no glasses, you know, it was yay. Uh, although, you know, at this point we probably weren't in class at this point anyway, but yeah, it just, it never, like, it wasn't really a big deal anymore. It was just a day off. Uh, but then now that through my workplace, like my day job, I've had more involvement with the First Nations community and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's definitely invasion day to me. So, um, yeah, that's... But yeah, I know that that kind of stuff, to, to listen to that kind of, um, like to really listen to what that community is saying, um, it's uncomfortable. Like it's really uncomfortable. And so I, I understand that there are people who are like not ready to listen to that and to change their, their stuff and all that kind of shit. I, I get it. Um, and each individual will go on their own journey with all of that. But uh, all I can do is what I feel is is right. So yeah, I don't I don't celebrate it, but um, I'm not going to begrudge people uh, who do at this point. However, I do recognize that I am saying that from a place of privilege. So yeah. Um, 
I know that fence sitting is not actually fence sitting. I, I do recognize that, but um, I also feel I'm, I'm not sure that I'm the right person to be the bearer of that message. I feel like a more appropriate place for me is to lift up those whose story it is to tell. Um, yeah. I remember when we were talking about First Nation cultures in Australia, I was like, I still feel so fake and horrible. Um, getting all Australia themed stuff to wear or search about other immigrants or other people love it. So after that class, I left feeling interesting. Huh? Oh, so like people who weren't born in Australia are feeling uncomfortable doing Australia Day. Look, I don't, I don't think that being um, patriotic is necessarily a bad thing. Like there is, like, like in every group of people there are going there are, there is going to be a way to do it in a toxic manner um you know religion isn't necessarily a bad thing but there are people who take it to an extreme on in every religion in every religion there are extremists um just like you know with patriotism there is extreme patriotism and i think that that can be quite bad um australia is a place of incredible opportunity and amazing diversity and multiculturalism and all this kind of like i i am i'm am so pleased that i like i'm so grateful to have been born in australia um however we have a fucked up history and i think it's important to recognize that um so yeah that's kind of yeah that's my uh yeah uh, people who weren't born here love to show the day. I was born here somehow. It felt like so fake for me. Oh, fair enough. Um, yeah, it's, uh, and I think, I mean, that really goes to show the whole, you know, like Australia Day being about patriotism and stuff like that. Um, you know, they're, they're amazed and pleased and grateful and all that kind of stuff to, to be able to be here, the lucky country. You know, and they want to celebrate that. They want to celebrate the fact that they were able to come to Australia and build a life here. And I think that that's a beautiful thing to want to celebrate. It could be on a different fucking date. <laughs> Why does it have to be this date? And because it's always been is a bad answer. It's not, you know, it's a, it's a bad answer. Anyway, uh, Fairy, Adam, Eid, Zam, and Draz, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Um, I think celebrating Australia for who we have become is, you know, sure, absolutely. But I don't think it has to be on that particular date. I think it could, I think more, I, honestly, I think it should be on, like, and this is the thing, you know, people complain and they don't provide an alternate solution, right? I'm going to provide an alternate solution because I'm all about that life. Um, I would, if it, if it were up to me, and only up to me, and they weren't, you know, a bunch of people voting and people hating me and sending me death threats and shit, because, you know, it would be probably a thing. Um... Casual racism is great. I think it would be the day we signed um, the thingy to become Australia. Because when the boats landed, we weren't Australia. That's not the day we became Australia. There was a day, and it was in 1901, where a piece of paper was signed to declare that on January 1st, we would become Australia. And I know we can't make it January 1st because it's there's already something on January 1st, but we could probably make it the day that it was actually signed, the day the piece of paper was signed to make us Australia. Because prior to that, we weren't Australia. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, and I am... I am not exactly a person of in a position of power. Though I have privilege, I do not have much power. Um, what's up? Oh, I was down there. Um, most black fellas I'm associated with family or wider community don't have a problem with people selling uh, celebrating Australian stuff but it's the date that's the problem yeah exactly and that's why like we were talking about changing the date not abolishing Australia Day pretty much every country has a day to celebrate themselves as a country and that's okay that's there's nothing wrong with that it's it's the date yeah as a UKer I sympathize with the whole we have a fucked up history part I think most countries do hey 
Like, we as humans, and I mean, a hundred years from now, if humans still exist, they'll look back at this time and go, fucking Jesus, we fucked up, didn't we? Like, <laughs> you know? Uh, if I wasn't born in Australia or a place with such access to medication and such, I would be dead, yo. Yeah, a lot of us would be. A lot of us would be. Isn't every country has a fucked up history in some way or another? Though? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Federation document, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, January 1st was when it came into effect, but it's not the date that it was signed. Ah, uh, we separated from Commonwealth. Sorry, Habib, you're correct. It was the day we separated from the Commonwealth, the day we became a federation rather than uh, a colony. Um, my apologies. Um, yeah, I think we were named Australia prior to that, but... Yes, you are, you are right. Thank you for the correction. I appreciate that. Uh, where am I going? Cave! Alright, brilliant. No, wrong cave. Right, right, ooh, hang on. Entrance is on a rock at the entrance to the cave. Now we use our squinty eyes again and try to find... Is this the right cave? Yes! No. I saw a flash of light and thought it was the pebble. It was not. I'm in the right spot. It's up. There it is. Right there. <laughs> Fuck. This is fun. Next! Oh, we're done with yet. Um, you have power of us to be an influencer. <laughs> What's wrong with the day? It's the day that Australia was invaded uh, and taken over as it was, it was called No Man's Land, but it was not No Man's Land. There were people already here. And then over the next many years, those people were treated absolutely horrendously. Uh, their culture all but obliterated. Um, just, it, yeah, it was not a very good thing. Um, and so it's it's a source of trauma for, for many First Nations people in Australia. Um, and therefore, it's a traumatic date. And we don't have to celebrate Australia Day on that date. There are plenty of other options to choose from. Uh, and I think that we should change it. Hmm, humans bad. Yeah, mostly. Mostly. History is not that bad. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Human history in general is absolutely horrendous. going to do a guard sound. If I actually turn off auto fly, Jesus Christ. Okay. Speak up. Onward. Uh, can confirm I'm human. My history sucks. Yeah, look. Look. It's a time. Clear my history regularly, at least the browser one. <laughs> it's probably good practice. The problem is with my goddamn memory, if I find a website, I'm like, ooh, I want to remember that. I either leave it open, which results in a million and one fucking open tabs, or I bookmark it, which results in a million and one bookmarks that I cannot find what I'm looking for through them, or I just leave my history intact so I can search my history when I need to. My history isn't exactly squeaky clean. I don't think anyone's is, no, no. Um, I solved it, Jack. Whoever says I have perfect history is a liar. Yeah, look. That's, uh, ye. Yeah. On the ground with an icy boulder to the left and a slab of meat to the right. There'll be three clatterbacks that burrow up inside the cave. Oh, there's a cave. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, good. Got it. Fuck off. <laughs> Go away. So yes, they do still hurt at 60, can confirm. Can confirm. Good lord. A spy who's been scrubbed. There's always a cave here. There's always a cave! Uh, there's an ad rolling dupe because of the ads manager. You can let them know if you want. Oh, they didn't leash before? Oh, good lord. Okay, so I did that one. On to the next one. Okay, what number is this? That was Tear God Sound. We're heading to Boralus. <clears throat> but it's Pebble Eleven. The cool Tyrans must not be allowed to produce more Azerite munitions. Shut down production at that foundry. Alright, so... Oh, excuse me. The cave is underwater. Oh, sorry, this is what if this is Pebble 10. They just didn't label it as Pebble 10. They broke it. Um this is under a scroll at the back of the room. Thankfully no clatterbacks here. Under a scroll, so it's under the scroll. There it is. Okay.
Okay, so this is Pebble 11. Seaweed Cave Boralis. Cave underwater near Boralis. Entrance is hidden among some algae. In this cave, there are a lot of pebbles scattered around. The correct and interactable one is hidden under some algae. Using shrinking toys like whole body shrinker can make this pebble make getting this pebble a lot easier. I don't think I'll need to though, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Let's find out. You remember this pebble? Is this the annoying one? Is this the one you were talking about, like with the one pebble in the whole room of pebbles? <clears throat> hey, Lug, how you going? Welcome on in. What are you going for? Currently, Baal. Same map. I don't think there's as many. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so it was way... 1082. Oh. That's where the entrance of the cave is. Uh, is there a time limit or is it just time consuming? Uh, it's just time consuming. I don't think there's a time limit. I'm not sure if it will retain your progress if you log out either. I don't really know, but um, I'm just going to do it all in one to make sure. <laughs> <clears throat> There are definitely a few pebbles here. Definitely, definitely check them out. Like, you see all the little white specks? Lots and lots of pebbles. Oh, there it is. Right behind the camera. Great. All right, 11, get. This one. The last pebble is located very far off the coast of Voldoon in an underwater cave far after the fatigue zone. Uh, in the video below you can see how to get there. The cave has a ton of pebbles on its floor but the correct pebble is actually near the entrance, still on the fatigue zone. The cave entrance is located at 55 negative 10 on the Zandalar map after you leave the Voldoon area. But there is a fatigue rest zone, a fatigue reset zone. Do you want to do to Pebble 12 without help after getting to the area? <clears throat> Once you reach this spot, the fatigue will reset. Uh, on your way to the next coordinate, if you enter fatigue zone again, correct your path so that it goes away. On your way to the cave, the fatigue bar will appear again. Prepare swim speed potions. Now nah, we'll be fine. Be fine. Let my walk to bless you again. I think it might actually take me longer than ten minutes to get there. Actually, no. You know what? Yes. If you can, if if you're still got, if you still got it parked at DA, then yeah, that would be nice. Have it parked. Just gonna log on. Thank you. You're amazing, Shiva. Thank you so much. Blessed by the Sheebs. My wall looks also there, actually. <laughs> there you go. Burger with a side of Sheba. Oh dear. Hello. Thank you. I'm gonna leave so that I can quickly get on that timer. But much appreciated. Thank you so much. 
Fare thee well. Oh, ow. Phoenix, how am I? Um, yeah, look sore, but overall pretty good. How are you? Stonehide Brutus was so large, nameplate seen from sky. I recommend flying a bit lower. I'm good otherwise. Brilliant. My scouts report the blood thrones are gathering their forces. Like halfway I was flying into you not noticing I wasn't moving. Ah. See, when my when my mounts hit walls, they do that kind of sound. <laughs> like you know the like pet like mounts being hit by damage kind of sound? So when I hit ceilings and stuff, they um they make noises usually. But knowing my luck, this would be the one time they wouldn't. Was it like flight limit? Yeah, I don't tend to ever go up that high to fly just because I know I'm supposed to come back down again at some point anyway. Um, but, you know. Hey, my last ever assignment! Congrats, Kim! Well done! Well done. And Paladin just dismount and bubble EFA. Oh. I can dismount and slow fall too, like, not as fast obviously, but still a thing. I'm gonna straighten up and fly straight. Yep. <clears throat> okay, continue following the path. All right, so this is where, um, when I get there, Uh, my arrow just broke. There we go. Fatigue reset zone hit. Fantastic. So there's no fatigue out here. But the, <laughs> the waypoint's broken because I'm literally off the map. It was interesting that I was running along the water there. I don't know how comfortable I feel with this. Oh, I hit fatigue again. Okay, so I must be close to the fucking zone. Is the cave underwater? It has to be, right? So there's, this is where I'm not in fatigue. Straight down, all right. Ah, no. Where's the 
Phoenix Wright spot. If I take sweet spot, sweet spot must be inside the fucking uh, mountain, underwater mountain. Shit. Okay, good. <laughs> mm, did not like that. I'm assuming it's on this side. I do have a lot of mount. It's going faster if you dismount. Oh yeah, I do have the 20% thing in the jig, don't I? I do have... I'm sure I do. I've got plenty, surely. Is that the Vashir only one? Can only be used in Vashia. Yeah. I know there's a fatigue free area in the cave as well. I'm pretty sure. Is this the cave? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Alright, um... No. I'm sure it was one by one at the entrance. Yeah, correct pebbles actually near the entrance, still on the fatigue zone. Like it's none of these. Like none of these are the correct stone. I just have to actually find it. Um, the stones was the fun part of finding Baal. I mean, the stones is pretty much all of finding Baal, let's be honest. It's here somewhere. Something is carved into the stone. Heckler of the murkiest thugs, sheath your bat and remove the keg cork. What? That's an anagram. Uh. So. Considering we're going to Frostfire Ridge, I'm gonna garrison half. <laughs> I feel like that's the most appropriate one. They put so many pebbles in there, didn't put the real pebble among them. It's because the trolls. Like, you know, you do all this this work and all this programming, all this kind of shit. Gotta have a bit of fun with it. Thank you, Candy. Today's mount makeup is midnight. Hmm. 
sweet, sweet poetry. It's my favorite mount, there you go. Why can't I summon my Una? Yeah. Mm. Okay, this doesn't seem to be working. There we go. Ooh, I know what to do with guys like this. Eight stars, bad guy. Get him, friend. Use your pet battle attack. Shit, what's, what pet group have I got at the moment? Uh, that should be fine. A second. <clears throat> I can't catch, so I just have to kill, don't I? Baal's Dark Sign teaches you how to summon Baal. Uh, if it actually works. That whole area just seems kind of bugged. I'm gonna hop on out of here. And, uh, there we go. There we go. Look at that baby. Yay! One out of a bunch of secrets I hadn't done, done. Demon go- oh jeez, okay, yep. <laughs> Got another one to fucking level. Right, yes, of course. Souls feast on endless shrieking in darkness they writhe and scream you will join them together forevermore. That was the clue to the waste of time. The first clue. Now the belt. Do a poll for the next secret. You got lucid already? Yes. Yep. Many, many moons ago. What, like five years ago? Yep. Do a poll for the next secret. I thought everyone wanted me to continue on to the waste of time because it's like the next in the, like it's that there is the first clue to the next one. Um. <clears throat> really? Oh dear. Okay, so Zygon doesn't have a guide for this one, but uh, where, what's it called does? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. 
extra items you're required to obtain to complete the waste of time. Okay. Fuck him, Jesus. Uh... Ah, oh, you equipped them. Okay, gotcha. Right, so I'm gonna do some shopping. Step closer and don't have mumble. anything ancient to trade. We will be at good. Least two centuries old. Hundred gold's pretty good. Uh, death silk. Shoulders. 250 is not bad. Frost woven leggings. 180 is not bad. Nether weave tunic. 50. Not bad at all. Uh, okay. There's this other stuff you get from like grey items from places. I wonder if people buy them and put them on the auction house because lazy people like me can buy them. No. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Okay. 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 We are going to Shatrath. We're going to go to Nagrand. Let's have a note. It's Rudius. Proximo's Rudius. Not a typo. Greetings, bearer of bubble tea. There's no pearls around here. Why? Because the pot's filled with it again. <laughs> That's okay. So I couldn't get it clean. It'll still be delicious and tasty. My hand was not clean. It was. I can see that. That's okay. Um, so the pot's really dirty. Is it cleanable? Yes. Okay. It just needs really hot water and... You know we have, um, uh, what's it called? We've got, um, dish water, dish gloves. To protect your hands from super hot. It's basically just, um, just to start colouring I looked at it and I went... You know what we need to do? Yes. Water in it. Did you wash this? I'm just, maybe I'm seeing things. That's alright. It was a little bit foggy because I instantly put the ice in after it. Yeah, but it's not foggy. It's, yeah. No, it's okay. It's fine. Thank you! Many appreciates. Is grape. Bubble tea. That is delicious. What parts do you need? Um, there's grey items that I need to buy from mum, from some vendors, and um, one of them, uh, formula, enchant ring striking, a defunct enchanting formula. This item can be brought from Yithya. This NPC is located inside Karazan, just before the chess event. We were talking about before, which is why I was like, ah, it was just, it was quite funny. I mean, if I'm in there and I'm that far through fucking Kara, I might as well go the rest of the way, right? For transmog. Like... have auto sell on. I 
think so, but I've just turned Zygor off because it doesn't have a guide for waste of time, so I think it should be okay. And even if it does auto-sell, I can always buy it back. Yeah, the Wilhelm screams. Yeah. Got this. What do you think, guys? Your gold is welcome here. Alrighty, congratulations to Deathlock, Voodoo, Garden, Koala, Dunno, Draz, Durin, Ide, and Max on your bonus shit. It is the loyalty super boss chest with love.exe. Oh my god, I'm super glad you made it this far. Let me show you my love.exe. Don't you dare dodge my bombs. I mean love, okay? Ugh. Okay. If you want a fuckload of scrolls, now is the time to place your units. This is the one that will drop a ton of scrolls. And make sure you're in chat. Because that, that chest at the end will drop so much shit, like it's worth it, trust me. Excuse me. Earn 50 more event tokens, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and I've got my daily drop too. Place of flag bearer. So that's nice. Right, so as I was saying, Proximo's Rudius. Unfortunately, not a typo. Uh, that's the one. So we're gonna grab that. If Fair I do well. this, it auto sold. Why is Zygor still auto selling, even though it's turned Time off? Is of the essence. Let me. Not automatically sell grey items. Choose wisely. There we go. Stay the course. It still did it. Fucking why? Salama, why did it? An LVI option. True. Maybe LVI was the one who did it the second time. Because the first time it actually printed in chat, Zygor Guides viewer sold. So you're right, maybe it's. Disable. I have one of a kind items. Hold your head Brilliant. high. Awesome source. Okay. Um, I'm going to grace. Thank you, Jack. Much appreciate. Uh, plenty of rare scrolls. If you've done 50 runs with fear, you get almost 90 scrolls. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Okay, holy shit. Where, um, would you mind if you know where people can check that? Because I've got no fucking idea. Um, hmm. Rough wooden staff. Stop it for, for inscription vendors in any major city. And the next one is in Grizzly Hills. So I'm going to go to Northrend. Dow and find the inscription vendor there. I really hope there's actually transmog for me to get in Kara. Because 
This is gonna feel like shit otherwise. Hockey day. Looking for a rough wooden staff. I buy and trade. This one. Safe um, trade. and then Grizzly Hills. Aspen Grove Trader. Tom Tom command. And off we go. Uh, this one is, um, hostile to alliance players that have completed the quest Escape from Silverbrook. So if you've done that, you'll either need to buy the item from the auction house or swap to a character that has not done that quest line. But I'm Horde, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> and then... Good. Oh no, wait. Fuck. For the Alliance! Fifty-eight out of seventy-two. Oh, and the zone drop. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fine. I had that on. Um, I had it on account mode because there's a thing that comes under secrets, which is the uh, tiny set of war glaives for Pepe. Which is counted under secrets, um, but isn't that a isn't that a toy? Yeah, a tiny set of war glaives. Yeah, so I'll yeah, that's fine. I can hunt that down <laughs> when I'm doing toys, so it's not too important. Which secret are we doing? Waste of time. Just collecting my ingredients beforehand. Uh, I've done, I did uh, Una's scenario, I already had Una, but I hadn't done her scenario. So I did her scenario, I did her world tour, and then I've done Baal. Uh, and I've just finished Baal, so we're, we're going around and getting the bits and pieces I need for the waste of time. Because it's the continuation, so it makes sense, right? <clears throat> hey there. Uh, can I have a punctured pelt, please? Brilliant. Cool. And now we're going to fucking Kara. Now the journey for ways to be fun, see all sorts of shit that you wouldn't normally. That's one of the things I really love about like secrets in general is that it gets you to go. Piss off. Is that it gets you to go like all over the shop. It's uh yeah, there's there's a like this game is fucking enormous. Fucking enormous. And we see on a regular basis, maybe five or seven percent of it, uh the places that we frequent in our day-to-day -day stuff. Um so it is it is really nice to really make use of my teleport spells and uh, go all over the place to places that aren't dungeons as well. Because, I mean, like, I do a lot of transmog hunting in dungeons and raids and stuff like that, but, um, this is different. You know, this is, um, this is exploring the outside world for the most part, which is, which is quite different. So, yeah, I am quite enjoying myself. I was very unhappy about the Kara Cat secret ending. I feel like the devs changed it because they made it too hard to start off with. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Um, I, I don't know if I've done it yet. I'm guessing you might be talking about Jennifer. Um, so I haven't, t I haven't even started that yet. Uh, <laughs> I know it exists, but that's the extent. I don't know anything about it at all. Uh, but I will get there eventually. I will absolutely get there eventually. Um, I might actually, once we've done, if we get the waste of time done, uh, now, 
I might, um, I might put up a poll for the next lot. Good day to you. <clears throat> See you around. Might as well. Last up was Diabolical. She's really fast. I have no idea what that has respect to, but hello, Pers. Welcome back. It's one of the reasons I love the secrets. We change leveling up means we can spend time in the places of the world we don't spend time in. Exactly. Absolutely. I agree. That's what I thought you were going to do. Is you're going to car it? No, waste of time. Uh, I'm buying the defunct uh, enchanting formula from Yithya right before chess room, chess event. But while I'm here, I might as well get transmog. And I don't actually remember the fastest way to get through Kara, so I might pull up the guide. Just cause, um, well. I'm really glad that that didn't drop the uh, mount because I have a feeling a lot of people have been really fucking pissed. <laughs> um, I have the mount, to be clear. That's why people would be pissed <laughs> if they're watching me get it a second time. Alright, so now we head up to Morose. Um, enjoy your lurk, Garden Goth. Welcome to chat. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Started in Kata, so missed the earlier leveling for expansions. For that, now I can go back and complete a whole expansion with the quest versus two or three of them. Yeah, for sure. If you, if you hug Una, she hugs you back. I saw. It's very, very cute. Absolutely delightful. I really loved Una's whole thing. Like, oh, just really, really nice. This is why I hate zone drops. This is why I hate zone drops. Especially when they're bop. Like, I can't even just go and be lazy and buy them from the AH. <laughs> Ugh. Accidentally oh. bought us. Operations must be made. Okay, so we've killed Morris. Where does it want us to go? Maiden. <clears throat> Here. Here. Oh. 
Or I missed one. Do they leash in here? For fuck's sake. Or is there just not as many as I thought there were? Oh no, they're stopping to goblin dragon gun. Noobs. Such noobs. Okay. I really wish I could mount in here. Just ride a horse through a fucking mansion, you know? Like, come on. As if they didn't do that. As if they didn't do that. It takes me through to the servants' quarters as well. It should, like you get loot from them. You home done. Yuri, you're so close. I'm so proud of you. You've like, look at what you've accomplished. That is awesome. Five million nether weave cloth get. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. Uh, I've also got a ton of it. Like, look at that. Alexia, my, my tailor, has 10,886 of it. At, one, at some point, I'm going to have to sit the fuck down and go through her banks. Go through her bank and just craft. Because I keep sending stuff to her because I can craft transmog that I need with it. But now her reagent bank is 100% full. As is half of her bank bank, which has decently sized, like, hexway bags attached to it. So I'm like, shit. Uh, <laughs> I need to do something with that. Um, but it's just... Oh my god, it's so much... Like, I've got so much crafting material. But then I also don't have any of the bits that it needs to go with. For example, the cloth. Like, it has other reagents that are needed. So it's like... Fuck, you know. Karazan music is amazing. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Alright, so we are doing opera. Has all the trash stuff, none of the rare drops. Oh, hang on, no, I'll go this way, don't I? Read somewhere that they made it so you couldn't get into the underground crypt outside of Kara anymore. That true? Uh, I have no idea. I've not tried. Right, okay, so there's what I need a positive review, which is in here, so I need to kill these guys anyway. Okay, good. Um. Is it like just a massive chance to drop or something? Or is I supposed to kill it after the opera event?
The new plays in the Opera House have been well received by everyone except cast members of the older shows. Egos are bruised. And so is this Return to Kara? It is. Okay, that's a quest for Return to Kara. I don't care. Alright, cool, we're done. <clears throat> Pretty sure it's accessible because if you can't, you can't do this. It's a nightmare anymore, I think. The other thing is that maybe you can get into it, but only if you're on a certain quest chain kind of thing. That is something that is a thing. Uh, Bugway still works, as far as I know. Desk in the wall. The crypt has been inaccessible for eons. Lucid is a special event that lets you go in there for a specific part. Yeah, that's like, there are plenty of places in WoW that are completely inaccessible, except for when you're on this one specific quest chain type of deal. So that makes perfect sense. Uh, what secret are we doing? I'm doing Waste of Time, currently. Um, I'm trying to get, there's a, uh, uh, trying. I'm heading towards the vendor that sells the defunct formula, the enchant formula. I feel your annoyance is insane. Boat, want to craft stuff, don't have all the mats, so I decided to make the amount of guild banks I did dedicated to each type of mat. Fill them up and just go and do a day of crafting stuff when I've got all the mats needed. Yeah, like, there's, there's some of it, though, um, like... You know, I've got everything I need except for this one specific type of gemstone that I'm never going to get unless I go specifically hunt it down. So yeah, it's um it's a matter of just actually figuring out what exactly I need need. Um, also like things like dyes that I have to purchase and stuff. I did do a little bit of that. I did a, a bunch of crafting. Um, but I think I need to do some I need to go through and do a shitload of BC crafting. Cause I've got, as I said, nearly eleven thousand pieces of nether weave cloth. Uh, in fact, across all my tunes, I have nearly 12,000 netherweave cloth. <laughs> um, I locked it in classic, I know that, shows how long ago I've played. Ah, uh, that's cute. Good evening, silly to me because I've done the secret, maybe. Welcome how far are you into? Uh, very beginning, little. Very beginning of it. So I've done ball. I've just finished ball. Um, and you need... There's four pieces of armor and then four grey items that you need throughout the thing. So, and I've got my armor, and I've got three out of the four grey items. I'm just going to purchase the last one. It's from a vendor right before the chess event. So I have to get to the chess event. <sighs> okay, so this is... This is, um, Little Red, which I don't need any drops from. So I can minimize these two and close off Aqua Hall. Because I'm not going to need anything from these guys. And now, on with the show! Which is annoying, but understandable. to own you with. Oh. 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 Okay, this is gonna be a... Picnic basket smell. Oh my god. There we go. I didn't want to kill him as soon as he became interactable. I didn't want to kill him as soon as he became interactable because I thought maybe it'd bug it out because so many other ones do that, but then obviously waiting made it annoying. So there's that. I enjoyed the chain for Lucid more than the waste, but they're both fun secrets. Yeah, I I mean, obviously I'm still on, I'm, I haven't even started technically the chain for the waste, but um, all the secrets I've done so far have been great fun and I've enjoyed them. So fingers crossed. Excuse me, get angry. There we go. Oh, that's everything from this layer. Ah! Fucking... Neither of them were transmog. Two fucking zone drops, neither transmog. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. <sighs> Everything's fine. Everything is awesome! And the clues in the name.
You were not invited. Don't care, crashing. Hello. <laughs> kind of felt like Jaffs there. It's, uh, you know, he's, hello. He's calling Frank Walker because of that ad. Okay, so we did... We did opera. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, and then we gotta go out this way, okay. I'm good, I'm good, and we're doing Nightbane now. Looks of it. Hey, I'm married, how you going? She to da 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 I would always forget to check that shit. I had to like set myself alarms once like a week or whatever it happened to be for the particular thing just to like check it. Ugh. I'm I'm bad. Oh, excuse me. We just acknowledge that the um the path thing for this this ant trail is trash. Cool, thanks. There's the urn. And I do need the night staff of the ever living uh from Nightbane. So think everyone cross your fingers for me. Oh, just finished work a little bit ago. Beef korma with naan bread, glass of shiraz with it. Entering the rain at the moment. Nice change apart from the humidity. Agreed. Agreed. See, in Brisbane, it's always fucking humid. So when it rains, we lose the humidity for a bit, which is really nice. Uh, literally only thought of it because you're doing secrets. So thanks. You're very welcome, little guys. Look, look, I did another influence. We have a joke here that I'm an influencer. You know, like the lowercase, uppercase kind of typing. Yep. An influencer. So whenever I influence someone, we make sure to like acknowledge that I have done the thing. I've done my job. I have influenced. <laughs> yes. I'm not bonkers. I'm just probably so tired I'm delirious. Also in a lot of pain. I exercised. It was a mistake. Uh, the, the exercise itself was not a mistake. Um, I just, my body is regretting it. Yes, you survive. Come on, Nightbane. Come on down here, let me smack you. Is it a bit influenced? <laughs> I love it. Good. I'm so pleased. <laughs> Wonderful news. <clears throat> Get your ass back here! Fire a dragon person. Let's go. Give me your night staff of the ever living. Yes! Yes! Let's go anyway. Also in pain, mouth still hurt a fuckload. I think I'm gonna go back to the dentist tomorrow. Good plan. That is a really good plan. And I'm proud of you for like making the decision that you need to go and then like taking steps towards going. That's that's a really big deal. So well done. Good on you. Phobias suck. Think I'm meant to be going outside here? Yeah, it looks like it, because the next point of connection is up there. God, I would love to just add a couple more waypoints to these lines, just to make them a little more obvious where you're meant to be going. Hey, monkey, how you doing? Oh, 
Welcome back. curator we haven't gone and done hyacus i have to go back at the end and just look at dang ads hang on ah oh, yeah ad manager just triggered What do you mean? It's like super obvious you have to run around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Uh, it's um, like, I get that all of this is done by humans. You don't get paid for it and stuff for the most part. I mean, these days, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that those guides were made a long ass Imagine time ago. It just... Is no longer yeah, I don't know. I, I'd, Personally, I'd like to tidy it up a little bit, especially considering there are so many people who never did Kara because they started playing in Mop or Kata or Legion, you know? So it's kind of... Yeah. But that's okay. Like, I get it. Yeah, I think once we clear this, I might just port out, port, and then run back in and just go do... You just go check if Hyacus is even up. In bed, no worries, Midi. Rest well. I hope the pain is is uh, like low enough where you can take some painkillers so that you can get some good sleep. You doing a mob run? No, I'm doing secrets. There's a vendor right before chess who sells a grey item that I need for the waste of time, which is really funny. Ah, oh, shit. These are the ones that don't take magic damage, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So the rough time walking is gone. Ah, it'll be back. It'll be back. Super loyalty boss chest open. Congratulations to Z, Voodoo, Neke, Garden, Tree, Dunno, Zam, and Koala on your fuckloads of scrolls. Personally, I got 50 monks. 50 monk scrolls. That is so many. Goodness gracious me. Can I upgrade my monk? No, because my monk is like 30. Damn it! Oh, that would have been nice to get one that I actually like was trying to level. But that's okay. Let's see, why does it say two? There's one that it wants me to, but where's the other? Info, 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 info. None of them. I'm, what? Ah, oh, maybe spells. Yeah. No, it still says two. What? None of the others can be upgraded though. None of these are enough to unlock a new one. I don't understand why. Why does it say two? 90 monk doors, holy shit, well done. Well done, all right. Um, right, we're gonna head down to the bottom. Na 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 Basic battle! And I'm gonna level up my chair, flag bearer. Look, guys! Look, 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 it's chair. On the flag. It's like for pony, except for chair. Good, alright. Oh, I really don't want to have to fucking melee all these little bitches to death, but I know that if I don't, one of them will have the goddamn, like, zone drops on their loot table. Um... 
Exactly, it's chair. Italy, hello Brian! Welcome on in. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Or, wait, actually I have no idea what time it is for you. Wonderful time! How's that? Ah, oh, dearie me. This one, I think I've only got one more pack to go. Chaotic sentience. I mean, is that literally not chat? Oh, about 11.30 for Italy because it's 10.30 in the UK. Ah, is that 11.30 in the morning? Like AM. Coas! Yep, yeah, correct. Exactly. <laughs> All the panic. Morning, perfect. Oh, oh, wait, Mana Warp. I think that's different. Yeah, they are. They're little babies. And the magical slasher. Uh. Wait, so you can't AoE those ones? Is that what I'm getting from this? Must have just been caught on the bench or something. And then we go up. Let me thrash my massive storm at the moment. Ooh. Be safe. Be safe. I'm happy you're getting really close to being 100k from uh, one mil gaming. Ah, well done, Nutty. Well done. That's a hell of a milestone. Good job. Excuse me. I feel like there's another section, like another bunch of them that are going to phase in because I killed those ones. But I don't know. You know how in the other room they'd like fade in and out? I'm just, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Disconcerting bookshelf. Disconcerting. Follow the path down to be terrestrian? Terrestrian Ilhof? Uh, is that LVY or Bartender? Uh, LVY. I don't use Bartender. I'm not sure exactly which part of the screen you're talking about, but um, I don't use Bartender, so I'm assuming what you're looking at is LVY. My life you're is just yours. in time. Oh, great. The ritual are about. I got one! Which is apparently a shared appearance with the, um, with the zone drop. Because it just ticked that one off too. Fantastic. <laughs> Malefic girdle done. Did that. Uh, yep. Yeah. Head 
up to Shade of Aran. Three things I need from Iran. I'll let me torture it again. Nightmare is over. And I got one of them. Not a bad feeling. Good news is I don't actually think I have to do chess or beyond because I don't need anything from them. I need nether spite, but that's it. Anyway, it confused me so much. I was better go there. Might be better now. It looks nice too. Uh, it's big. It customizes literally everything. Um, so you need to spend some time going through and just kind of playing around with it and figuring out what you want where. And then every, like I, it took me a good a good number of hours to set it up the first time. Uh, and then for months and months after that, every time something would pop up and I'd be like, wait, what is that doing there? I don't like that there. I'd pull LVY up and I'd move that one thing and just kind of tweak it. Uh, and now, now I haven't moved anything for a couple years because I just, I like where everything sits. So yeah, it's, um, it takes a long ass time to get right because it, but it's because it like, it customizes literally everything in the entire game. Like everything is customizable. So yeah, it, it takes a bit to do. profiles you can look at on Google that will help you as well like my UI at the moment maybe I'll switch at some point yeah if you like where you like if you like your UI at the moment then there's no need to switch like that's kind of you know if it ain't broke don't fix it kind of thing but yeah you can download LVY profiles as well to like preset to something but um and then kind of tweak it from there but it really just depends on what you're looking for honestly Okay, nothing that I needed. Uh, I was just curious, of course, of course. Uh, all right, so Nether Spite's done. Uh, I do need to go, now we need to find the person. Find the vendor. But then after that, I should be able to just go back and, oh no, even, um, Hyacus has been crossed off the list as well. It must have been another shared appearance. Cool. Convenient. Do you have a Chan's robes yet? I don't know what that is. What are you talking about, Grim? What's the add-on you have there the online that tells you where to go? That's Zygor. As I go, hello, Bluebird, how are you going? Thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're having a wonderful time. Am I in? Yes, I am. Ta-da, yip ya! Oh. There we go. Got. Okay, now we can start the track for the race of time. <laughs> Excuse me, alrighty. 
After taming the battle pet Baal, he will say the following sentence every time you summon him. Baal says, souls feast on endless shrieking, in darkness they writhe and scream. You will join them together forevermore. The capital letters from the sentence are Siddiq Noligi, uh, which can be formed into seek knowledge. Uh, this was the first clue that there was more than the Baal secret. This is also our first clue to the book Warcraft Chronicle Volume 2 being used as a base for each clue of this puzzle. First picture you see in Chronicle Volume 2 is of an Arakoa city, possibly Skyreach, and the Arakoa race is known for constantly seeking knowledge. Baal stops saying this sentence once you unlocked the first clue towards the waste of time. Clue 1, Lit Orb. The puzzle that leads to the waste of time will now involve lots of anagrams that can be directly connected to Chronicle Volume 2. Following the hints from the Baal anagram, the Lit Orb can be located near the entrance to the Skyreach dungeon at 3532 in Spires of Iraq. I know where that is because I've just done 50 fucking tunes leveled through it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> vanilla blue that is only obtainable by obtain opening emerald bound boxes from Blast Lens Rare Drops. Uh, no idea, probably not then. Uh, what is the best heal for PVE and PVP now? No idea. Depends on the type of content, I would imagine. Like, not just PvE or PvP, but like raids or, or um, like, yeah, you know. Uh, you also don't need to ask twice. Like, I will get there eventually. It was only like a minute apart. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, uh, it will depend on like what kind of PvE or what kind of PvP you're doing. Um, but I, even then, I, I still don't know, um, because I don't really, I don't ever heal. Uh, okay, so Skyreach. So we're going to the Apexus Excavation. Yeah. Let's go. Ah, uh, it was unobtainable for a while. All of them, there you go. Jack is a really good healer, and Jack says all of them is the best heal for PvE and PvP. Uh, so do White Rose with Golden Spider on them. Cool. Uh, depends on the form of PvP and PvE. Yeah, exactly. Pally is top tier for most content. Best heals are Arsham, Resto Druid, Holy Paladin, Holy Priest, Disc Priest, and Mr. Walker Monk. Uh, Miss Weaver Monk, sorry. And Blood DK. No, Jas. Bad, Jas. Blood can't heal others. Correct. Healers heal other people. Blood can't heal others. Uh, element of preference. Oh, absolutely. If you don't enjoy playing something, you will play it worse than something that you do enjoy playing. Like, that's kind of been the rule for forever. I can talent into healing other people. Uh, Pally is competitive, but it's not number one in any area, really. Uh, Jas, you're gonna be playing some new Pokemans Friday. No, he's not, because I will be, and we have one Switch. <laughs> Just don't because fuck everyone else in particular. DKs can heal others if you count murdering them and turning into undead zombies healing. I do not, Shiba. I do not. Oh fuck, that's hilarious. Dum, dum, da, dum. Oh, I am, I am intimately familiar with this small area where the lit orb can be found. Good lord. I just saw the screenshot. Fuck me. Uh, hey, I can heal zombies. Do you mind if I link the way I had for the robes? You will not be able to. We have link protection enabled. Uh, with the Pokemans, yes. Uh, like I said, preference, I am and will admit a Pally swear by it. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you're a Pally main and you enjoy playing Pallies, then absolutely you are going to be best on a Paladin. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, there is no, like, hard and fast rule for, it, it would heavily depend, I imagine, on not even, like, if you're talking Mythic Plus, different dungeons will have different healers that are best, and different tanks will have different healers that are best at healing them, and do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it is that tight between them all. It's ridiculous. All uh, right, Lit Orb. Something is written here. Passive Ice Veins. Um... <laughs> it's really funny. On Wowhead, it says this anagram reads passive icy veins. And then it goes on to say passive icy veins is an anagram of invasive species. And I'm like, no, it's not. Passive ice veins is? 
but passive icy veins is not. There is no Y in invasive species. Um, but that's okay. The most prominent example of an invasive species happens at the end of the Everbloom, where the plant species from Gorgon manage to get close to invading Stormwind. Uh, the second picture of Chronicle 2 is of a Genosaur, the species of the last boss in Everbloom, Yalnu. The strange seed can be located close to the Everbloom portal above Stormwind City, at 4275 on the Eastern Kingdom's map. Good. How the fuck do I get there? <laughs> I think I think Stone Stone Art is or like Swamp of Sorrows is gonna be uh, my best bet. Forty-two seventy-five. Wait, for, uh, forty-two seventy-five on the Eastern Kingdoms map. So forty-two. Usually Zygor lets me set like a custom waypoint, but it's not doing it. That's okay. Oh, I feel lost without a Zygor. I mean, in terms of how to get places. Yeah, look, maybe. Oh, Trojan Lincoln's asterisks, yeah. Ah, uh, Jackie Free tomorrow. Paladins do, yeah, guilds on hate is still 9 brilliant. Healing, don't take a miss with a monk. Sweet, need healer for keys. Invasive -y species, correct, purse, it's exactly it. <laughs> I love that your brain goes where my brain goes. It just, like, I feel like, I feel like if we ever got the chance to meet, the world would implode similar to dividing by zero. Like, I just, I feel like we'd get along just so well. You know, you know, it'd be great. Well, you what, mate? That doesn't make sense. How can it be that? Oh man, best case species invading someplace else is Ogrimmar secret finders. Ah, uh, left side somewhere in the mountains. Go to Eastern Kingdom map. I can show you where that's. At. I know where it's at, Grim. I'm, I can follow like waypoints. Like I know how to follow a coordinate. <laughs> I'm not a dipshit. Like I, I know what I'm doing. Uh, it was more like, what's the fastest way going to be there to get? Be going to be for me to get there? Because uh, Zygo has a really handy little thing where if you pick somewhere to go, it's like, use all these toys and tricks and hearths and different things to get there super quick. Um, so, yeah, I just, I was hoping to get that to happen, but it didn't, that's all. But yeah, I, I know how to use a waypoint. I'm all good. Um, Uh, so the waste of time sends you all over the map. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Uh, and this is clue two out of like a lot. I'm maybe like 10% scrolled down the page. Yeah, this is going to be a long one. Hopefully I'll get it finished today, but we'll see. I think the longest part was clearing fucking Kara to get the goddamn uh, defunct enchant. I've seen it on ATT before, but never looked into it. Yeah. Excuse me. But yeah, um, that's the idea of the stream. I wanted to see if I could cross off, like get rid of the secrets category in total. Um, but I don't think that I'm going to have enough time to do that. But that's okay. Um, after this one, I've only got, I've got a toy, two pets, and a mount. Uh, and we do streams for all three of those occasionally. Uh, so I think we should be okay. Like, I can get the pets during a pet stream, and I can get the mount during a mount hunt stream, and I can get the toy during a toy hunting stream, so, like, you know what I mean? It should be okay. Cool, and then it's... There. Strange Seed. Something is written here. Sadness keynoted. Sadness Keynoted is an anagram of sky, stone, and seed. 
This is a more loose interpretation of the Arakoa. The avian race represents the sky. The Batani from the past, anagram refer, uh, refers to seeds. And the ogres, prominent in the area near where the tiny frog is, are referred on the first chapter. Are referred on the first chapter of Chronicles to referred to in the first chapter of Chronicles two as the children of stone. It's the tiny frog can be located at 5310 in Spies of Iraq. My garrison Hearthstone still has 11 minutes worth of cooldown on it. So, <laughs> where the fuck is Warspear? There's Warspear. <laughs> is what I think about this. Uh. Hello, Extreme. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. This fear have time. I will soon have a waste of time. <laughs> Just use your compass, obviously. Uh, I don't think I have that on me, actually. I'm pretty- it should be in my bank. It should be in my bank, but that's okay. Um, I can- I can also just fly from here. In fact, it's probably equidistant, given that I'm Horde. Uh, so... What's the closest gonna be? Might actually be Terraka Refuge. I'm lazy, so we're gonna jump on a flat path. Don't be shy. Oh, actually, that's a lot higher up than I thought it was. That's fine. We'll still go there. You'll be careful, man. So this is clue three: tiny frog. Out of clue twenty. Clue 20 leads us to a person thing, which leads to a whole series of chatty chatty and then more clues and shit. Yeah, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be a, a one. <laughs> Maybe a time. But hey, look, absolute worst case, we've crossed Bal off and we'll cross off the waste of time. It's pretty good. I fear using flat paths. I know. Lazy as fuck. Work smart, not hard. Yeah, how to waste someone's time. Go back and forth. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm we getting pelted by Massive Storm right now. Yeah, Yori was saying before. Hope you guys stay safe. Puppers have an outdoor undercover area that's basically close to a veranda. It's perfect for dogs. I had to let them in, so we're getting hit with rain. Oof. Took too long of a break earlier. Not gonna reach my goals tonight. Aw, I'm sorry to hear that, Purse. That's never a fun feeling. That's okay, you've got tomorrow. You know, just, we'll just adjust and move forward. Get there eventually. What were your goals tonight? What you working on? be ready for tomorrow <laughs> oh I look I feel ya I feel ya hey um question when are you next streaming because I keep going on to your channel and I keep like just missing you or like yeah maybe if I actually ask you the question I won't fuck up next time tomorrow okay brilliant I think you should be live until after I get out of bed. I think you usually are. It's just the problem is I go, oh shit, person streaming today at like 11.30 my time and your schedule says you finish at 10.30 my time. So I'm like, every fucking time. I need to set myself a goddamn alarm, I swear to God. 
Are you taking a long break? I just one thought for both of COVID things. Just got out of whack. Yep. Hard to get back in the swing of things. Oh, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. For me, um, I I will never get back into the swing of it if I like try to line things up. In the end, what I end up having to do is just be like, okay, whatever the fuck happens, I'm just gonna start doing shit on this day. And I do it, even if it's a total mess, it still gets done and then I kind of get back into the swing of it by doing it. It just, oh, it's a nightmare otherwise. An absolute nightmare otherwise. Okay, tiny frog, tiny frog, where are you? Tiny frog, you're underground. Underground, underwater. There's the tiny frog. Hello, tiny frog. Excuse me. Something is written here. Dog wig moss? Uh, dog wig moss is an anagram of Gog's wisdom. Gog, referred to in Chronicle 2 on the Gorian Empire chapter, was one of the first ogres to be taught arcane magic by the Arakoa and used this power to kill Gron, whom were, fe whom were feared. Mm, the grammar in this is just all over the place. Who were feared by the ogres up to that point. Gog became the Gron Slayer thanks to this. Ogrela is a faction composed of Ogre Magi that uses the power of the Apexus Crystals located in Blades Edge Mountains to transcend the brutish nature of the Ogres and become enlightened. The Brittle Bone can be found near the Ogrela encampment at 3358 in Blades Edge Mountains. Ah, uh, when I break my patterns, I just feel like I become fully unhinged. Yeah, me too. Me too. You're a nice super bad on Flayamara. Don't! God damn! Good lord. You were like fucking. You got struck by an international global fucking pandemic. Like that's your fault. Good lord. <laughs> Good lord. All the organizing and shit. Hey, you free on this date? Yeah, cool. Let's make it that date. All the organizing. <sighs> Come on now. It's not like it took us a goddamn committee to find, like, no, don't be silly. Don't be silly. Um, I would have, I would have rescheduled for next month, except fucked up February. Um, I am hesitant. I don't want to book for March until I find out when my surgery is. Um, but I do think that um, alongside, like, Chef Squad was a fantastic game to play, but it definitely suits a shorter stream. I think that Mario Party is the same. I don't think we're gonna be like, I don't think I'm gonna personally be able to squeeze a six hour stream out of it. So I think it might be a good one to slot in after like that first few days of recovery after surgery number two. Um, that's what I'm kind of thinking. But to do that, I need to know when that is. Um, so I will be in contact with you both uh, once I've had my next appointment with my surgeon to sort of figure that shit out. And cause also, it might, Mario Party might just be more funny if I'm high on painkillers. <laughs> Whereas, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that could just add to the entertainment value. Running all my tunes through all the way up to Yo, so I can do all the kills on stream tomorrow. Gonna be two tunes short. Oh, that's okay. Two tunes short, I think, is fine. And you could always start with those two tunes first, purse. Just, you know, while people like filter in, like while while people finish up whatever they're doing and then come to stream so that by the time all your regulars are there, you've done those first two tunes and then you can like bam, 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 rapid fire the rest of them off. I think it could like, I think it could actually work really, really well for you. I will be silly. Chef squad. What surgery? Uh, my second surgery for my jaw, uh, my tooth. I had a, a tooth that was um, uh, like five-ish failed root canals. Uh, and so there wasn't enough natural tooth left for them to do another root canal. Um, so they, but they also like the, the tooth had broken down, like broken off to the point that the, the top of the tooth was like below the, the, the gum line. So they couldn't do it in a chair. Um, so I went in for surgery number one and they pulled out the, what was left of that tooth and did a bone graft. So I had like fake bone, uh, in my jaw and all stitched up with stitches in my mouth. Do not recommend getting stitches in your mouth. It is the weirdest feeling. And it's even worse once they start dissolving. It's just fucking nasty. Um, but that's okay. It happened and my jaw, like, well, the, the gum, my gum is healing beautifully. Like, it's amazing. There's just this, like, tiny little seam of a split along the gap between my teeth. It's so weird to see. 
Um, but yeah, so that was that was number one. So I need to go and see my surgeon uh, in February to make sure that the um, bone graft is taken, that my that my bone has like latched onto it and grown around it, and that it's really strong and solid, um, so that I can get my next surgery, which is putting an implant in. Uh, they're going to drill into the new bone that has grown and stick a hunk of titanium in there uh, and stitch it back up again and let it heal again. Uh, but they have to make sure that my jaw is like healed enough to be able to hold on to the, the implant. Um, so that's what I got to go and get a, a CT scan and then take that CT scan into the surgeon. And then if he's happy to go ahead, uh, then I'll book my actual surgery date. Um, but I, yeah, so at this point, I don't know when the surgery date is going to be. So I don't want to start planning things and then have to go back to people and go, Soz, having surgery when I know it's coming up. I'm expecting it's probably going to be sometime in March. But if he's booked out, it could be in April or even in May. Like, I just I just don't know. Uh, so we'll have to sort of, yeah, I just I need to find that out so that I can start planning my fucking life. <laughs> uh, congratulations to Voodoo, Arrested, Zem, Deathlock and Little on all your bonus shits. Well done. Well done. But yeah, like it's no, it's not, um, it's not major surgery, but it is still surgery. Um, like m the last one, all the stuff was like, yeah, the stitches will start dissolving within seven days and, um, you know, you can start doing this, that, and the other within seven to 14 days and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I'll, I'll bounce back. But no, I could do those things within seven days, but I shouldn't. <laughs> like I couldn't. It was really fucking, it was, um, it took two full weeks before I started feeling like I could get through each day. And it took a full month before I felt like I could actually do what I needed to do, like get shit done. Good morning, Axiom. Thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. It is so generous of you. Uh, but yeah, so I'm expecting, like now that I know what it was like to heal through surgery one, I know surgery two is gonna be at least similar so I can plan a little bit better this time around and not commit to things that I can't really do. Um, yes. Do a 30 turn game goes for like three hours. Yeah, exactly. He was finally getting vampire fang implants. Oh my god. Uh, if I had the money. Good lord. Uh, I want to get to Captain Booty faster though. Fair. Fair. Oh, no, sounds terrible. Look, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. Um, but look, it's. I, I've. It's okay. Like, it's. it needs to be done. And I am. Like, I'm going to be so much healthier for it and stuff as well. So. Like, overall, it's a good thing. It's just getting there is a little bit rough. Okay. Oh, um... Hold up. This is a really awkward... Oh, okay, so... I see. Alright, I see it, I see it. I was trying to line up the screenshot that I've got to see where it was. Found it. Brittle bone. Something is written here. Rage shank sever. Rage Shank Sever is an anagram of Karash's revenge. Pride Lord Karash, oh, mentioned in the Talon King Terok chapter in Chronicle 2, was a Saberon slain by Terok. After this feat, Terok was revered like a living legend, some Arakoa even declaring he is the reincarnation of Rukmar himself. The Anari priests were the only entities that were allowed to speak in Rukmar's name up to that point. Fearing that they would lose power, the Anari priests kidnapped Terok and his daughter, Lithic, throwing them into Sethic Hollow at the spires of Iraq and condemning them to the curse of Seth. Excuse me, turning both into Arakoan outcasts. Sethic Hollow is where the misplaced candle is located. The misplaced candle can be located near a Seth statue at 6841 in... Spies of Iraq. Good. <clears throat> uh, 
went to sleep just as you went live. I was lurking during the stream. Thank you, Axum. I appreciate that. Uh, for clarification, I made my first school tearing today that I named Captain Booty. I love that. That's fantastic, Purse. Ever been there before? No. Absolutely not. This is a new experience for everybody. We've never been to Spires. Ever, ever. Fuck, man. Okay, so we're going... <laughs> Talon watch. Greetings. Goodbye. <laughs> Clue five out of twenty. If I have to keep bouncing back and forth, I'm gonna fucking throw something. <clears throat> oh. oh, I really want to get this one, at least this one, done today. Like, fuck, man. Look, <sighs> I just got comfy, Sam. Give me a second. <laughs> My legs hurt so much, and having them curled up like this makes them not hurt as much. Well, at least this one. The other one's still down straight, and that one still hurts. Let's just let me give it a break for just a minute, and then I'll put it down, I promise. At least all this flying is letting you keep up with chat. Look, I'm not doing too badly. I was about, I was behind for a little bit, but I'm, uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <sighs> ah yes, another one of those nights where holy fuck it's 3am. Ah, it's not that late, Shiba. It's fine. It's fine. I'm kidding, of course. If you need to skedaddle, I understand. so productive tonight that time just vanished oh my god i know the i know the feeling it's like when i'm doing work shit and like i'm getting it done and i'm getting it done and i'm getting it done and then my alarm goes off and it's like get ready for stream and i'm like fucking but oh fuck and then it like oh like it feels so good that i'm getting shit done but then i have to stop and it's like fuck yeah i i, I get it i get it So I'm looking for a misplaced candle. A little baby purple candle next to a bunch of white ones. This one. Something is written here. Rankest goldfish. Good lord. Rankest goldfish. Um, rankest goldfish is an anagram of light of darkness or darkness of light. This does not need a chronicle's explanation. The Shadowrun clan created the Dark Star, a corrupted Naru. The odd cup is located at a camp of Shadowmoon orcs that did not agree with these practices of Draenor, hence darkness of light. The odd cup can be located at a campfire on the Shadow Moon camp at 4526 in Shadow Moon Valley, Dranel, which is where we are, which is good. Well, not exactly, but close enough. So we go and get it. Good morning, Ventu. Hope you are doing well today. Yeah. 
I bet the next one sends you back to spies. Props. Probs. This is clue six. Odd cup. Something is written here. Ease off fruit. Ease off fruit is an anagram of fate of furies. Furies are the names given to elementals in Outland slash Draenor. In Shadowmoon Valley, a long quest chain ends up with us dealing with Cyrok the Fire Lord, an elemental that shares the same title as Ragnaros. In Chronicle 2, Gul'dan is also said to have fought all the major furies at the throne of the elements who were forced to flee. This made them become fell-twisted and no longer answering the call of shaman that asked for them. The interesting rock can be found atop the Hand of Gul'dan, the volcano raised by Gul'dan when he severed the connection between the Orcus shaman and the elementals of Drana. Uh, the interesting rock can be found atop the Hand of Gul'dan mountain at around 5143 in Shadowmoon Valley, Outland. To Shatrath. Fuck off, indeed. <clears throat> no, wait, use the toy. What toy? What toy? Necrolite skull. I can't, I don't have it. That's fine. I can just lie. No biggie. Pretty mount. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the new six month sub mount. Um, can you buy it separately? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. You can. But yeah, it's, uh, you get it for free if you've got uh, an active six month sub. It's so good. I'll get there eventually. Isn't it your birthday soon? It is indeed. It is indeed. Um. Where are we? 26. First, uh, second, nine. So I'm like two and a half weeks away. My birthday is Feb 11. So you can? Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I've got an active six month sub. So usually when these kind of things get announced, um, I just, I just get them, which is nice. Hmm, <laughs> my hubs, mine is 14th. Ah, oh, no way! My mum's is the 16th. We always joke that I'm an early birthday present that she has to keep paying for.
Okay. You stretch. I will do that in just a moment. Birth, what a shoddy Valentine's Day present. Alrighty. If it would stop glowing like this, that would be really nice. Interesting rock. Something is written here. The big bull. The big bull. The big bull is an anagram of blue blight. The red pox was a disease used by Imperator, sorry, Imperator Moloch of the Goria as a way to sicken the orcs of Draenor and force them out of the ogre lands. The red pox was later synthesized by the Shadow Council and used against the Draenei of Shatrath City. The Draenei that survived exposure to this modified red pox lost their connection of the light to the light and eventually became broken. The Draenei, a blue race, were called a blight by the orcs at the time. The blooming lily is located near a broken Draenei camp in Swamp of Sorrows. The blooming lily can be found near a lost one broken Draenei camp at 5831 in Swamp of Sorrows. I know how to get there. <clears throat> Hydrate. Two hydrate soldier breath foods. I knew some of this backstory. Awesome dupe. I know none of this. I mean, if I did know it, I have forgotten it. So, you know, it's fine. Now we get there with a port. Because <clears throat> I'm a mage and I can port places. <clears throat> so this is clue eight. Now you're thinking with portals. Hell yeah, I am. Because I'm mage. Okay, then flying is my last offer. Bottle of port. We've been looking for a literal bull. Yeah, look. Well, because you gotta you got to do the anagram bit first. I think that's your... Uh... That's the thing. Blooming Lily. Something is written here. Jaws open nukes. As in, like, nook and cranny. Jaws open nooks. Jaws open nooks is an anagram of Joksun's weapon. Joknon uh, was a Grubashi troll leader who practiced blood magic and was eventually slain by Medivh. According to Chronicle 2, as an act of revenge, Joknon's son Zannon used, uh, used of blood magic to create the first dire trolls and used those empowered trolls to attack Stormwind City. A pretty flower is located near one of the last locations where you can find dire trolls in Eastern Plague Lands. The pretty flower can be located inside the tomb at the Undercroft atop a casket near Zaldar the Outcast at 2478 in EPL. Uh, I think that's gonna be... Uh, yeah, that's Undercity. Alright, let's do that then. No, not Joksons. Uh, J O K apostrophe N O N. Shuffle and pet battle portal if you have it. Ah, oh, actually, that's a really good idea. Alright, I'll port to Dell. This one. Okay, and mage, port everywhere. Yes. All the best shortcuts. Look, I have a lot of the best shortcuts. Not all of them. I have a lot of the best ones, but I am heavily reliant on Zygor to remember them all. Because if I put, if I pull up, like if I'm doing transmog farming, right, and I pull up, wait, actually, is it Legion Dal that I need to go to? No, it's still fine. It should be fine. Oh no! Damn it! It is Legion Dal. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, so if I'm doing transmog, I just pull up the guide for that dungeon or raid, 
and Zygor uses all the tricks to get me there as quickly as possible. So, like, I have a lot of them. I just don't remember them because I don't have to remember them because Zygor does it for me. And my brain is very, very good at not holding on to information it doesn't think it needs. <laughs> so, look, I have an interesting time with it. Mage equals cheat code. Nah, I'm not cheating. Creative user game mechanics. Wiggles eyebrows. Oh, excuse me. Here we go. Uh, shuffle them. God, EPL is so fucking huge that even being in the same zone is 1800 yards away from, like, Lord, you know? Jesus. My mind is far from a steel trap makes rewatching movies fun. If I just wait long enough. See, this is the thing. So I actually do retain the memories. I just can't unlock them without this, the right keys. So as soon as I see a half a second of the movie's intro, it'll unlock all the part. Like it'll it'll remember like, oh, that's right. This is the movie that does blah, blah, blah. Um, so I, I'll get all of it. I just, I won't have any links to it until I get that very highly specific key to the memories. Which, yeah, look, at least I know how it works, you know? Like, at least if I'm really trying to remember something, I know how to jog those memories, I know how to get to them. Um, I just can't unless I do the, like, the specific things. The quest I was talking about earlier was in here, or Western maybe. Is Light's Hope Traveler around here? Uh, Light's Hope is up here, yeah. That's, um, in EPL, yeah. Alright, so this is in the tomb, this one. And it's on top of the casket near Zelda the outcast. Pretty flower. Something is written here. Dead Rune Thug. Dead Rune Thug is an anagram of the unguarded. This is a loose tip, but it, it likely implies Karazhan. The abandoned tower of Medivh, the last guardian. Since Medivh is now dead, Karazhan is now unguarded. The old book can be found inside the chapel near Karazhan in Deadwind Pass. The old book is located inside the chapel near Karazhan at 4179 in Deadwind Pass. Let me confer with my sources. No. So I'm going to head back to Swampazoro. Ah, there was a family whose house was burnt out. The quest involved a little girl's ghost and a teddy bear. Yeah, you had to, like, collect the pieces of the teddy bear. Uh, and then didn't, like, the teddy bear come to life and you had to kill it or something? Or am I... Did I fever dream that? <laughs> Very good chance that I... That, that I'm imagining that. That sounds about right. Okay, good. Good, I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that that's... <laughs> But yeah, I definitely remember that. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Do you love it? Like, the, the lights go all purple. They, like, glow purple and then they go back to what they were doing whenever there's a new follow. It's the sweetest thing. They also do stuff like they need when people raid or when they sub or when they donate or when they cheer. It's just, ah, oh, I love that it's connected like that. Okay, confirm. She just squirrels when I do. Ah, uh, you are sympathetic. Ah, oh dear. There are so many quotes in there that are just not even, like, relevant anymore. Like, oh my god. So many, like, super, super, super old, like, four years ago, you know? Four fucking years ago that, like, no one who is here anymore would understand. Ah, well. Okay, inside the chapel near Karazhan. Ah, uh, old book. This one? Old book, here we go. Something is written here. A stage deception. A stage deception is an anagram of space negotiated. Another very loose connection to Chronicle 2, Chogal was a mediator of peace between the Shadow Council and Ragnaros, who served, as, who served the Old Gods. 
The old gods didn't want to give power to the orcs, since they were puppets of the Burning Legion after drinking of Manoroth's blood, but still allowed them to stay within Blackrock Spire. The dead fish is located near the entrance to the Blackrock Spire dungeon. Near the entrance to Lower Blackrock Spire at 7844 in Blackrock Mountain. Okay. So, Blackrock Mountain. Ooh. Oh, dear. Uh... Right, so the waypoint that I just copied doesn't work. Um, oh, and now Zygor works. Because it asks which black rock I'm talking about. Um, so that's okay, I'll just go this way. Is there a list of them? Yeah, in the bot. I can't extract it, though. Ah, uh, what's important is that you understand it, which is here for the ride. Good morning, just joined. Which secret are you going for at the moment? Ah, uh, waste of time. Waste of time. I'm up to clue 11 out of 20, and then there's a chunk of stuff after the 20th clue as well. So we're certainly getting there. Making progress. It was a bit annoying when I was having to go from like Outland to Spies of Iraq, back to Outland, back to Spies of Iraq, back to Outland, back to Spies of Iraq. But look, we're going okay. We're going okay. How are you going, Alaris? Oh, that is the one I'm hoping to do it next and always postponing it. Honestly, it's been pretty fun. Um, the, There was a bit of time-consuming stuff at the start trying to get all the bits together because there's four pieces of armor and then four greys that you need to buy from certain vendors. Um, but we knocked that out pretty quickly. The longest part was clearing Kara up to right before the chess event because one of the grey items needs to be purchased from the guy right before the chess event. Um, but the rest of it was really easy to knock out, and now it's just doing the clues, which is involving a whole lot of running around the place. If you have a mage to do it on, I'd recommend it, because the portals have made it just so much easier. And so much faster. Um, I don't- I haven't gotten to a part yet where it was difficult on a mage. Uh, so at this stage, I would absolutely recommend doing it on a mage, just to make the- the bouncing back and forth between continents, uh, a little smoother. I've been postponing secrets evidence since I did Lucid Nightmare and hello, Exo, hello. Um, yeah, look, I haven't done secrets in a very, very, very long time. Uh, am I in the right place? Yes, I just need to go. I haven't done these dungeons in a while. I keep hooking around to, to Blackwing. I haven't actually gone to the dungeons for a while. Um... be a druid with dream walking to all the world trees um possibly yeah possibly uh, i think at this point mages have a hell of a lot more options uh, available to them um a lot of it's like you know going to the top of ek or the bottom of ek or like here or the you know what i mean like it's uh, i'm i'm not familiar enough with um with druids to be able to figure that shit out but there's been a lot of stuff going to to draenor like to to warlords areas i'm not sure if they have a port there um, and of course the, the garrison hearth has a fairly decent timer on it. Uh, and I've had to use, I had to go back there at least three times, I think. Uh, so, I mean, that's, you know, garrison hearth, admiral's compass to, to port to your shipyard and then like another one. Um, but I mean, you know, if it works for you, if there's enough of them there, then sure. Uh, engineers have wormholes that might be okay. I don't recall their cooldowns. Yeah, no, I don't know either. Unfortunately. Okay, so this is maybe in here. No, there's a there's a um is that lower? Yes, this is it. Wait. Why is there a wall there? What the fuck? There's there's a 
there's like a just a square in here that you can't that's so fucking weird okay sure dead fish <laughs> something is written here necropolis expos um all right this is arguably the loosest connection to chronicle and this clue was mostly found by sheer luck necropolis expos is an anagram of hey jazz corpse explosion Chronicle does not mention Corpse Explosion anywhere, but it does mention the creation of the first Death Knights that do know the spell. Uh, Death Knights have no actual relation to Duskwood, but the Dark Riders involved in a few of their artifact quest lines roamed in Duskwood. The scratched board can be found at a ruin in 5262 in Duskwood. Ugh, lordy lordy. Alright, back to Stoneard. Can you jump on it? No. I cannot. If I jump on here, can I then... No. It's entirely, totally vertical. Hmm. I know, in the Kalimdor Eastern Kingdoms, Northrend and Broken Shore. Ah, yeah, okay. Bugger. Oh, I believe this wall is a chair that we promise. I cannot jump on it. this finished in time. <laughs> Congratulations to Faden, Max, Garden, Little, and Arrested on all your bonus shit. Well done. Token chest, token chest, place your units for a token chest. You like my song? If you like my song, place a unit. If you didn't like my song, place a unit. There you go. You can cuddle up to my flag bearer if you'd like a buff as well. Hey. This is clue 12 out of 20. I think the vast majority of the time spent doing this is literally just like flying from waypoint to waypoint. Oh, excuse me, kind of have to now, yeah. Come on, you want those bonus tokens, right? Unlock those bonus tiers for glitched. Oh, I missed it. Down we go. <clears throat> Alright, scratch the board. There we go, scratch board. Something is written here. The net saves. The Net Saves is an anagram of Seventh Seat. Chronicle 2 mentions the Council of the Seven Nations, the first alliance of the human kingdoms. When Chronicle 2 lists, uh, listens the Seven Kings, uh, Aiden Perinold, King of Alterac, is listed last. Perinold is also the first king to betray the Council of the Seven Nations, and Alterac is the first nation to leave the Council. This makes Alterac the Seventh Seat of the Seven Nations, and Ultrak is where we find the Lost Ring. The Lost Ring can be located inside the decrepit town hall at the ruins of Ultrak at 4526 in Hillsbrad Foothills. Uh, that's very close to fucking Undercity, so I'm a port. <laughs> that's like out just next door to, to Undercity, so it's a little bit quick one. Uh, all that traveling is a waste of time, don't you think? I mean, I know, right, Purse? All this fucking traveling just to cross something off my goddamn ATT list. Uh, what have I become? <laughs> yes. This is, this is, this is what we do. This is what we do. Oh, a 
it's a free-for-all. Jared has started a free-for-all if anyone would like to join in. In fact, I might do that. Might as well. What have I got to lose? Some coins? Some koala coins? Fight me, chat. <sighs> hey, a bear. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, coins with a K. Little exclamation K O I N S is what you're looking for. Um, but a free for all, you don't have to like you don't have to put down a certain amount of coins. It'll just throw you into the ring if you type FFA uh, exclamation FFA and you have fifty or more, which most people here probably will. Giant Yeti! Inside the town hall. Here it is. Lost ring. Something is written here. Terrible Grunt. Terrible Grunt is an anagram of Turtle Bringer. This anagram has no good correlation to Chronicle 2 and was found by sheer luck. The spoiled apple can be found at the center table inside the inn in Fuse Light by the Sea at 9038 in Badlands. I reckon um, porting to Org and then to Twilight Highlands is going to be my fastest way of doing that. Well done, Jared. Look at that. Start a fight and clean the fuck up. <sighs> I'm just built different. <laughs> Much faster. Look at that. Ah, oh, crunch. Think should be fine. Yeah, we go. Ah, uh, what do you do in WoW primarily? Uh, I collect. I think that's probably. 
the best answer. I'm a completionist. Um, so I, I hunt mounts, I hunt transmog. Uh, I do some very, very, very casual raiding, and I do some mythic plus keys and stuff like that. Um, but usually it's all, like, a lot of what I do is in in pursuit of, uh, like, cosmetics and stuff. I went past it, didn't I? Uh, hell yeah, I fucking did. Um, even, it, like, staying, staying geared, getting upgrades and stuff like that just kind of keeps me... I don't, I don't do mythic raiding or anything like that. I have no interest in that anymore. But, um, like, keeping up to date with my gear through raiding and Mythic Plus and stuff is mostly just so that content is, is not trivial, but easier. Even, like, current content, like doing collection, like doing collectibles and stuff like that in Corthia isn't bullshit hard because I have the appropriate gear for it. You know what I mean? Um, I, you know, I collect uh, mounts, pets, toys... Uh, transmog now, which is unusual. Um, I have a full account of level 50 plus characters. I did a lot of leveling in the last six months. Um, and yeah, so just kind of, I think in like to summarize most of my activities, uh, I would say collecting would probably be the best way to kind of describe it succinctly. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Hello, Keggy. Hello, be lurking, just want to say dang looking. Aw, thank you. I really like this makeup today. I think it looks awesome. It's inspired by Midnight. Yeah. If you're you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Um, just having a look on on a, a website about some stuff while I was on auto run. Um uh, dot yeah, that's a that's a fucking spreadsheet and a half. Yeah, so you just came back to work for fun. I'm doing the same sort of stuff now. Oh, awesome. Well, I hope you're really enjoying yourself, Bear. I hope you're really enjoying yourself. Uh, okay, so center table, spoiled apple. There it is, spoiled apple. Something is written here, leave nets often. Leave nets often is an anagram of elven fate stone or elven stone fate. Uh, these rune stones were used to protect the kingdom of Kelthalas. Uh, and according to Chronicle 2, Gul'dan makes a plan to destroy those runestones and uses their fragments to create three altars of storm, one in Blasted Lands, one in Twilight Highlands, and one near Black Rock Mountain. The Broken Tooth is found at the Altar of Storms in Blasted Lands. Uh, at the back of the Altar of Storms at 3627 in Blasted Lands. So I'm gonna fucking bet that the easiest way to get there is gonna be um, Org again. Because the Hellfire Peninsula portal doesn't let you go back to Hell- it doesn't let you go back to Blasted Lands anymore. Um, so I'm guessing it'll be the Thrallmar Mage. Not the Thrallmar Mage, the, um... You know... You know. There's one that actually ports you to Blasted Lands. I think. Oh, so I want an ATC run today! Ah, I'm doing well with giveaways! You are indeed, Yori! Well done! Well done! Just chilling cake, looking at computer parts online. Nice! Playing Final Fantasy on the new OCE server. The ping is amazing! I've transcended. Well done! Congratulations! I hope it stays wonderful. Uh, going off the guilty by association rule, you do a lot of PvP because I do and you're on the second screen. You're welcome. That makes exactly zero sense. <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. Um, sorry to break it to you. Uh, um, maybe it's downstairs. Make was really nice and you shake my Insta like the post. There's no, um, I don't post them straight away on Insta for like the makeup looks. Those ones I tend to go back and do like the best looks from the last month sort of thing. Um, the Vanguard Battle Mage, is this the one that sends you? No, Thrall my Mage. Oh, uh, portal. Oh, but that's still not. May your blaze never dull. Fuck. Because you can't run through it anymore, can you? And that just sends you back to org. God damn it. Poop. How do we get to. I forget. Only in chromie time? Oh, really? Yeah. God damn it, I was wondering why I hit a wall till I forgot to do my meds for the night. Yeah, it'll happen now. Eh? I like the story though, so kind of the same. True, true. I appreciate that. 
We no longer I appreciate hide. that. Right, in that case, if I can't actually port to the Blasted Lands, the, the closest would be um, Sonod, because it's like literally right there. Okay, let's do that then. In fact, that might have even been closer than the, the port that you get from the mage. Because <laughs> it's northern blasted lands, not southern. That's funny. You have the mop world boss mounts no not yet i will though i will the only issue is to get through all 50 of my tunes it ah bear thank you so much for your prime gaming sub much appreciated thank you so much for your support and generosity um, our only issue with those runs is that it'll take me 12 hours to get through all, um, 50 tunes. Broken Tooth, here we go. Something is written here. Brash Remains. Brash Remains. Brash Mains is an anagram of Brain Smasher. Chronicle 2 describes the battle between Anduin Lothar and Orgrim Doomhammer that happened near Blackrock Mountain. The Alliance had pushed the Blackrock Orcs back to Blackrock Mountain, and in a final effort to attempt to break the Alliance's resolve, Doomhammer charges forward against Lothar, breaking his sword and crushing Lothar's skull, hence Brain Smasher. The worn helm is found near Anduin Lothar's statue in Burning Steps. The Worn Helm is being worn by a skeleton located near the ramp that leads to Black Rock Mountain at 2747 in Burning Steps. Which is literally just in the other direction, and it's close enough, I'll just fucking fly. It's like three and a half thousand yards, it'll be fine. Uh, I was just thinking how many attempts you'd get for 50 each week. 50? So after starting my weekly 15? Yeah. Um, I, given that I have 50, I am not farming reroll tokens. Fuck that. Uh, <laughs> I'm no way in hell would I do that on 50 fucking tunes. Fuck that noise. It would take me out. It would take me weeks just to get enough on all of that. Like, it's just not worth my time. Um, I honestly feel like just doing the camp is going to be better. Um, so, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, 12 hours to get through. What? <gasps> Is this actually going to work? I got the email, and last time I got the email, it took like seven minutes for the alert to come through. Um, I know Lunar Festival isn't supposed to get a lot of XP. I really hope to give an average amount that I'll be able to make you. Does it not? I thought it did, because, I mean, the other events do. Why would Lunar Festival not? Oh, that sucks. All of the hype there. I uh, just had to do all the lucid nightmare clues again because I deleted the character that had pro- Oh, Dory. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. At least you're getting, like, the whole thing, though. At least you're getting, like, the whole... Um, what's it? I'm not even farming tokens on 15! Yeah, totally fair. Like, I've- even when I was farming on, like, 7 or 3, I didn't farm tokens. I- I just... I can't be fucked, hey? I, I do not have much time for, like, outside of stream preparation bullshit, so if it's going to take me 12 hours... I am grateful. Anon, thank you so much for the dress. Much... I've had my eye on that dress for literally, like, probably almost a year at this point. Maybe not quite a year. But thank you so, so much for the gift. I, I greatly appreciate it. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, from comments, it apparently doesn't give a worth it amount. But if you're also getting the coins, which you use to buy ATT shit, plus you're doing it on a tune that didn't do any of the other events, so you're getting the exploration XP as well, I think it probably evens out a bit. I think it's probably still worth it. 
personally, but that's just my opinion. And I haven't seen how much it gives, so I could be very wrong. Uh, I'll try it out and see, absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Nice dressy, thank you, Keggy. I'm, I'm so happy, I can't wait. Them hackers really love you. <laughs> oh dear, right, okay, here we go. So what am I clicking? Warn Helm. Oh, there we go, Warn Helm. Something is written here, sensed the figs. That's really interesting. So, um, in game it says sense the figs, like plural, but on Wowhead it says sense the fig. And the anagram that they've used, which is site defense, matches sense the fig, but not sense the figs. So that's really interesting. Anyway, sense the fig is an anagram of site defense. Chronicle 2 documents the orcs stealing the Eye of Dalaran in their hunt for powerful artifacts. Dalaran was assaulted by both Deathwing and Gorefiend, and Antonida sensed the wards around the eye shattering, but couldn't stop them from stealing the artifact. Another thing that helps the connection is the Kirin Tor's symbol, an eye. The leafy leaf is located near Antonidas' statue in Dal. Um, so it's in Dal, um, Northrend. Literally in Dal, so this will be a quick one. Thank God. This is clue 17. Um... Amazing. I mean, leaf, 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 leaf alone. If only you could turn alone into a leaf pun. Or like a trunk or something, or a branch. Oh. Soon DM. Yeah, look. <laughs> that would be branching out. It would be. It would be. Even for you, Kiki. Even for you. Alrighty. Where's the leafy leaf? Oh, it's in front of it. Here we go. Okay. Something is written here. Phantasmal hosts. Phantasmal hosts is an anagram of lost shaman's path. According to Chronicle 2, Nozul and his orcish companions went through Okundun. Uh, to reach the Black Temple to escape the attacks from Kurdran Wildhammer. Gorfiend also knew the paths that led to the Black Temple, and both Nozul and Gorfiend could be considered lost shaman. Kilrog, another shaman, also died during the Battle of Orkandun. The Musty Cloth can be located within Orkandun at a basket near the entrance to Shadow Labyrinth at 4072 in Terracar Forest. Why is it always slabs? Anyway. Hmm. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome! Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go. Uh, this is clue 18. So we're getting there. Making progress, making bacon progress. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. How many total clues on this one? 20, but there's a chunk of stuff after all of the clues as well that aren't actually like numbered and they're not clues they're like interactable things like you talk to an npc and stuff so they're not considered to be clues but they're still part of the secret so um yeah we've got to get through the clues and then there's a chunk of interactions shit at the end um but we're making okay time we're getting there what's shaking oh dear all right Musty cloth. Uh, something is written here. Scarce odds. Still. Uh, scarce odds still is an anagram of Castle Disc Lord. 
This is the last clue to be located within Chronicle 2, as the last couple paragraphs mention Grim Batol. Onward to Chronicle 3, we learn that the Dragonmoor Orcs are still residing within Grim Batol and are in possession of the Demon Soul, the disc-shaped artifact that the Dragon Aspects poured their energy into. On the chapter after, Deathwing sets his sights on Grim Batol by taking the disguise of Lord Davil Presta to ensure the Orcs are not wiped by the Alliance. Castle points out to Grim Batol, Lord to Lord Davil Presta, and Disc to the Demon Soul. So Castle is Grim Batol, Lord is Presta, and Disc is the Demon Soul. Broken Tablet is located close to a fence near the entrance to the Grim Batol dungeon at 1757 in Twilight Highlands. So we're going to go back to Org and take the portal to Twilight Highlands. Um, it's a catchphrase. Ah, is there something at the end of it all? There is, Mandy, and welcome to chat, might, might I say. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. The end, the end of this whole chain of bullshit is the waste of time. It is a transmog belt that has a clock as, like, the belt buckle thing. It's the waste of time. Just look. Sometimes puns are wonderful. Sometimes they want me to bash. They want me. To, uh, they make me want to bash my face in. But sometimes they're great. <laughs> I hope you got a giggle out of that. Ah, uh, nuns. Good morning. How are you today? Yeah, I'm. I'm going all right, Den. I'm a bit sore. I um. I exercised, and my body is very confused and is punishing me for trying to make it healthy. It's like I'm watering you. I'm feeding you well. I'm doing the movement thing. Why do you hate me? Uh, but that's fine. It will get over itself soon enough. Uh, but apart from that, I'm doing pretty okay. I reckon. Had good, like, delicious dinner. I had my bubble tea. And I, I finished Una's, like, bonus little quest chain thingies. Um, went and ca went and got Baal, the one of the secrets for WoW. And uh, I'm now working on the waste of time. So, yeah, I think I'm doing okay. I hope you're doing well. Excuse me, Deathwing was so pretentious when pretending to be a human. I mean, like... Aren't most of the dragons, like, fairly pretentious until they get, like, knocked down a peg? I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I <laughs> love it. It's pretty good, hey, Mandy. Pretty good. You're worth... Uh, sometimes they are both. Indeed. Indeed. The good old confused body. I know it well. Ugh. Like, fuck, man. I'm trying to take care of you. Why are you rebelling? Oh, well. Hello, Josh. He was a real ass hat, though. I mean, he was also a real ass hat in dragon form, too. So, loved the Warcraft books. I've still not read any of them. I've still not read any of them. Um, I just have not had time. I really, really, really want to record audiobook versions. Like, I would love to read them and record them at the same time, but I know that I'd get, um, like... DMCA smacked. Which makes me sad. Uh, I mean, that is a standard recurring theme of fantasy fiction dragons being pretentious. True. True. This is clue number 19. This is a lot of work for a fucking belt transmog that I am never gonna use. But it's okay, because it's going to cross the thing off the thing. And that's what we do, what we do. You've got the voice mod assists, speaking of which. <laughs> what to, like, do the different voices for the different characters you mean? Or to disguise my voice so they don't know who to DMCA. <laughs> okay, so there's, like, a gate here somewhere. There's a hammer. There's no gate bits down here, are there? Oh no, there is. Uh, okay, cool. I see, I see, I see. Here we go. Broken tablet. Something is written here. Starfish droplets. Starfish droplets is an anagram of Herald's first stop. 
Chronicle 3 loosely mentions Cho'Gal, the Herald of the Hour of Twilight, coming to Feralis, where he fights with Garona half and bests her. The ashed, cho- the ashed or ashed, I don't know, torch can be found at X in 6168 in Feralis. Someone forgot to get rid of the... What's it? Okie dokie doke. Uh, Feralis. I think mm, Thunderbuff is going to be my best bet here. Because, I mean, it, like, maybe Uldoom, but, like, it's about equidistant. So, and I have to take an extra portal to get to Uldoom from Org. So let's just go to Thund Thunderbuff. Fungal Giant. Oh, do the different voices. Uh, I've decided I need to train my cat to Kambundasa for me. That would be a fantastic use of your time. And then can I please borrow your cat? <laughs> Mr. Seven loves doing that when he's reading books. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm terrible at actually doing voices and shit. Um, having the mic do them for me would definitely be useful. Uh, and I could even, like, I can edit the sound clips to, like, clip them closer together so it doesn't even sound like I'm sitting there fucking fiddling with shit. Um, but I'd still, unfortunately, probably get DMCA'd. I'm sure that there are officially licensed audiobook versions out there um, and that I'd get, they'd get pissy with me um, for you know, using their uh, intellectual property and releasing my own copies of it. That's um, that's generally frowned upon. And I don't really want to destroy my relationship with Blizzard because um, at the moment they like me and I like them. And I'd like it to keep, I'd like to keep it that way. Because um, not only is that relationship kind of, you know, at least a little bit profitable, it's also just really super nice. The people I associate with are fucking awesome humans, and so, like, I don't want to... I don't want to damage that, and especially, like, you know, their potentially even their, like, professional relationship with the company, because it's like, you connected with this person, you brought them into our circle, you thought they were good, and now they've gone around and done this shit, what do you have to say for yourself? Like, I don't want to put them in that position, that'd be a really shit thing to do. Um, but I'd really love to do it. I think recording an audiobook like that would be fucking awesome. So, I like the voice you use normally. Look, sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, why do you sound like that? But most of the time I'm pretty okay with it. Well, it's can. All right, I need to, Oop. let's do that first. And we'll also do this and no one will be able to understand me for two minutes and it'll be great. I like the voice you were born with. Ah, uh, where's, Bl where's Blizzard and said when you need them? I think me actually getting the rights to do the audiobook would be, like, exceedingly rare. Especially consider considering that I've never recorded an audiobook before in my life. Um, like, I feel like they'd go with a fucking celebrity to do that shit, if anyone, you know? Joking? No, I know, I know, but like, you know what I'm like, actually answering questions.
what the heck they were thinking us they were doing. We do not exist. Oh well. We we did a lose. Um, I don't do that in my normal voice, Eloris, so, uh, n n no. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate this the stream reader song. I thought some people might, so I thought, hey, this will be fun. Ah, uh, it sounded amazing. <laughs> Limbs for the limb god. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right, let's try that again. I'm going to place my flag bearer again. Let's do that again, but without the death. We may need to start that battle early. We may need to start it early. Just keep in mind. Alright, um, I did switch, good. No, 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 fuck, go back, go back, go back, stop, 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 stop. Shit. Is it gonna scroll back to where I was? Of course not, why would it do that? Okay. Ash Torch. Uh, it can be found roughly here. Where is the... Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Something is written here. A daft tormentor's fog. A daft tormentor's fog is an anagram of forgotten farmstead. This clue does not require you to get a chronicle book. At the coast of Arathi Highlands, there is a dwarven farm that is not marked on any map, thus completely forgotten. Grimmy's friends. Inside the house at 8573, you will find Grimmy, a skeleton of a gnome. Interacting with him will give you minimal dialogue, but you'll be able to interact uh, with a list. On top of his table, a list of his friends. You will need to use this macro while in Arathi Highlands to have the coordinates tracked. Um, so Arathi Highlands is in Eastern Kingdom, right? So I know that we have Darkshore at the moment, so it means we don't have Arathi, so I'm gonna have to just, I'll jump to um, Undercity is probably gonna be the fastest way. For me at least. Give you that scroll. Oof, if we succeed. If we don't, I'll uh, I'll refund you. Obvi. Okay, so this, that's it for the clues. We're, we're at the right place now. Okay. Let's get on out of here. This is long stream lol. Uh, nope, we've been going for 5 hours and 45 minutes. Usually my streams are 6 hours long. So unless every stream is a long stream. <laughs> I was running a little bit late at the start of stream because I'm finding it incredibly difficult to walk uh, today. But that's okay. It is what it is. All right, so we need to be aiming for a Rathi. So we need in that sort of direction. I think that's about right. Just have to keep an eye on it. Uh, I also had some mega streams lately. They were definitely long. Yeah, I do. We had the marathon last Saturday. That was good fun. Sorry, I'm losing the plot. Sorry. Uh, you don't need to apologize. Like every time you come in, nurse. Like every fourth or fifth word you say is sorry. It's you don't have to apologize. Yeah. Um, uh, how do you stream for your normal amount for you? I know, right, Jared? Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck am I? Who, do, who, do, who the fuck do I think I am? It's fine. Um, so work at six, guess. Sorry, after that, that's totally fine. Imagine streaming when you're scheduled, can't relate. Look, I was half an hour late, which, I mean, usually I'm a few minutes late at least, but, like, half an hour is a, is a lot, even for me. Um, but, yeah, I, uh... I had some issues, um, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm just in pain. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's a habit. Well, habits can be broken. I'm working on breaking a few at the moment, which is really nice. And forming some new ones. I find it really difficult to form habits. Um, but breaking them, I find a lot easier, interestingly enough. 
20 minutes late, not 30, so you're cool. Yeah, but then I hung around on my start screen for like a good fucking 15 minutes. <sighs> I think. I don't even know. Look, it's fine. Look, shit happens, alright? Shit fucking happens. This is this is far from a professional setup. So <laughs> but it's alright. I um we're getting shit done. We're still being productive, so that's uh I figure that's what matters. Don't want to add vend. Do you mean offend people? Uh I dropped a given general on Discord. And you got here saying you're in pain, I felt bad because I was memeing about it. <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, now we're in Arathi, so we're gonna pop that waypoint down. How did I do that? Oh, because it was a dig site, okay. So it's this farmland down here. Uh, would you first know that I get what you mean? There's an issue with apologizing when I don't need to. I think my addictive personality comes from untreated ADHD, too afraid to get it diagnosed. Why afraid, Jared? So, uh, you'll be able to interact, so if interacting with him will give you minimal dialogue. So, we'll head in here. Wrong one. Let's go to the other one. Nope, this is a... Hmm. Mm, have I done it wrong? Maybe I'm in the wrong Arathi. Do we think I'm in the wrong Arathi? I think I'm in the wrong Arathi. Fuck this goddamn fucking bullshit. All this phasing has broken so much shit. I swear to god. Um. No, there's still a stigma about it being only being a childhood thing. No plausible explanation. Go to get a diagnosis or explain and get hella distracted or forget. Anxiety kicks in and two months passes. I wish I could explain it honestly. That doesn't sound like afraid. It just kind of like at the wetlands rather than Arathi. No, this is Arathi. It's it's the forgotten farmstead. This is this is where I'm supposed to be going. Like it says, Arathi Highlands, Arathi Highlands. Like it's it's very very clearly Arathi Highlands. That's what it keeps saying, at least. Unless this whole guide is wrong. I think it's more likely that I'm just- because I'm in, um, it says that it's a contested zone, but it shouldn't be. Something? Before the war broke out, yeah. I'm supposed to be in the old one. Yeah, I think this is much more accurate. Because this is actually- there's no farmland marked on this map. Far more accurate. But hey, let's try it again. Um, um, the phasing does get rather annoying after a while. Yeah, it, it especially when it's a really big zone and that, like, you know, you got to go all the way across the map to unphase it and then all the way back again, like we did with Una earlier. Like literally from the gate in Vale all the way to the war thing and then back again. But anyway, it's uh, it's it is what it is. Um, I feel bad for you. I'm so bad with the zoning out. Um. I mean, with the, like, I go to get it diagnosed or explained and then get hella distracted or forget. Like, when you remember, like, oh, shit, is it not worth making an appointment then and there and then putting it in your phone and or, or your calendar and then setting a reminder for a week out, three days out, one day out, day of time? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, 
if I if I've got something hella import that I cannot fucking miss, that's what I do. And I mean, I am never. I'm not even gonna begin to claim that I've got fucking uh, anything on any of the deals because I just. Uh, yeah, see, there there are actually NPCs here now, which is good. Um, Uh, look like the hills of wetlands because they have a dugout like that. They do, yeah. They do. I mean, they reuse a lot of the um, the textures and, and stuff like that because, I mean, you'd be silly not to, hey. Do you think it's too late to start playing Shadowlands? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, the catch-up stuff that they have in-game nowadays in terms, like, for gear and shit like that is so much better than it has been in any previous expansion. Um, absolutely not. Uh, I think that you can pick up and play this expansion pretty much at any point. Uh, and at the moment, a lot of people aren't really reading 9.1 content anymore. They're all kind of preparing for 9.2. So it's kind of, it's a it's a probably a really, really good time to get in, to do all your questing, level up, unlock Corthia, get get a bunch of tokens to upgrade your gear and stuff. And then when 9.2 hits, you're ready to hit the ground running with everybody else. It's probably a really good time to start going. I don't know, I've been told it's too late by many who I've asked. Uh, I mean, I, I'd love to hear the reasoning that they've given. Uh, absolutely makes complete sense. I also do that. Yeah. Dex pack is awesome. I have like four days played time and it's awesome. Uh, okay. Right. Grimmy, interacting with him will give you minimal dialogue. Hello, I don't get many visitors out here. You'll have to excuse the mess. Uh, you'll be able to interact with a list on his table. There's Grimmy's list of friends. List of my friends. First is SN. You always smelled so good. Second is TM. You smelled like burning wood. Third is FD. Though you smelled like fell. Last is OM. I hated that fishy smell. Uh, and Grimmy's enemies. After talking to Grimmy, equip the... Where have they gone? Are oh, they in my fucking banks? Uh, the I think I didn't actually get them out of my mailbox. Whoops! Let's do that now. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Good. Very well then. Grip the wind wool hood. Oh really? No, it was a it was a duplicate. That's fine. Uh, death silk shoulders. That'll be a shared appearance as well. Um, nether weave tunic. That one? Yep. And frost woven leggings. They're all shared appearances. Uh, he'll have another dialogue option. It's me, your friend. Got any secrets to tell me about? I have no idea what you're talking about. After talking to him, another note, this time on his bed stand, will be readable. Uh, this note tells a list of his enemies. You flaunted your virility, and red was never to my liking. Though I wanted to slap you, I always found you striking. You always thought you knew what was best, but not everyone likes greens. Though I waved your way, I pictured your shredded hide in my dreams. Your bread was bad, you diseased lout, it made me sick. I would cheerily beat you with a stick. Last you, I'm not even going to think of a rhyme for you, mugs. I will dance on your grave, you were uniquely terrible. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, this note gives you hints on Grimmy's enemies and what to do with each of them. Each NPC should react to your emotes by turning to you and reacting for a second. This is when you'll also need the rest of the items for the puzzle. Proximo's Rudeus, Rough Wooden Staff, Punctured Pelt, and Formula Enchant Ring Striking. The NPCs and actions you need to do are as follows. Slap Aquinostraz with the slap emote. He's the flight master of Vermilion Redoubt in Twilight Highlands. Uh, so we're going to port to Orgrimmar and uh, port to Twilight Highlands. Um, I would say absolutely good ideas on how to counteract it, but your brain can be so against itself. I know when I'm told something or I think something and think to myself, I can remember that. I 100% shouldn't trust myself and yet still do it. Yeah, that's, that's like a... Uh, I mean, I know I won't remember it for years and years and years, I'm like, yeah, that'll be fine. Of course I remember it. It's important information to me. And I've learned over literal years that I won't. 
And so I know not to, like, I know that if I need to remember something, to write it the fuck down. Like, it, you can absolutely teach yourself. You can. You just need to recognize that your brain is shit, like mine is. I'm not, like, this is not an insult to anyone. You can, you can teach yourself. <laughs> like, um, yeah. It, you just need to recognize, you need to be able to recognize in and of yourself. Oh, it's, it'll be, f no, it won't. It will not be fine. It will not be fine. But, I mean, you know, that's... Um, it does take a fair bit of, like... Alien Redoubt. Speak, friend. Um, that, yeah, it does take self-criticism. Um, and I know that that's not easy. So, yeah, but it's... Yeah. Oh, it's hard to explain how my brain works. I wish I could explain it, but I cannot. It took me too long to get my anxiety properly diagnosed, but I will get there. Brilliant. Ah, uh, that moment when you call the doctor, the cat comes along and headbutts and meows into the phone. I came back to it a month ago. I've created a new tune, level to 60, cleared cuff and cod campaign, and I'm ready for 9-2. It's a really good time to come back. I agree, Big. I agree wholeheartedly. And welcome to chat. I hope you're having a lovely day. I think I have a fresh level 60 paladin. Maybe I should make some progress on them. For sure, Doom. Absolutely. And if you find that you're not enjoying it, it is okay to put the game down. But if you love it, it is okay to keep playing. What a poet, I know, right? I know. The gnomes are always the nicest beings. Ah, uh, sounds like this chain was made by some explicit employees, if you know what I mean. N no. Ah, uh, finally hit 400 mounts. Well done, Phoenix. Congratulations. Uh, only concern about raiding in Shadowlands is that I'll have trouble to integrate it into my schedule when I'm already raiding in TBC. However, I'm sure I can work it out. The other thing is you don't have to raid. Maybe. There is so much to do outside of raiding. It's just a matter of what parts of the game that you enjoy. Do those bits. If you don't have time to raid, you don't have to. If you don't want to raid, you don't have to. If you want to focus completely on classic and not play retail, that is totally valid too. But it is up to you. It really genuinely just comes down to what you enjoy doing. Because after all, it's a, it's a fucking video game. <laughs> it is your leisure time. You should spend it doing something that brings you joy. 100%. Uh, a lot of my hesitation is with confirmation. It would be an acknowledgement that all my little quirks are actually symptoms that people failed me in recognizing and helping me my whole life, which I've now done to my children until now and realizing it's not quite right. Uh, okay, but that's bullshit. Just saying. Um, and, and this is this is not me like telling, you know, this is not, no, eh, you're wrong. This is me trying to help. Um what am I saying? Slap. Slap. You slap a Quinistraz across the face. Ouch. And he reacted. Good. Uh, fuck, Desolus? Good lord. Okay, uh, a wave at Karnum Marshweaver with the wave emote. He's located by the Moonwell at the Scenarian Wilds in fucking Desolus. Um, so... Quirks can be symptoms, but symptoms are not always debilitating either. It's uh, it's a like a whole lot of little things that work in conjunction with each other that makes a whole thing. Like you can have an itchy arm and an itchy arm could be a symptom of this or that or the other or this massive big thing in conjunction with these, all these other symptoms. Or it could be that your hair just brushed your arm and it's itchy. Like, so, so other people failing you, it's, that's not a, that, no. Um, it's they may have only seen that thing or maybe that thing and another thing and they didn't connect it because they don't have a medical degree. Like it, it can take a lot of training to be able to connect this stuff, especially when we have so much social training that tells you this is a quirky thing and this is a weird thing that people sometimes do. And this, do you know what I mean? Like that's, that's a hell of a lot of training to fucking break. And even, even some medical professionals with medical qualifications that have all this training still don't manage to put those connections together because they've never seen it manifest in that way before. Like, other people failing you, I think that's a really harsh way to look at, like, external people. And the same thing goes with your kids. You haven't failed them. You aren't, well, I'm assuming I, you may be a medical professional, but you may not have had training in this particular area. And do, you know what I mean? Like all those comments about other people not failing you is the exact same thing with you not failing them. How the fuck are you supposed to know that all these little interesting things, like, you know, someone may always want to do their hair in a particular way and put their shoes on left and then right, but never the other way around. 
they may always want to have their food in, in aesthetically pleasing, like a rainbow on their plate, like green and then yellow and then red, and they don't want them enough for other orders or they don't want them mixed. That's not necessarily a symptom. It can genuinely be a quirk. It can also be a symptom. How the fuck is anyone supposed to know without having a bigger picture and usually fucking medical training or intense experience in their own life? You know, like that's... <laughs> how? How are you supposed to know all that? It's not just like genetic knowledge that's passed on, like some things. You know, like how, how baby cats know how to clean themselves because it's like somehow in their code, somehow with somewhere to, to that's how to do it. Um, it, that's, it. That's not how that particular thing works with humans. You, you cannot, you can't do that. Uh, you're welcome, Big. You're welcome. A long time people told me to zoning out was just how I am. I've had that since I was young. Inability to focus and hyperfocus is always just, well, uh, that is just Jared, my name. I ended up dropping out of school because of it. And now I just relate to a lot of people that have diagnosed ADHD. Yeah, for sure. It, it, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to repeat myself. Putting grading was the best decision I made. It's so stressful at times. It definitely can be. It can be an incredible, amazing experience that you share with a bunch of other people. Uh, and it can be a shit fight. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's a unique, it's a unique experience, that's for sure. Why you slap lol? What is this quest for? Um, this is a whole, it's not actually a quest, it's a whole chain of interactions um, to obtain a transmog piece that is a golden belt that has a clock face as it's like in the middle of the belt and it's called the waste of time. So naturally it's a hella fucking long chain of shit. How does fear know we have itchy arms? Oh, it's just something that happens to me a lot is that my arm, my, my hair brushes my arms. Um, but there was a point at which random parts of my body were always itchy. And it got to the point where I mentioned it to my mum. She's like, how are you going? Cause you know, she knew I was on some meds and stuff, my autoimmune stuff. And I'm like, yeah, look, I'm okay. But man, I'm fucking itchy. And she's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I'm just, I'm randomly itchy. All the, like at first I thought it was just my hair brushing my arm or whatever, but like it's, it's my back, it's my sides, it's my legs, it's my arms, sometimes it's my face, all this kind of stuff. And she was like, what meds are you on at the moment? Have you started anything new? And I rattled off a list of meds and she's like, you need to call your specialist and you need to get a bloods panel. Um, itchiness can be a sign of liver failure. Clarification, my mother has been a nurse since before I was born. So at this point, she'd been a nurse for approximately 30 plus years, yeah? I didn't put it together that it was a symptom. Nobody around me put it together that it was a symptom. I was just popping a 24-hour Telfast every fucking day because <laughs> it was driving me batty. I was always itchy and Telfast knocked it on its ass. So like, yeah, fuck it, I'll just pop that. I go in and got the tests. Turns out I had fucking liver failure. And I got pulled off all my meds. And do you, you know what I mean? So you, like, not everything is a symptom. And no one, like very, very rarely can people take one little quirky weird thing and put it in with a whole lot of other shit. Like it just, that's not how it works. <laughs> I have intimate experience with this. <laughs> uh, okay, located by the moon well. I'm looking for Carnum. Carnum's warden. So I'm gonna guess Carnum is up here. Carnum Marshweaver slash wave. Hey, he waved back. Nice. Nogra, general goods vendor at the Argent Stand in Zuldrak. Uh, the fuck is Zuldrak? That's in Northrend. Good. Okay, let's head to Northrendale. Um, the bell remember that. Yeah, honestly, on Shadowlands, I would rather not have a reading commitment, just occasionally have a bit of fun and do raid with friends, and that's totally reasonable too. It's definitely possible. Sees us from our screens, obviously. Oh God, can you imagine if I had like a Zoom call up with all of you? Just like, oh fuck no, I would never stream if that was what I had to do. Screens work both ways. <laughs> Got clinical pain syndrome that they still don't understand. After 10 years, doctors don't always know everything. No, no, not at all. Not at all. But like not doctors also don't know everything and very rarely are they able to put those puzzle pieces together like without extensive, do you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, I know. My phone is telling me I'm late to finish stream. And I'm like, I know, but I want to finish this. 
Ah, uh, thing is, I don't have any friends who play Shadowlands, so rip. I mean, you've just found a community, Doom. <laughs> Discord.gg forward slash Fiyama. Stop switching his arm. Went through something similar recently, was exhausted, thought I was just stressed from work, eye twitching and shit, ends up I had anemia. Yeah. And your eye twitching, you just think it's, oh, my, I must, my eyes just be tired or my muscles must be tired or whatever. Yeah, no, it's it's bad shit. The the it's ama it's amazing the symptoms that come from things that are out of balance in our body that you would never put together. It's just so strange. Hey, Islam. Ah, uh, Doctor House level diagnosis there from your mum for your good work. Nah, she. I mean, yes, she's amazing, but also she knew, like, intimately all the stuff. Because I promised her that I would keep her up to date on stuff. I said I'm not going to tell you things I don't know the answer to because I don't want to worry you about stuff. But like when I got my letter of referral and she's like, hey, can you know, read, read me the letter? Like, I'm, are, you, are you sure? She's like, yeah, yeah, just read me the whole thing. Because, and she said, you know, something that you skip over because you think it's not important might actually be something important. And I'd like to hear the whole thing. So I read the whole thing to her and she goes, okay, so there's good news and there's bad news. And I'm like, okay, why? And she's like, so your priority one, which is really, really good because it means you're gonna get seen super fast. I'm like, oh, cool. And she's like, yep. Yeah. It also means that they think it's really fucking bad, which is why you're gonna get seen really fucking fast. I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> she just like three decades give you gives you all of that kind of general knowledge. She would she would never like make a diagnosis for me, but what she would absolutely tell me is go and ask for X, Y, and Z tests. And that should help them figure out what's wrong. Um, Cause yeah, she like, yeah, she, she'd never actually diagnose me. She'd get sort of an idea of what might be going on and then check for the symptoms she knows is associated with that. And then take me to the doctor with all that information she gathered. And I learned to do the same thing. Like I'd, I'd document like, you know, when I noticed different symptoms, what had happened in the few days before that, what changed in the next few days after. Like I keep a fucking symptom diary. Uh, and take it in and the doctor be like okay cool that doesn't matter that doesn't matter that also doesn't matter that actually changes our entire idea of what might be happening like do you know it, it just you never know what's important <laughs> you never fucking know what's important um okay so nogra should be maybe not up here maybe in one of the uh, little tent things actually nogra Cheer Nogra with the cheer emote. Yeah! Alright. Uh, dance with stained mug <laughs> with the dance emote. Shadow key, innkeeper of the shadow pan fallback in Kunlai Summit. Fuck. Okay, to Mopland. To Mopland. Ah, uh, how are you? Also, have you given me a Thank you. Congratulations. You probably got caught in a sub bomb. I'm um, tired but and sore, but overall pretty good. I hope you can say the same, Slim. Uh, as an energy drink that contains some ingredients that gives full body tingles. First time I tried it, I bought one because the guy sitting next to me had one. Had no idea to expect the tingles. Was very strange. Oh, good lord. Yeah, no, if I had that, I'd be like... I don't know what has triggered it, but I am having an anxiety attack and I need to go home and I need to call, na not 911, the, the one for Australia. Triple zero, good. My brain would melt out my ears, basically. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, what time did this start? What have I eaten in the last 72 hours? <laughs> am I using a new clothing detergent? <laughs> yep, that's the kind of shit that goes through my head every time I experience a new fucking symptom. What have I started? What have I done? What is going on? It's great. I mean, five years of, six years, nearly six years of listening to my body intensely because of the autoimmune bullshit. <laughs> yeah, look. Look. Get the same ingredient in pre-workouts? Yeah, but then you exercise and you don't really feel the tingles because your whole body's burning anyway. So it's like a whole, yeah. I've had that too, that was interesting. Especially when you take it a little bit too early or the class gets delayed a little because the like the instructions are, instructor is running late. Oh fuck, it's so strange. Um, and keep your shadow pen full back. Which is not here, or do we go down? Uh, I feel better soon if you I'm really tired lately. Yeah, and I feel that. Beta alanine, yes. I've had that before. Stained mug. Dance. 
a... You can use the following macro to see which actions you have done. The quests will uh, work with the order above. Macro will say false for non-completed flags and true for completed flags. Let's... That didn't work. <laughs> I wonder what they broke in that. Okay, cool. So it's a Lua error, but I'm pretty sure I've done that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four there and I've done the four. Oh, we didn't need to start the battle early. We didn't, and I'm just looking at how much I have to go. Oh, not much. Okay, thank fuck for that. Ooh. Okay. This is fine. After emoting all of Grimmy's enemies. Why did I need the... Why did I need the grey stuff then? Uh, after emoting all Grimmy's enemies, make sure the macro of your steps says all true. Time to return to the Forgotten Farmstead once again. If done correctly, Grimmy should have a new dialogue option. Fuck. Okay, um... Arathi was... Uh, that was, um, under city, right? Okay. Your add-ons can give that error. I know, I know, but also typing a script wrong can have that error too. Uh, I feel like they haven't put spaces where they need to be or something. Uh, what things should I know for Shadowlands as a TBC player? It's a completely different game. Just explore as you go uh, and learn as you go and you'll be fine. Yeah. seems to be angry with TSM, so if I turn off TSM, let's see if that works. Uh, ensure what you hate that isn't an option to use this so one. Shadowlands with the grinders real to start with. Sheesh, this one could be close. Yeah. I mean, the last one we failed, didn't we? This, this same one, but the last round I thought we failed it. Yeah. <laughs> we good? Nice. Na 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 na. Congratulations to the ah oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Jared. I'm so sorry. Uh, Zam, Durr, and Big on your bonus shit. I completely forgot. I just remembered that you had a, um, uh, give me that scroll because I'm an idiot. Um, we're not going to do another battle though. Um, so I think what I'll do, I'll refund you that. And if you want one for the next battle, you can redeem it on Friday. Um, my sincerest of apologies. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Um, okay, let me see if... Yeah, nah, it's still angry. It's still angry about the script complete thing. That's fine. Um, hang over here. No, what? Oh, it's faster to go from Twilight Highlands. Interesting. Let's do that then. Uh, how do Mythic Plus dungeons compare to TBC Heroic Dungeons? No idea. I haven't done TBC Heroic Dungeons. I don't play Classic. Can't, can, I uh, can't tell you. I'd imagine very different. Like, I don't know how, but I would imagine they're quite different. Let's go from that one. Yay, dupe! Well done. Well done. Uh, reminder, no more battles for today. Thank you very much for participating. 
Very much appreciated. Um, we will be continuing our battles on Friday. problem at all. I have a lot of fun with those. I, think I have to keep these on for now. Right, so, after emoting all of Grimmy's enemies, make sure the macro on the step above says all true. It's time to return to the Forgotten Farmstead once again. If done correctly, Grimmy should have a new dialogue option. I've sent some messages to your enemies now about those secrets. Mm. The first thing I should do at level 60, whatever you feel drawn to. There's a lot of different activities and you can do whatever you feel like doing. Like, genuinely, it's not, there's no should or have to or need to, none of that stuff. Um, you'll, you'll be handed a bunch of quests um, and just kind of follow along and, and see what draws your attention and then have fun doing that. If you get bored of doing a particular thing, try something different for a bit. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's super duper open. You can do whatever you feel like. It can be a little analysis paralysis sometimes, like too much to choose from. Um, but I'm sure you'll you'll find your way. But it, it genuinely is just that open. Like you can do pretty much anything and you'll you'll make progress somewhere with something. As Fia says, you give a PvP attention to multiple quests. I think that's the best thing about WoW right now. There's just so much content you can go do any, never interact with anyone, or you can go hard into group gameplay. Yeah, exactly right. You can literally do whatever you desire at this point. Uh, okay. Talk to Grimmy. Oh my, visitors, and I haven't a thing to wear. I would treat you to a smile and a toast, but alas, I have neither skin nor ale. Uh, I've sent some messages to your enemies now about those secrets. Oh, that is excellent, but still, I, er, uh, hmm. After this dialogue and you note will appear this time by Grimmy's fireplace, the note tells his favourite recipe. A pinch of turmeric and a pound of salt. If it comes out poorly, it's your own fault. Pay attention to the broth and stir, 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 then add a big handful of boar fur. Last you need a little sour. Get the kick with a little gunpowder. After talking to Grimmy, go outside. Talking to Grimmy. Okay, uh, go outside and locate the rotten potato within the abandoned farms. 8869. You will need to click rotten potato 144 times. Exactly. Be careful in red capital bold text. Be careful. Because you can go over 144 stacks of this debuff, and if you do, you'll have to start over. Uh, after you obtain 144, go back to Grimmy, who will have yet another dialogue option. is it? Brown lump in between rows. Oh, there it is. Rotten potato. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Uh, but in-game, just living up an undead warrior. My first time playing as a tank spec. I did a bad little stayed up over an hour after she got in bed. Got the Ulduars cleared. Another tune to 50. Ah, oh, purse. Well done. Congratulations. I can understand not having any skin but ale. That's just outrageous. I do like dungeons, but I'll have to get used to people sprinting through them. Not used to that as a classic player, of course. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about the big pools and AOEing down. TBC was all that control and CC. Wow, I was forgotten that for the most part. Yeah, every time there's a new expansion and we go into a brand new um, x back with like all new dungeons and stuff, everyone just kind of charges in head first and wipe to the first pack and then go, oh shit, right, we need to use CC again. And so we do. And then we're fine. And then two weeks later, we just start like speed pulling everything again. Just going to put out what time it is and head off to bed. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I'm running very late, but I'm like, I'm so fucking close to finishing this and I'm terrified that if I log off, it'll wipe my progress. I just, you know, like Lucid Nightmare and stuff, there were, there were certain points where it wouldn't remember your progress. So I'm just kinda, I'm nervous. Um, but this is the last thing. The last thing, I get to 144, I go back to Grimmy, I talk to him, he gives me a buff and I go loot the waste of time. That's it. This is all that's left. It goes off in six hours. Yeah. Yep. I just want to get this done. Cross it off the list and I never have to do it again. All right, we got to get to 144, so we're getting close. Uh, rumors about the next expansion sounds cool. We don't talk about leaks. We don't talk about leaks. Yep, no spoilers, including leaks as part of the, uh, the chat rules. The first rule, in fact. Uh, here, we don't do that. Make sure you read the rules, guys. Especially when, you know, during the stream and it pops up. If you need to refresh yourself on the rules, you can click the little cog underneath the chat box and it says view channel rules. You can click that and you can read all the rules right there at any time. And that goes for any channel as well. <clears throat> uh, and kind of the start of regular dungeons was so difficult. Casuals were just straight quitting. I had to change entry to out. Yeah. Uh, apologies. I accept your apologies. Just. Don't do it again. <laughs> Please do read the rules. Like, um, I, I, I'm honestly a little bit surprised considering you joined us like tonight. Um, and you know, it only got a couple of hours before you forgot rule number one. <laughs> but it's okay. Just, yeah, just make sure you read rules. It's important on every channel. Uh, 41, 142, 143 and 144. And we've got two minutes on this buff, so we're going to go do this quickly. So we head oh, excuse me. Head on in. We speak to Grimmy. How do I smell? Oh my, just like my mother used to after she made her famous pie. Very well, I will show you. My life's work. It's in the chest out back and it's all yours. I hope it was worth it. After this, Grimmy will leave you with a marker and you can fly above his house to loot the waste of time. Oh, I had that buff before I spoke to him, which is interesting. You received waste of time. <sighs> and it's done. Another secret down. <laughs> uh, not even casuals, top 50 world raiders were leaving normals in tears. 99% do not read the rules. They just click OK and on. I'm aware, but that doesn't excuse breaking them. Like, it's not my problem that people aren't going to read half a paragraph. Not my fucking problem. If they want to break the rules, they'll take whatever happens because of that. Congrats. Thank you. Reading for nerds are the only ones who actually read them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Done. I'm fucking finished. Yeah, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Exactly. If you go break the law and say, I'm sorry, officer, I didn't know that was a law. It doesn't really matter. You're still going to get a fucking ticket. Um... And same thing goes for Twitch, including community terms of like community, uh, what is it? Code of conduct, code of conduct, like terms of service, all that kind of shit. Doesn't matter if you didn't read the toss, if you break it, you'll still get banned. Um, so that's on you if you choose not to read, basically. Basically. Um, I reckon. We might go say hi to Galaxy. 
she's lovely. Ah, uh, I've been here so long, I've never seen the rules. You put them in the panels for us dumb people. They're in chat, first. If you click the cog and then go, like, view channel rules, it's, like, they're right there. You can check them at any point. And not only that, but I've had people say, what game are you playing? When it's literally right below the channel. I've had people ask, where are you from? When it's right below the channel. Like, putting it in the panels doesn't do any better. Like, literally. It, it doesn't do any, any more. Like, yeah. But anyway. Um... We've been having this discussion a lot over the last couple of weeks because of the because of the leaks and stuff and it like i can put it in 70 different places doesn't mean that anyone's gonna read it and but that's it doesn't matter they still have to abide by them um yes uh of course it's not wasn't saying it was okay just said that's how it is i know but like doesn't matter if it's how it is <laughs> getting a ticket still how it is as well just saying. Ah, uh, it's a thing. Yep, try it. I've been on Twitch literally as I didn't know that was there. It's recent. It's recent. It wasn't there a few months ago and then Jack pointed it out to us and we're pretty sure it was in the last couple of months or so. Uh, but it's there now and that's what matters. So, yours. Ah, oh, it's actually there and available to people, which is super handy. Um, but yeah. I think it's new-ish. Yeah, I work in IT and every month I used to send out, if you reply to this email, I'll give you free coffee in our patching notes. Nobody ever responded in three years. Yeah, that's funny. Ah, uh, little rules. People can read the novel in the battles. Of course, of course. Yeah, I don't I don't have too many and most of them are pretty fucking common sense. Like, don't be a dick. Uh, but also no spoilers. Um, I know, like, you know, no spoilers tends to be a fairly common thing with a lot of places. Like, you know, don't don't yell out spoilers in the lobby of a movie theater and all that kind of shit. Like, no spoilers is generally a, a nice thing to do, um, but no leaks as well because leaks may be false, but they also could be true. In which case, they are a spoiler. Legit. So, like, it kind of makes sense, but um, it seems like that takes an extra leap of logic for a lot of people. Um, but that's, you know, it is what it is, and that's what delete message is for, and if people continue to, you know, if people are not respectful and don't say, oh, fuck, sorry, like Doom did, which is great, um, if they don't do that, and they continue to attempt to say shit about what we've told them not to, there are timeouts and there are bans. Like, I have tools to at my disposal, and I will fucking use them. <laughs> uh, but that's... Uh, people need to read my patch release notes. I usually include pop culture or nerdy references. Love that. Love that. Just never, ever, ever release patch notes except on April Fools. And then everyone will read them. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna do a raid. Uh, only rule I know is that fear- <laughs> Oh, Keggy. Oh, dear. Um, here's the thing. Friday! Pokemon! There are so many feels about this out on the internet. I have read exactly zero about it. And Jas knows not to fucking spoil me. So I'm, I'm going in totally unawares of anything that is going on. I know that there's some salt on the internet. I know people are unhappy. Um, so I'm going to play it and see if I think it's fun. It's going to be great. Uh, it was also a community goal, though. People wanted to see what I thought of it. So there we go. Uh, Sunday is Transmog Hunt. Monday is Mount Farm Monday. Next Wednesday is February. I am planning on doing Lunar Festival. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Um, I may or may not have some information that will change some of the fucked up February plans, um, but I don't think it'll affect week one. So I think we should be fine to say we are doing Lunar Festival next Wednesday. And we'll do, we'll jump in a group and we'll do the, the tour like we did for bonfires, like we did for, um, for buckets candy buckets um so we'll, we'll do the tour i think i may not get all the way through the tour i don't know how many coins you get from doing the wraparound um and i don't need xp on anything i just want the coins to clear out the like all the transmog and stuff um so i don't know how long that's gonna we'll, we'll fucking see hey <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go um yeah everything else is just kind of regular old shit I think. Um, oh, I got all the basic Twitch rules. You have to remind people literally all the time. Like, why well, I have to constantly remind people trauma dumping is against my rules. Like, do you walk into a grocery store and tell the bag all the terrible things going on in your life? 
Uh, a lot of people do, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people do. Um, <laughs> some people do, yeah. Yeah. But look, hey, um, here we go. This is what we're going to do. And honestly, I have a lot of people who come in here and do that as well. Um, because they feel like this is a safe place where they can just kind of vent and get it off their chests and everyone else in chat will kind of, hey, I hope you're doing okay. That really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, that kind of thing. Um, and it's really, truly become a thing. And there are some days I don't think I can deal with it, but, um, it's, it's a safe place. It's a safe place. We do have a mental health channel in Discord. Um, I very rarely check it. Very rarely do I actually read it because um, sometimes I just, I'm not in, like, you know, I'm exhausted, basically. Um, but no, people absolutely jump in chat and, and tell us all about their days and stuff like that. Um, and it's because I do the same. When someone asks me how I am, I'm honest. I don't say, yeah, good, thanks, how are you? Um, I, I'm genuine and I'm honest, and so other people feel that they feel comfortable doing the same. Uh, so, yeah, it's, um, it's an experience. Uh, how's your day? Well, uh, you streamed five of the last seven days, Fear. Love your work, but don't burn out the fear. Too late! No, I'm not, I'm not burnt out. I'm just, I'm not, I'm, it's not burnout. Um, there's a lot of other stuff going on. There's a, like a lot of other shit happening in my life right now that you guys don't know about because I don't want to share it. Uh, boundaries, woo! Uh, and that shit is making everything else, including streaming, very difficult. But uh, I'm doing it because I love this shit and I want to fucking do this shit full time. I want this to be my life. I want this to be my job. This is my passion. I want it to pay my bills. And in order to do that, I need to be able to set aside my personal shit and get my fucking job done. Uh, and so that's what I'm doing. And it is easier on some days and harder on others. But the same goes for literally any job or any task, even outside of a workplace. Like, goddamn. Uh, but yeah, I am, I'm going how I'm going and uh, it'll either improve or it'll get worse. And only time will tell. Only time will tell. Let's do a raid. Uh, let's do this one. Grab your copy paste if you don't have the Fiamma hype emote. Either Hi, because. Well. Oh, ah! Pixel's been lurking for a few months. Really enjoyed the streams. Thanks for getting me back into WoW. You're so welcome. I hope you're enjoying it. And thank you so much for your Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciate. Uh, if you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not subbed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally fine, you can still copy paste the entire raid message and replace the Fiamma hypes with your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote and then drop it into Galaxy's chat when we get there. She is a lovely, lovely human. If you like the vibe here, you will like the vibe there. Um, she and I are great friends and I adore her and her content. So I hope that you'll join me in saying hello to Galaxy. Um, I'm going to see you on Friday. Until then, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you then. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.